Chapter 51 Am I Going Home? Lu Chen closed the panel. Now was not the time to be anxious. He had to focus on playing the role of a mind-controlled person first. Yu Ji frowned. She never knew it could be so bright in the metal tower. She turned her eyes to Lu Chen, who had a dull expression. Could it be him? What did you do? Yu Ji closed her eyes slightly, and the red light coming out of them became sharper. Shining straight into Lu Chen's eyes, she increased the intensity of her mental control. At this intensity, the other party's brain would stop all autonomous consciousness and would only answer its own questions. It is impossible for anyone to be able to resist such mental hypnosis. And Yuji is fully sure of this. Turning to Chase Lu, what he felt was that Yuji's eyes became brighter, and the voice in his mind became louder, and then disappeared. I didn't do anything. Lu Chen told the truth. Yuji took two steps closer to Chase Lu, and the distance between the two parties further narrowed. With the support of high heels, there was only half a head height difference between her and Lu Chen. When Lu Chen looked down, he saw an abyss. Is there a connection between you and the metal tower? From such a close distance, Chase Lu could already smell the faint scent of perfume on Yu Ji. Struggling to remain calm, he replied mechanically, No contact. As soon as she finished speaking, the red light in Yu Ji's eyes gradually faded, and she looked at Lu Chen quietly for two seconds before turning around and walking away. She is now convinced that Chase Lu really knows nothing. Follow me. Lu Chen breathed a sigh of relief. It seemed that he had passed the test. He followed Yu Ji's instructions and opened the system panel at the same time to observe carefully. After entering the metal tower, the system switched to a brand new panel. Detect the presence of a mechanical heart nearby and open the holographic map. Mechanical heart? What kind of prop is this? The panel switched, and a hologram of a metal tower was displayed in front of him. The metal tower has a total of 20 floors. Only two floors are exposed above the ground, and the rest are buried under the soil. The whole body of the metal tower resembles a giant shovel, wide in the middle and pointed at both ends. On the fifth floor underground, there was a dark red light flashing. Is this the heart of machinery? What is the use of the mechanical heart? By the way, isn't this a super tank system? How can I still control this metal tower? Seeing that no more information could be obtained, Lu Chen closed the panel. Now he needed to calmly observe all the information in the metal tower. Yuji took him to the elevator. After entering the elevator, Lu Chen found that the lowest button of the elevator was only dash 5th floor. Why only 5 floors? Inaccessible below the 5th floor? What's there? After reaching the 5th underground floor, the elevator door opened, and a dark metal corridor appeared in front of Lu Chen. Hey! 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 As Lu Chen stepped out of the elevator, the light strips in the corridor lit up one after another. Yu Ji was silent again. What happened to the metal tower today? The energy system of the metal tower has always been their unsolved secret. All the equipment in the metal tower does not require plugs and seems to be all wireless power supply technology. However, the lighting system in the tower is extremely unstable, and the lights become dimmer as you go down. Experimenters have repeatedly tried to increase the energy supply to enhance lighting, but they cannot find an energy addition. But after bringing Lu Chen in today, the metal tower turned on all the lights as if welcoming its owner home. Lady Tsukiji, what's going on? Two panicked experimenters ran in front. Tsukiji did not respond to their doubts. Go to the laboratory. The various strange phenomena that occurred in the metal tower today made her feel that Lu Chen had a high chance of exerting the power of the mechanical heart. The experimental instruments used to analyze crystal nuclei and transform crystal nuclei in the metal tower are all controlled by the mechanical heart. The experimenter wears a helmet to connect to the mechanical heart and controls the experimental instrument to transform the crystal core. But the brain power of the experimenters is not enough to support it for a long time. And they will faint soon. So they have been looking for candidates who can support the mechanical heart for a long time. Lu Chen was taken into a circular laboratory by Yu Ji. After he entered, the whole laboratory lit up. Heart of the machine activity detected. The panel popped out. Lu Chen looked around the laboratory. A man was placed in the center of the container. His head was cut open, revealing the bloody brain inside, with a crystal core embedded in it. Fortunately, Luchin had already killed without blinking an eye and was not touched by the scene. He found a white coat wearing a helmet sitting in the center of the laboratory, and his whole body tensed up. After a while, he fainted and started convulsing. When a man in a white coat next to him was about to take over the helmet to replace him, Tsukiji spoke. Go away and let him come. The man in the white coat glanced at Lu Chen 
with a strange expression and handed the helmet to Yuji. You all get out. Yuji spoke again. The experimenters all walked out under her instruction. And there were only three people left in Nuota's laboratory. Chase Liu has been looking at the laboratory since he came in. The situation here is very consistent with the laboratory where Zhang Hengtian's crystal nuclei were modified. Sit down, Yuji said. Lu Chen kept his body stiff and slowly sat on the chair. He suddenly felt an inexplicable familiarity with the helmet. Yuji stood behind him and put a sophisticated helmet on Lu Chen's head. In the observation room next to the laboratory, a group of experimenters were watching Yuji put on Lu Chen's helmet from behind. Is this the man driving the chariot? Asked a man in a white coat. Seems like it. Why is he everywhere? What's wrong with Sukiheim sama No matter how awesome he is at modifying cars, how can he compare with the rest of us? Is there anyone who has better brain power than us? He must have been rushed to the hospital because of his illness. Even our brains will be exhausted within two minutes. This person probably won't last 30 seconds. The people in this laboratory are all professors, or doctors, from Nanchung University, who were secretly admitted to the base before the end of the world. They believe that driving the helmet relies on the brain's IQ and computing power. The stronger the brain, the more powerful the mechanical heart can be. The observation room became quiet, and these experimenters were all waiting for the moment when Lu Chen fell to the ground and twitched all over. A minute passed. Still not down yet, one person asked. Not yet. Two minutes have passed. It should collapse. This is unscientific. Ahem backslash. The atmosphere in the laboratory gradually became awkward. Well, does anyone remember the time? How long has it been? A person broke the silence. It's been three minutes. Everyone was silent for a while. Could it be that as a scientific researcher, I can't play with my brain as well as a mechanic? In the silence, there was a loud bang in the laboratory. Look at him. One person exclaimed. Everyone saw that the helmet on Lu Chen's head gradually became transparent and turned into wisps of blue data lines. What kind of bird is this? One of the experimenters exclaimed. Chapter 52 Base Explosion After putting on the helmet, Lu Chen's surroundings fell into darkness as if he was falling into an abyss. I don't know how long it took before he slowly regained his vision. He saw the helmet turn into strands of data cables and finally intertwined into a blue crystal in the air. With a pop, the panel popped out. Mechanical heart is detected. Whether to pick it up. What is the mechanical heart? Luchin asked in his mind. Mechanical heart, the power supply core of the metal tower. What does the metal tower do? The metal tower is a large-scale experimental equipment that combines technology and crystal nucleation research. The origin of the metal tower? Lu Chen asked all the questions in his mind. Insufficient permissions. Sure enough, Lu Chen thought in his mind that only when he comes into contact with something, the system panel will unlock certain information. For example, before he came in, the system never told him that there was a mechanical heart. If you want to know more information, you need to continue exploring on your own. Is it necessary to pick up the mechanical heart? After the host obtains the mechanical heart, a new medium-sized vehicle module will be unlocked. New mid-sized car module? That means you can upgrade a new vehicle and have two tanks at the same time. Pick it up. Lu Chen's consciousness flashed. Now there is no reason not to pick it up. After choosing to pick it up, the blue crystal shattered instantly and turned into crystal particles that all poured into Lu Chen's body. You have obtained the heart of machinery. Please find a suitable vehicle to upgrade. The mechanical heart dissipates and the metal tower will use up all energy within 10 minutes. Now he will perform a space jump to help the host return to the ground. It is detected that there are 5 secondary crystal nuclei and 233 primary crystal nuclei in the metal tower and will jump together with the host. This system is okay. It is indeed my system. And it follows other people's ability to do things one by one. Luchin! Luchin! Tsukiheim's call sounded from the back of her head again. Lu Chen turned around to face her and waved goodbye. Bye-bye! With a swipe sound, Lu Chen turned into a blue beam and disappeared into the air. Yuji looked at the scene in front of her and froze on the spot. There, Angel of Death also had very limited knowledge of the metal tower. So Tsukiji had no idea what was going on. All she knew was that she had been tricked by that man. Warning! Warning! The metal tower will run out of energy within 10 minutes. All personnel are requested to evacuate. Warning. Warning. The metal tower will run out of energy within 10 minutes. All personnel are requested to evacuate. An alarm sounded in the metal tower. And the experimenter next door ran outside after hearing it. 
there is only one elevator and the only exit in the metal tower. If the energy runs out and the elevator stops working, everyone will be trapped below. Yuji rushed to the crystal core storage under the experimental table, which was the most precious thing in the entire base. Gone! Yuji stared at the empty core storage. That man took everything away. Yeah! She shouted angrily, and the high-heeled blade swiped across the crystal core storage, splitting the metal storage into two parts. After kicking, she turned around and looked at the container in the center of the laboratory. The crystal core on the subject's head was still there, as long as this one is enough. Yuji turned around and came to the container. With a high sweep, the container exploded, and the solution inside spurted out, covering her knees. She took two steps forward and took out the crystal core from the exposed brain with her two fingers. After Luchin turned into a blue phantom, he appeared on the chariot cab in the blink of an eye, frightening Zhuang Yuan beside him to death. You? What are you doing? No time to explain. Lu Chen threw all the crystal nuclei scattered on the ground into the supernatural space. He quickly started the chariot, kicked the accelerator, and rushed out of the parking garage. He wants to destroy the base's attack methods before Yu Ji issues an attack order. Lu Chen prioritized the watchtowers equipped with heavy machine guns, which were the weapons that posed the greatest threat to him in the base. After being upgraded to sea level, the performance of the tank in all aspects has been doubled. This ferocious beast crashed wantonly in the base and the concrete watchtowers were like building blocks in front of the chariot, falling down at a touch. Before those lazy guards had time to react, they were washed away by the chariots. There was chaos in the base. Some guards raised their guns to attack the tank, but the small caliber bullets were only deflected by the tank. With its fiery charge, the tanks destroyed all the watchtowers in the base in just a few minutes. The next target is the base gate, which has the most guards. Chase Lu drove his chariot to the door. The guard at the door raised his gun and fired at the chariot, sputtering sparks on the body of the chariot. After shooting for a long time, the guards gradually realized that something was wrong. It seems like we can't even penetrate each other's armor. After seeing the chariots crushing the watchtowers instantly, many guards had already retreated in their hearts. With a bang, Lu Chen threw the battering ram out, crushing a group of guards into a pulp. When the others saw the huge gap between the two sides, they all threw away their guns and expressed their surrender. Is it all over? Zhuang Yuan asked tentatively. The combat power of the tank gave her another great shock, destroying the entire base in just a few minutes. Not yet. Lu Chen stared at the door of the metal tower. He had already seen many white coats running out of it. But Yu Ji has never been seen. If the leader of the Death Angel is not killed, the base will not be eradicated. Sukiheim has a charm type ability and poses no threat to the tank. Chi came the sound of the hatch opening, and white steam gushes out from the metal tower. Yu Ji's figure emerged from the smoke, and she was supporting a rickety old man in her hand. Why is there still an old one? Lu Chen quickly searched his memory and found that the old man was the one lying in the medical room on the third floor underground. No matter. Let's go together. Lu Chen stepped on the accelerator, and the chariot rushed towards the two of them. Yu Ji stared coldly at the approaching chariot, while the old man beside her looked indifferent. When the distance between the two sides quickly closed, the old man suddenly had a smile on his lips and stretched out an arm towards the chariot. With a ho sound, the skin of his arm instantly swelled and was torn. The bulging flesh and blood surged out from the wound, and the diameter of the entire arm expanded to the size of a tire. That giant hand punched the front of the chariot, forcibly withstanding the momentum of the chariot. Another proliferative ability? Lu Chen thought. The old man slowly opened his eyes and looked at Lu Chen. The smile on his face became a little thicker. Lu Chen looked at him with a smile on his lips. Give you some face. Chapter 53 The Defeated Yuji Before Lu Chen could react, the old man's huge flesh and blood arm turned into a fist. He held the front of the chariot with one hand, then tightened his muscles, and actually raised the chariot slightly. At the same time, Yuji flashed and ran towards the chariot along her long flesh and blood arms. Two beautiful legs and black stockings intertwined like a phantom and they were in front of the chariot in a few seconds. Then she quickly lowered her body and made a sweeping motion towards the front window of the car. The silver-white sharp blade behind the high-heeled shoes slashed through the front window of the car, leaving a long scratch. Um, why didn't it break? Yuji wondered why her sharp blade, which was made of extra heavy metal developed by Metal Tower and was indestructible, did not split the chariot. Through the car window, Luchin looked at Yuji and smiled. High-end technology! Little sister, 
I don't have time to mess around with you anymore. The panel unfolded, and Chase Lu switched the battering ram to a meat grinder. The mechanical sound of Asai La La sounded, and the huge battering ram transformed into nine high-speed rotating chain saws. The fleshy palm instantly became bloody, and dirty blood spurted out all over the sky. Seeing this, Yuji quickly retreated and distanced herself. Fire charged 20%. Luchin stepped on the accelerator and rushed forward with a 20% fire charge. The arm blocking the front of the chariot instantly turned into blood foam. This time, the old man no longer had a smile on his face. And his bloodless face darkened again, as if the blood had been drained. With a whoosh, his other arm quickly expanded, and he punched down from above to hold down the chariot. Fire charge 50%. Luchin increased his momentum. And the flame hole at the rear of the chariot spurted out blazing flames. The old man realized that the chariot was about to escape control. So he stretched his arms again and lifted the chariot up. After leaving the ground, the tires of the tank can only spin in the air. No matter how powerful the chariot is, it will become ruthless duckweed once it leaves the ground. Damn it! Let go of my boss! Suddenly, a series of bullets were fired from behind and penetrated into the flesh and blood arm. Yudon and his brothers rushed out in an off-road vehicle to support Lu Chen. They didn't know why Lu Chen wanted to destroy the base. But they chose to support the boss. Because the base and other captains only exploited them endlessly. And here they can even eat meat. Suddenly, the firepower of the two off-road vehicles crossed. Shooting at the giant arm. And blood spurted out from the arm. After taking a hot shower, Lu Chen pressed the fire button. Blazing high-temperature flames spurted out from around the chariot. Constantly burning the arm. Under the dual attack of flames and heavy machine guns, the front end of the arm exploded with a bang. As soon as the high-speed rotating tires touched the ground, the tank rushed out like a sharp arrow. This time, the old man's face showed a look of horror, and his face turned pale. The two arms recovered again, trying to grab the chariot from both sides. Fire charge 100%. Luchin increased the power of fire charge to 100%, and the flame sprayed from the rear of the tank distorted the surrounding space. Goodbye, little old man. Whoa! The chariot flashed past. And before the old man's arms could wrap his arms around the chariot, his body was shattered into blood foam by the meat grinder and sprayed in the air. Two fleshy arms fell to the ground, quickly rotting and turning black. Yuji was stunned as she looked at the scene in front of her. Everything was over. Angel of death is over. After the chariot crushed the old man, it turned around and rushed towards Yuji. Yuji closed her eyes and waited for death. After a few seconds, death did not come. She slowly opened her eyes, and found that the chariot stopped in front of her. Zhuang Yuan jumped out of the passenger car, raised his gun, and shot her legs. The bullet accurately hit the arteries on both sides of her thighs. The damaged femoral nerve caused her to lose control of her legs, and her body fell limply to the ground. Lu Chen's many questions about the metal tower have not yet been answered, so he plans to save Yu Ji's life first. With such accurate marksmanship, Yudon and others felt sad when they saw the majestic Lady Yuji in the past turning into what she is now. Bang! Bang! Luchin stuck his head out, knocked on the car door twice, and shouted to Yudon, Go and inform everyone that the base has changed hands. It's up to you whether you want to stay or go. The situation changed so suddenly that even Luchin himself did not expect that he would win the Angel of Death. So quickly, the follow-up work didn't take much time. After arranging for people to treat Yuji's wounds, Lu Chen imprisoned her in the prison where the Angel of Death originally held survivors. Most of the guards in the base have almost stayed. The relationship between them and the base is in the form of mercenaries. As long as they are given living supplies, the change of leader will have no impact on them. A large number of survivors who were imprisoned in the base were grateful to chase Lu and his group, thinking that Chen Lu had given them freedom again. The organizational structure in the base is very complete and UG and others are mainly responsible for the research of crystal nuclei in the metal tower. Relevant personnel are responsible for all base activities outside the metal tower, and UG's downfall will have little impact on the base. Lu Chen asked Zhuang Yuan to be responsible for the deployment of logistics affairs in the base, and Yu Dan was responsible for the deployment of guards in the base. He went to the maintenance garage to look for a new tank. This time, a medium-sized tank can be unlocked and the tank has enough space inside to install living facilities. Lu Chen drove into the repair shop that was full of the smell of engine oil. The auto mechanics stood in a row to greet Lu Chen respectfully. Among them was Zhang Dachui, 
who had spray-painted Lu Chen before. Lu Chen lowered the window and smiled at him. This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. Zhang Dajui was sweating from behind. When he mocked Fong Lu Chen's car as a small broken car, he never imagined that this car could destroy their entire base by himself. Zhang Dajui. Are there any modified medium-sized trucks in the base? Lu Chen specially selected Zhang Dajui among the auto repairmen. Uh? Zhang Dajui was suddenly hit. He was speechless for a moment. And a thin layer of cold sweat broke out on his head. Yes. Yes. Let me take you to see it. Lead the way. Lu Chen drove behind Zhang Dajui and soon arrived at the truck factory. Where three trucks were parked. Which one has been modified? Chase Lu asked. He saw that none of the trucks here had been modified. Because the system was upgraded based on the original truck. The better the performance of the original truck. The better the upgrade effect. The performance of the truck modified by these masters will definitely be better in all aspects. So he specifically asked for the modified truck. Here. Here. Zhang Dachui pointed to the other side. And a medium-sized truck suddenly appeared in front of Lu Chen. Its entire body is wrapped in gray lead-colored iron sheet. And the edges of the tires and chassis are also filled with metal ridges. Making it look slightly crude. This one? Zhang Dachui heard the doubt in Lu Chen's tone and quickly explained. It does look a bit crude on the outside. But the interior modifications are unambiguous. When it comes to the professional field, Zhang Dachui gradually became more articulate. Cummins ISB 6.7 engine. Rated power 220 horsepower. Torque close to 500 Newton meters. Equipped with Eaton Ultra Shift 6 speed automatic mechanical transmission. Air suspension driver seat. Streamlined air guide device. Chapter 54 Luxurious Medium Tank. That's it. Seeing Zhang Dachui talking nonstop, as if he wanted to introduce all the parts on the car, Lu Chen quickly interrupted. You go out and guard outside. And don't let others in. Don't look inside yourself. Okay. Okay. Zhang Dachui agreed quickly and walked towards the door. Lu Chen didn't want too many people to know about his ability to transform tanks. In the end of the world, the more trump cards the better. Waiting for Zhang Dachui to close the factory door, Lu Chen got out of the car, opened the door of the middle truck, and climbed into the cab in two steps. Sitting in a truck, the field of view you can see is completely different from that of a small car. The line of sight is higher, and you feel like you are on top. And the truck cab is roomier, with even a small bed behind the seats. But Lu Chen definitely didn't like this bed. According to his transformation plan, the front of the car and the cargo box must be connected. The cargo box can fully provide living space. Lu Chen grabbed the steering wheel, and the mid-sized car seemed to merge with him. And the performance of the entire car was presented in his mind. In just a few seconds, Lu Chen was completely familiar with the operation of this car as if he had driven it for thousands of kilometers. After getting familiar with the truck, Lu Chen opened the system panel. If a vehicle that meets the conditions is detected, whether to upgrade it, Lu Chen's mental choice was that the familiar blue data line appeared around the middle card. Hang Chi Chi. Compared with the transformation of small tanks, when upgrading medium-sized tanks, the sound is obviously much more drastic. During upgrade, power module upgrade, defense module upgrade, Operating System Upgrade Interior Space Transformation Blissful Sweet to the ear Chase Lu leaned back in his chair Immersed in this sonata that belonged exclusively to men After waiting for nearly half an hour The system prompt sounded The front of the car looks like this And the back should be like a van Class C Medium Tank Transformation Completed The Fleet Editing System has been opened Medium Tank Module being initialized Body Strength Class C, explosion proof level, maximum speed, 300 kilometers per hour, fuel tank capacity, 1000 L, armor, plastic armor I, upgrade the body armor to plastic armor, which greatly improves the armor level and reduces the armor loss caused by collision. The required secondary crystal core is 7 fifths. Engine, crawler assembly, upgrade the bottom of the tank to a crawler type to reduce terrain restrictions on the movement of the tank. The required secondary crystal core is 7 fifths. Arms. Disintegration laser, after charging. It consumes a large amount of energy to launch a concentrated beam at the target. It is an energy weapon with huge lethality. It requires 7 fifths secondary crystal cores. Energy. Fission energy, unlock the nuclear fission fuel chamber and trigger fission to provide energy for the tank. The required secondary crystal cores are 7 fifths. 
Science and Technology. Space Loading 2. Increase the number of tanks loaded with a special ability space. And the required secondary crystal core is 7 tenths. Crystal Core Transformation Room. To unlock the Crystal Core Transformation ability. The required level 2 crystal core is 7 twentieths. Other functions to be unlocked. Luchin carefully took a look at the upgraded performance of the medium-sized tank and the skills that can be upgraded later. After reading it, Luchin rubbed his chin and thought, This skill module is too powerful. It feels that the level of technology and weapons is a level higher than that of a small tank. And why does this energy use nuclear fission? As far as he knows, only giant monsters like aircraft carriers can use this energy to drive. But after thinking for a while, Luchin discovered that medium-sized tanks were not better than small tanks in all aspects. For example, the speed is much slower, and the weapon configuration is a laser weapon that requires charging, which is not easy to use against flexible or large numbers of targets. Moreover, the armor of medium-sized tanks is at the same level as that of small tanks. But the target is much larger and moves slowly, making it easy to become a living target. If we look at the formation of aircraft carriers in the military, Medium-sized trucks are cruisers equipped with missiles and have long-range strike capabilities. The small tanks are destroyers with short-range weapons systems and are responsible for protecting the safety of the fleet. According to this development, wouldn't the large tanks unlocked in the future have the same configuration as aircraft carriers? Luchin couldn't help but think about it. It would be so cool to have an entire fleet of tanks. Another thing is that the medium-sized tanks directly unlock the skill space loading similar to the superpower space. Just like when the small tanks were upgraded, this skill can directly install a small tank into the supernatural space. But now it can only install one. He closed the panel. Although the skill module of the medium-sized tank was powerful, the amount of crystal cores required was also terrifying. The second level crystal cores were not as easy to obtain as the first level crystal cores. The apocalypse is not over yet. Comrades still need to work hard. Lu Chen looked at the interior of the medium-sized tank. The main color was silver, and the overall feeling was very cool. He stood up and looked back. There was something that concerned him more than the interior of the chariot. Sure enough, after modification, a door was open behind the cab to connect to the cargo box. Luchin bent over and walked over. The alloy door detected his biological information and slid open to one side. Ouch! Luchin exclaimed in his heart. Isn't this a bit inhumane? Upon entering from the cab, the first space is similar to a living room. The overall decoration style is modern and simple, with gray leather sofas, a large three-door refrigerator opposite, and pure wool carpets in the corridor. Luchin sat down on the sofa, and his whole body was wrapped in sagging. Ah! He gasped. Although the seats of the chariot are also high-end ergonomic seats, the specific comfort is far less than that of the sofa. He sat on the sofa and looked at the empty three-door refrigerator opposite, thinking about moving the red wine. Snacks? etc. in the small tank over later. Luchin stood up from the sofa reluctantly and scanned into the next space. The decoration style remains unchanged. On the left is a simple yet solemn square table, paired with two simple chairs to form a dining area. On the right is a small toilet and kitchen workbench. Luchin stepped forward and opened the hidden cabinet under the workbench. The cabinet was empty and seemed to be a place reserved for kitchen utensils. There is not much space in the toilet, which combines the toilet and shower. And it can be seen that the wet and dry separation is perfectly done. Seeing these decorations, Luchin almost doubted whether his system was a tank system or a dream reformer system. Finally arriving at the last space, the bedroom, Chase Lu walked in nervously and expectantly. Entering the room, the furnishings are still simple, with a large white and gray bed and a simple combination of dressing tables. The most important thing is that there is an openable window opposite the bed. Lu Chen's thoughts flashed, and the alloy window slowly opened up and down, and the outside scenery could be seen through a layer of bulletproof glass. Lu Chen didn't bother to change his clothes and fell into the big goose down bed. Since the outbreak of the apocalypse, he has spent every night in the chariot. Although the seat is not bad, it can't compare with the bed. The comfortable quilt wrapped around his face, and fatigue quickly came over him. The end of the world. Chariots. Crystal cores. Superpowers metal towers, and the secrets of the base. Everything is inferior to this bed at this moment. Chapter 55 Unlock the tank group and upgrade the cracking laser. I really didn't sleep. Luchin jumped up from the soft bed. Although he really wanted to, it was not the time to sleep yet. And the double bed is a bit empty 
if one person sleeps alone. Luchin walked through the living area and returned to the cab. He looked at the time. It was approaching evening, and the convoys of the Death Angel were coming back soon. These remnants must be wiped out before this base can be at peace. Luchin put his hands on the steering wheel and opened the panel, discovering that a chariot group management module had been added to the panel of the medium-sized tank. He opened that page with his mind. Fleet management system. Here you can manage your fleet in bulk. Please name the tank. Sea level small tank. Sea level medium tank. When it comes to my favorite part of naming, Luchin thinks for a while and enters on the mind panel. Crazy big muscles. Band words detected. Level 8 strong winds. Band words detected. Lu Chen's eyes widened. This system review is stricter than writing a novel. But he thought about it for a while and realized that this system was directly connected to his brain. And the system in his brain must be aware of the crooked ideas. Okay. Lu Chen gave up the struggle. Red flames. Thunderstorms. Lu Chen's thoughts input. Because most of the weapon systems of small tanks are related to flames. Lu Chen used red flame. The medium tank is equipped with energy weapons. The same as the Thunderbolt. Naming successful. Fleet information. Qian, small tank armor status, 92%. Fuel reserve, 86%. Registered personnel information. Lu Chen. Zhuang Yuan. Thunderstorm, medium tank armor status, 100%. Fuel reserve, 100%. Registered personnel information. Lu Chen. Here you can view the basic situation of all tanks in the fleet. And you can also register and log out personnel information. Only those who have registered information are allowed to enter the corresponding tanks. As the fleet has more and more tanks in the future, Lu Chen will definitely need to recruit more drivers. After understanding the fleet management system, Lu Chen switched to the skills panel. He now has a total of seven secondary crystal nuclei. One of space type. One of flesh and blood dropped by the old man. And five more that came from the metal tower. These crystal cores either have weak abilities or are not suitable for tanks. There is no need to analyze them, and they can be used for upgrades. After thinking about the skill panel for a while, Lu Chen decided to upgrade Thunderstorm's most distinctive large-scale killer weapon, the Disintegrating Laser. After inputting five crystal cores, the blue data line started to work again. Disintegration Laser is being upgraded, taking advantage of the upgrade of the Thunderstorm. Lu Chen also opened Qi Yan's panel. He could directly manage Qi Yan on the Thunderstorm. He chose to upgrade Porcelain Gold Armor I. This skill can greatly increase the armor of the tank and reduce impact damage. Combining the ultra-high speed of Qi Yin with this skill, the entire vehicle is transformed into a powerful kinetic weapon, which can defeat most enemies by relying on impact. Disintegration Laser Upgraded Red Flame Porcelain Gold Armor I has been upgraded. After the upgrade was completed, Lu Chen excitedly got out of the car to check the appearance of the laser weapon. He saw a huge silver-white disc located in the center of the front of the thunderstorm, which was the launch port of the fragmentation laser. The metallic disc shone with a smooth luster, like the eye of a silent giant. Back in the car, Chase Lu closed the panel and started the thunderstorm. As he started, the whole car vibrated, as if a wild beast was gradually waking up. Lu Chen stepped on the accelerator, and the thunderstorm started slowly. Although it is far inferior to Qi Yan in terms of speed, Thunderstorm is unique in its heaviness and power as a medium-sized truck. Lu Chen still turned on the camouflage option and changed the appearance of Thunderstorm back to the previous medium-sized truck. Thunderstorm slowly drove towards the door. And Lu Chen controlled Qi Yin into Thunderstorm's vehicle space with his mind control. Bah! A majestic and powerful whistle sounded from the horn on the front of the car. Zhang Dachui, who had been waiting outside for a long time, quickly pressed the button in his hand and the electric rolling shutter of the factory opened. First, Leader, how is this car? Zhang Dachui walked to the car, raised his head, and asked Lu Chen. Lu Chen gave him an okay gesture and drove towards the base gate in a thunderstorm. The base is in full swing of reconstruction. Zhuang Yuan organized everyone to build the watchtower that was just destroyed by Lu Chen and demolished the prison. Lu Chen was quite pleased to see Zhuang Yuan handling various matters at the base in an orderly manner. Leadership talent is a scarce skill in any era. It didn't take long for Zhuang Yuan to spot the truck that appeared in the center of the base. After seeing that the driver was Lu Chen, she walked over quickly. Where's the previous chariot? Zhuang Yuan asked Lu Chen. Qi Yan carried her and Lu Chen through many crises. And she was very affectionate towards that magical doomsday chariot. Don't worry. It'll be fine. 
Lu Chen said with a smile. Zhuang Yuan looked at Lu Chen and blinked. He believed Lu Chen's words 100%. How is the situation at the base? After hearing Lu Chen's question, Zhuang Yuan took out a notebook and reported to Lu Chen in front of it. Basically, excluding those convoy members who have not returned yet, there are 138 survivors, 32 guards, 18 auto mechanics, 46 experimental personnel, and 16 various management personnel in the base. A total of 250 people. The weapons include 3 heavy machine guns, 20 rifles, 6 light sniper rifles, and 30 grenades and supplies are still being counted. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. After listening to the report, Luchin nodded. How many people left? About a dozen, Zhuang Yuan replied. These are all within Lu Chen's expectations. Some people who can benefit from the original base structure system definitely don't want to see the base change hands. And Lu Chen asking the guards to let these people go was part of his plan. Boss! Boss! Yudan ran toward Lu Chen with a rifle on his back. Brothers noticed that there were tanks gathering in the distance. It seems that the convoy from the base has returned. He panted. Lu Chen chuckled. As he expected, it must be those who left the base who contacted the convoy. After telling them what happened at the base, Lu Mao's group must be gathering strength to attack him. Boss, why did you change your car? Where's the giant one from before? Yudong wondered why Lu Chen had replaced the broken medium card in the base. But the previous tank with great military achievements was missing. This one is more exciting. Lu Chen patted the steering wheel and showed a mysterious smile. Yudong touched his head. He couldn't see where the car was. Boss, I think those captains are going to stir up trouble. Should we prepare? Yudon reminded again. Yeah, I'm going to mobilize everyone to prepare. The base's current defense capabilities are still very weak. Zhuang Yuan was also a little worried, although she believed in Lu Chen. If all the fleets in the base were assembled, the number of tanks would be several times greater than Zhang Hongtian's fleet. No need. Lu Chen called Zhuang Yuan. You continue to do your own thing. I'll be right back. On the road outside the base, the former Death Angel convoys who had returned from completing their missions gathered one after another, forming a magnificent steel front. Chapter 56. Kill Lu Chen and Seize Yuji. What's wrong? Kamikaze wondered in his heart. He saw the mighty army of chariots from a distance. The chariots of each convoy lined up, and the Kamikaze led convoy number 7 through the gap to the front. Parking his motorcycle, he walked over to the group of captains. What's wrong? He asked. Lu Mao put down the telescope and said angrily. The hacking pretty boy took over the base while we were away. And even captured Lady Yuji. They're not dead? Kamikaze asked in surprise. Who knows where they are hiding? I'm going to skin that pretty boy. Lu Mao said a few words. Then raised the telescope and looked towards the base. Kamikaze frowned. His expression solemn. He got information today that John Hong Tian, the third son of Hong Yuan Warehouse, was missing from Nanchung University. He originally thought that Shanda Group and Hong Yuan Warehouse encountered each other at Nanchung University. A melee broke out between the two sides, and Lu Qin and the others were affected and died. However, they didn't die and even occupied the Angel of Death. Kamikaze looked to the side, except for the captains of each convoy and some base guards. He found Lao Li, who was originally the leader of the guard. What happened in the base? Why did you escape? Lao Li was originally the captain of the guard army guarding the gate of the base. And he could usually earn a lot of money from this job. But after the base was occupied by Chase Lu, Yudan took his place. He was dissatisfied. So he left the base with a few small bosses like him and informed the convoy captains about the situation in the base. When Kamikaze asked, Lao Li took the trouble to tell him again how the cunning Lu Chen used conspiracies and tricks to destroy the defenses in the base. How the guards resisted heroically and how miserable Lady Yuji was after being defeated. Those who hear it are sad, and those who hear it shed tears. Kamikaze was not very interested in these frivolous things. After listening patiently, he asked again, When they returned to the base, did they bring anyone back with them? At that time, Li Gang seemed to tell me that they had brought someone with them. But I didn't pay much attention, the old man said with a guilty conscience. After hearing the old man's news, Kamikaze had a bad guess in his heart. After a while, the last convoy also joined the large group. The Angel of Death has a total of 9 teams, excluding Team 3. The remaining teams have a total of 26 tanks 
and nine motorcycles. Lu Mao climbed onto the roof of his lead car and shouted to everyone, All the brothers of the Death Angel, that evil outsider robbed our base, occupied our supplies, and regarded our death base as nothing. Can we endure this humiliation? No. No. The boys below were furious. The people here belonged to the high-ranking class in the base. Even the lowest-ranking junior here. They can also boss around the survivors and support staff within the base. So they're the ones who least want to see the base change its leader. They captured Lady Tsukiheim and tortured and humiliated her. Can we bear Lady Tsukiheim's suffering? At this point, Lu Mao raised his voice again. No. No. Someone below had already started shooting into the sky. Pick up the gun and follow me. Kill the little thief Lu Chen. And take back Lady Yuji. Kill. Lu Mao roared. After saying that, he immediately got out of the car, got into the cab, started the chariot, and rushed out first. In his mind, he must be the first to recapture the base. When the time comes, Lady Yuji won't be able to marry you? The chariot's engine rumbled to life, and black smoke spewed from the exhaust port covered the sky. Someone kept shooting into the sky, and the sound of gunshots, shouts, and engine sounds were chaotically intertwined. Boom boom boom. A large force consisting of eight convoys was dispatched. The fiery red skull of the Angel of Death on the car body shines with dazzling light in the setting sun. The wheels raced on the road, raising clouds of dust. Kill! 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 The fanatical convoy rushed towards the base with great momentum. Like warriors on an ancient battlefield who looked down upon death. Lu Chen's place was a little shabby in comparison. He drove a base truck that looked to others to be a crudely modified base truck and slowly drove out of the gate. The words, weak and weak, seemed to be written on his face. Several guards at the door closed the door and hid aside to whisper, Who do you think will win? I don't know. That guy even killed that kind of monster. Do you think he should win? What a win. The captains dealt with this kind of monster outside the base. That kind of thing is nothing. That's right. And his evil car seems to have disappeared. So he drove a truck from our base. It's over. It's over. If I had known we left with Lao Li and the others, do you think the captain would have blamed us for defecting? That's weird. When the captains win, we will open the door to welcome them, saying that we are staying here to act as insiders. Brother Song deserves to be called Brother Song. He is so smart. Above the gate, Yudan and Zhuang Yuan were also watching the battle. The contrast between the grand scene of the chariots on the opposite side and Lu Chen's truck was really too great. Yudan felt his heart pounding when he saw it. He didn't expect that those usually arrogant captains would form such a huge force when they gathered together. Miss Chuang, how about I ask the brothers to prepare and at least bring up a few heavy machine guns? Zhuang Yuan was also very worried. She was worried about Lu Chen's safety. Not her own safety after Lu Chen failed. No need to scream, Zhuang Yuan said calmly. Trust him. Although she was worried, she still chose to believe in Lu Chen, the person who gave her light in the darkness. Zhuang Yuan looked at the truck, which was bathed in the sunset and drove firmly and powerfully towards the rolling convoy. Although lonely, there seems to be endless power hidden. Why did one of our trucks come out? Where is that tank? Kamikaze, who was at the front of the convoy, asked through the communicator. He saw an ordinary modified truck drive out from a distance. And then the base gate closed. I don't know. Is it hidden inside? Or was it scrapped when we occupied the base? Lin Zhuang said. I don't think it's possible. Him. Before Kamikaze could finish his words, he was interrupted by Lu Mao's voice. It must have been scrapped when we occupied the base. Brothers, rush over. Don't give him a chance to repair the car. Green hairs, hysterical shouting came from the communicator. Kill! 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 When everyone heard that the chariot on the opposite side was damaged, their momentum became much higher. Kamikaze, who was riding a motorcycle at the front of the convoy, turned off the noisy communicator, carefully observed the truck, and shook his head. No way. It can't be that simple. This is the man who came back alive from Nanchung University and occupied the base again. No way. It can't be just a truck. He murmured to himself. Then he picked up the communicator and switched to the team channel. Everyone in convoy number 7. Follow me and leave the battlefield from the flank. Team leader. Stop talking to him and follow me quickly. Chapter 57 I got up, and I was dead with one shot. Under the severe scolding of the kamikaze, the number 7 convoy separated from the main force 
and slowly fell behind. Everyone in the convoy was so excited that no one noticed their departure. Boss! What's wrong? A younger brother's voice came from the communicator. There's something wrong with that truck. Let's wait and see from behind. Kamikaze squinted and looked at the battlefield in the distance. Something's wrong. Shut up! Looking at the imposing convoy on the opposite side, Luchin stepped on the brakes. Tisk! The truck made a loud braking sound and stopped in place. Facing such a large group of enemies, one way is to intimidate them. Use the absolute difference in strength to kill the opponent's leader in an instant. Letting them know that any further advance will lead to a dead end. Now I only have one weapon that can best reflect the absolute strength gap. Disintegration laser. The panel unfolded. Luchin quickly switched to the skill interface. And the cracking laser button emitted a faint blue light. Disintegration laser. Powerful energy weapon. When used, energy is consumed to store energy. After the energy storage is completed, a destructive laser will be released. The longer the energy storage time, the more energy is consumed. And the more powerful the laser is. Just looking at it, it felt so powerful. Luchin thought to himself. Then he set his sights on the motorcade that was speeding in the distance. According to his understanding of these people, the leader must be at the front. He adjusted the angle of the front of the car and aimed the laser launcher at the off-road vehicle that was driving straight ahead. I hope I can keep a whole body, Luchin thought, and suddenly pressed the charging button in his hand. Disintegration laser activation. After pressing the button, a mechanical friction sound came from the front of the car. The huge silver-white disc in front of the car had several petal-like arc-shaped cracks split from the center. Then, starting from the center of the disc, the silver-white metal plates rotated and shrank outward. After shrinking three times in a row, the silver-white metal shield completely unfolded, revealing a huge laser muzzle. The muzzle is composed of layers of black and gold heating coils. Each layer of coils is arranged in a ring and intertwined with each other, like black snakes. Energy storage starts. Energy is pumped in. Energy reserves, 92%, 86%. As energy is pumped in, the innermost coil begins to spin, releasing high-intensity energy and transferring it to the next coil. The layers of coils slowly started to rotate from the inside out, and the speed became faster and faster, and the blue energy splashed and jumped between them. LV Mao! He seems to have stopped the car! Is this a scam? Lin Zhuang shouted through the communicator. He looked at the parked truck warily, and suddenly felt that things would not be so simple this time. What kind of deceit can be defeated by so many of us? LV Mao roared. He has fallen into a state of madness. And in his mind there are only fantasy images after breaking through the base. LV Mao! Retreat and observe first! Lin Zhuang shouted again. You're just observing! Let me fire! Lu Mao gave an order, and bullets from the vehicle-mounted heavy machine gun poured out. The dense red firepower network gathered on the laid out body, making a clanging sound. Hiss! Hiss! Some bullets were fired into the laser emitting port. Heavy machine gun bullets that were as big as an adult man's hand vaporized into a puff of smoke the moment they came into contact with the laser emitting port. The coil in the muzzle whizzed and rotated rapidly, and the black gold coil had turned fiery red. The ultra-high temperature caused the air around the launch port to continuously fluctuate. The distance between the two parties narrowed to one kilometer, and Luchin still pressed the charging button. The fuel reserve on the panel was about to reach its bottom, and the laser emitter made a sharp blast. Energy reserve, 0%. The fuel bottomed out, and Luchin released the charging button. In an instant, everything he could see was filled with red light. Boom! A laser beam like the blazing sun surged out from the front of the thunderstorm car and the car body shook violently. That ray of light seemed to deprive Luchin of all his senses. Hearing, vision, etc. Everything you see is fire, and everything you hear is blazing sun. After a few seconds, the fission laser was fired, and everything fell silent. Someone in the convoy had already spotted the red light on the front of the truck, which was like the sun, but no one could stop the mad rush. Lu Mao looked at the red light in front of him and laughed. It was the light of hope. Give it to me! Lu Mao's voice and the communicator disappeared instantly. Lin Zhuang only felt a flash of light in front of his eyes, followed by an explosion and a high-temperature heat wave coming from the flanks. The disintegrating laser passed through the convoy in an instant, and the three tanks in a straight line with Lu Mao were directly vaporized, exploded, and were destroyed in an instant. The violent explosion affected surrounding vehicles. High-speed vehicles collided with each other, and the entire convoy fell apart. 
Lin Zhuang's leading car was on the right side of the convoy, and the laser just flashed in front of his eyes. But the devastating destructive power let him know that the battle was over. The communicator in his hand was emitting black smoke, and the electromagnetic pulse caused by the laser emission destroyed all electronic equipment in the convoy. Lin Zhuang numbly stepped on the accelerator, not knowing where he was going. Captain, is Brother Green Hair okay? The co-pilot's younger brother asked softly. Lin Zhuang turned his head and looked at him silently. The two looked at each other and found that there was also confusion and confusion in each other's eyes. Where am I? Who am I? Mom, I want to eat roasted sweet potatoes. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. Silence. Kamikaze stopped the car slowly and took off his helmet, although he was mentally prepared. His eyes were still dull at the moment. Several other motorcycles in the convoy stopped next to him one after another, and the riders took off their helmets. There were nine people in a row. Their expressions were all shocked, and their thoughts were all messy. After a long silence, Kamikaze slowly spoke. Let's burn some paper for Lu Mao later. The gate of the base was also silent. Lu Chen's shot seemed to silence the whole world. The laser has dissipated, leaving only a brilliant arc formed by air ionization. Zhuang Yuan believed that Lu Chen could defeat the enemy convoy, but she didn't expect to use such a big laser. Zhuang! Miss Zhuang! I'll let the brothers go back and wash up and go to bed! Yudan said coquettishly. Zhuang Yuan nodded stiffly and could go back to sleep. On the other side of the base gate, a guard fainted, and several people on the side quickly grabbed him. Brother Song! Brother Song! Wake up! Brother Song! Please say something! I'll choke you! Lu Chen, who was sitting in the thunderstorm, took a long breath. In fact, he was a little stunned. This thing is not so scary. When the disintegrating laser was fired, he almost thought he was going to be swallowed too. Fortunately, such a terrifying thing belongs to me. Otherwise how can I play with it if it falls into the hands of others? He opened the panel, and the fuel-depleted alarm page kept popping up. This shot directly hollowed out the thunderstorm. The energy of the fuel is still too weak for the laser. It can last for less than a few seconds and is gone after one shot. Lu Chen now understood why thunderstorms needed to be equipped with nuclear fission energy. Chapter 58 Death of the Angel of Death Looking at the chaos of the Angel of Death Convoy in front of him. Lu Chen's thoughts flashed and he summoned the red flames in the vehicle space. A blue teleportation aperture appeared and the next second a fiery red flame appeared next to the thunderstorm car. The host vehicle change behavior has been detected. Please ask whether to use space jump only between registered vehicles. Is there such a function? Lu Chen was still thinking about whether he seemed a bit out of character when he suddenly opened the door and changed cars after using the devastating disintegration laser. The system is what it is. And it meets his needs exactly every time. Lu Chen's consciousness flashed. The space jump started. The light blue data light belt flashed. And he appeared on the red flame. There is no waiting. He squeezed the steering wheel tightly, stepped on the accelerator, and used 30% fire charge. Chi Yin rushed out like a phantom, and it was time to do some finishing work. The center of the battlefield was in chaos, with explosions of fire and overturned chariots. The boys struggled to climb out of the chariots. Lu Chen ignored them and instead circled the center of the battlefield, marking the vehicles that were less affected and were escaping from the battlefield. He locked onto an escaping off-road vehicle from the flank stepped on the accelerator, and there was a bang. Under the huge impact of Chi Yin, the entire off-road vehicle twisted and deformed, rolled over Chi Yin's body, and turned into a pile of scrap metal. The red flame moving at full speed is itself a cannonball. It does not require any foreplay and will be destroyed when it hits. Moreover, after the upgrade, Chi Yin does not need to worry about the loss of armor caused by collisions. The porcelain gold armor can absorb most of the collision damage for her. Lu Chen drove Qi Yin freely across the battlefield, like a hungry wolf, mercilessly harvesting the lives of those panicked and helpless sheep. Seeing the vehicles escaping into the distance instantly turn into a ball of fireworks. The remaining people in the center of the battlefield immediately gave up the idea of escape. Their naked eyes could no longer keep up with Qi Yin's speed, and no one thought they could escape from such a monster. Lin Zhuang drove his lead car back to the center of the battlefield silently. After returning, he was still trembling in his heart. If he had just driven a little further forward, he would also have been destroyed by Lu Chen. Lin Zhuang looked at the horrific scene around him and sighed in his heart. If Lu Mao had listened to his order three minutes ago 
and retreated to discuss strategies. Would there have been a chance? Thinking of this, the loud sound of a vehicle explosion came. Well, Lin Zhuang shook his head. There should be no chance. As long as they fight, their only outcome will be failure. The explosions gradually subsided, and no one dared to drive away anymore. They all retreated silently to the center of the battlefield. Lu Chen drove the bioradar around a few times to make sure no one was escaping, then drove to the center of the battlefield in front of everyone. Qi Yin slowly stopped, and everyone saw Lu Chen in black sitting in the car. The only thing they felt when facing this man now was fear. Fear imprinted deep in the soul. Lu Chen looked at the survivors, and they all consciously threw their weapons five meters away from him. His eyes were dull, and he seemed to have completely lost the desire to resist. Am I so scary? Lu Chen spread his hands. He actually has no intention of killing them all. These are people who have experienced the hardships of the apocalypse, and keeping them can help him collect some intelligence in the future. As for those who escaped, Lu Chen didn't want to waste any time. Killing them would just serve as a warning to the monkeys. Lu Chen glanced at the remaining people. There were a few captains who he had met once. These people are quite useful. Lu Chen took out the speaker that had been recorded in advance from the supernatural space lowered the window, and threw it out, although they seemed to have little desire to resist. The recruitment process still had to go through. When everyone saw Lu Chen throwing something out, they all trembled in their hearts, fearing that what Lu Chen threw was a grenade. They were relieved when they saw it was a loudspeaker. The speaker thrown out by Lu Chen buffered for a while, and a loud sound came out. Watermelon! Watermelon! Big and sweet water! Bang! There was a gunshot and Lu Chen raised his gun to shoot at the speaker. But the shot missed. Sweet and big watermelon! Watermelon, watermelon! Bang! Another shot. Boom! Boom! After four shots, it finally hit, and the horn made a loud noise. Everyone on the opposite side looked at each other in shock, not daring to say a word. Lu Chen pretended to be calm and threw down another speaker. If you hand over your gun, you won't kill. If you hand over your gun, you won't kill. The total time from leaving the city gate to the end of the battle was no more than a quarter of an hour. Lu Chen easily eliminated all the convoys in the former. Angel of Death. Base. This was the power of thunderstorm and red flame. After the slightly embarrassing recruitment and surrender session, Lu Chen informed Yudan to transport the remaining people on the battlefield back to the base. Halfway through, he remembered that Lei Bao had run out of gas. So he asked Yudan to send a few more people to refuel Lei Bao. Now Lu Chen no longer needs to do things like refueling himself. After Thunderstorm was refueled, Lu Chen activated the space jump to return to Thunderstorm and controlled Qi Yin into the vehicle space with his mind. The boys around saw Lu Chen flying around and the car flying around. They didn't feel shocked and even thought it was very reasonable. After seeing Lu Chen release the terrifying laser weapon, they felt that nothing else this man did would be strange. Lu Chen drove Thunderstorm back to the gate and the base gate slowly opened. The survivors behind the door applauded enthusiastically. They were grateful to Lu Chen for saving them again. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. Lu Chen looked at these survivors and suddenly wanted to say something. He thought for a while and raised his horn. Don't be too happy. Everyone. The end is not over yet. And I am not the savior. The only one who can save you is you. The base will not always be safe. And your lives are not guaranteed. You need to fight for everything by yourself. Please find your own value as soon as possible and stop being a mere fish to be manipulated by others. After everyone listened to Lu Chen's words, their applauding hands gradually dropped and they fell into silence. Lu Chen threw away the speaker, activated the thunderstorm, and headed towards the garage. He is not discouraging these people, but helping them. Lu Chen, who had resurrected his life, knew deeply that in the last days, one should never place his hopes on others. In his last life, he thought that as long as he entered Hong Yuan warehouse, he could survive. But in the end, he only ended up dead. The only one you can trust is yourself. Return to the garage and stop the thunderstorm. Lu Chen was about to get up and go to the car to have a good rest when Zhuang Yuan knocked on the car door. He registered Zhuang Yuan's information on Lei Bao's panel, opened the passenger door at the same time, and pulled Zhuang Yuan up. Zhuang Yuan looked at everything in the car curiously as soon as she came up. She was very interested in this steel behemoth with amazing combat power. Suddenly, Zhuang Yuan's looking eyes met Lu Chen's, and she quickly looked away. This? What is this? She pointed at a random place and said, 
Lu Chen couldn't help laughing when he saw her shy expression. Why is it so different from when he was commanding at the base? Is he the same person? You? What are you laughing at? It doesn't look good here. Let me show you something good. Lu Chen ignored her question, stood up, and walked to the alloy door connecting the carriages. The alloy door slowly opened to one side, and the luxurious space behind the door was revealed to Zhuang Yuan. Zhuang Yuan's pupils dilated instantly, as if he had seen a kitten in a can of fish. To her, the shock of the luxurious space of a thunderstorm was far greater than that of a cracking laser. Come in and take a look, Chase Lu asked. On, on, on. Zhuang Yuan nodded excitedly. No woman can resist something that is clean and tidy and looks expensive. Chapter 59, This is a Double Bed Lu Chen took Zhuang Yuan into the rear compartment. Once inside, her mouth never closed. At first, she was interested in maintaining her own image. But she immediately took it back when she had an excited reaction. But as she went deeper and deeper, she could no longer control her excitement. Wow! There is actually a restaurant! Zhuang Yuan exclaimed. No! This can't be the kitchen! Zhuang Yuan ran to the operating table, touching here and there. This table is so beautiful! After that, she ran to the table again, pulled out a chair and sat down, as excited as a three-year-old child. Lu Chen didn't expect Zhuang Yuan's reaction to be so big. The image of a cold goddess completely disappeared. After Zhuang Yuan sat on the chair for a while, his eyes fell on the toilet door again. This, her expression suddenly solidified. Isn't this the toilet? How can such a big doomsday chariot be used without a toilet? Lu Chen said with a smile. Wow! Zhuang Yuan jumped up from the chair, jumped to the toilet door, opened the door and rushed in. Lu Chen was frightened by her exaggerated reaction. Has this child never seen a toilet? Zhuang Yuan came out of the toilet with red eyes. If there is even a toilet, wouldn't it be like home here? Almost. Lu Chen walked towards the last space. But if there is a toilet and a bed, it can be considered a complete home. As soon as he finished speaking, the alloy door of the last space opened, and Zhuang Yuan leaned forward. When she saw the last bedroom, she felt as if she had been struck by lightning. After being stunned for three seconds, she squatted on the ground and burst into tears. When Lu Chen saw this, a row of question marks popped up on his head. Why did he start crying? He leaned over and patted Zhuang Yuan on the back. What's wrong? Why are you crying suddenly? After being patted by Lu Chen, Zhuang Yuan raised his head. His big eyes were wet, and tears as big as beans were flowing down his face. Can I? Can I live here? Of course. Lu Chen replied. This is just for you. Yee -yee 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 -yee. After hearing Lu Chen's answer, Zhuang Yuan buried his head and cried again. This aloof girl usually doesn't show off her appearance. But once she touches a certain point, the water will keep coming. Zhuang Yuan cried for a full ten minutes. Lu Chen's comfort at the side had no effect. He said that this time was enough for him to clean up the death angel again. Ten minutes later, Zhuang Yuan slowly stopped crying. His eyes were swollen badly, and he looked pitiful. Lu Chen wanted to help her to the bed. But she insisted that she couldn't go to bed because she was dirty. As his mood gradually stabilized, Zhuang Yuan also answered why Lu Chen was so excited. My parents are both scientific researchers and we don't see each other more than a few times a year. So I have been attending boarding schools since I was a child. Zhuang Yuan said while wiping away tears. They didn't buy a house. And they met twice a year in the laboratory. Every time I go to a friend's house to play, I feel so envious of their home. In school, my classmates can go home every holiday. But I have no home to go back to. After saying that, she choked up again. Lu Chen touched her head and took her into his arms. He hugged her like a wounded kitten. So, so, my dream since childhood, Zhuang Yuan said while crying in Lu Chen's arms, is to have a home of my own anytime. Lu Chen gently touched Zhuang Yuan's back, and he discovered that Zhuang Yuan was actually an extremely insecure girl, and her coldness was just a disguise for her to protect herself. Looking at Zhuang Yuan's trembling body, Lu Chen couldn't help but feel pity. If you give birth to a child but don't give her care and attention, why give birth to it? If being a parent is also a test, Zhuang Yuan's parents will undoubtedly fail. After another half of the time was enough to clean up the death angel convoy, Zhuang Yuan finally stopped crying. She left Chen Lu's arms and looked at the entire space carefully, seeing the window on the bulkhead. She cried out excitedly again. Lu Chen controlled it with his mind and opened the window. 
Zhuang Yuan quickly walked to the window and touched the metal window frame over and over again. After looking at the window, her eyes fell back to the room. Suddenly, the corners of her mouth twitched and she spoke. There seems to be only one bed here. The atmosphere suddenly became subtle. Double bed? Lu Chen emphasized. Zhuang Yuan glanced at the bed and then at Lu Chen. And blinked. His face turned red. After taking Zhuang Yuan to visit the carriage, Chase Lu and her started placing various utensils inside. Lu Chen sat in the cab and took out various things according to Zhuang Yuan's needs. She filled the three-door refrigerator with various red wines. Then the room was filled with various vases and flowers. Then, there is the kitchen. Filled with various kitchen utensils and kitchen supplies. Every time Lu Chen accurately took out what Zhuang Yuan needed, she would shout in surprise. You have this too! You have this too! How is it possible that you have this too? Zhuang Yuan's enthusiasm was as high as ever. And it was obvious that she really liked this little home located in the back of the truck. After setting up the kitchen, Zhuang Yuan vowed to prepare tonight's dinner. After Lu Chen confirmed many times that she would not blow up the kitchen, he felt relieved and let her do it. He himself found fish eggs and asked about the situation at the base. Yudan rushed over with a smile on his face. Lu Chen asked him to manage the guards of the entire base. He was equivalent to jumping from a small soldier to the position of a general. So he was naturally very happy. He reported the situation in the base to Lu Chen one by one. Tsukiji, the leader of the Angel of Death, was held in solitary confinement. The remaining three team captains were held in one cell. And the remaining younger brothers were held in five cells. Chase Lu is not in a hurry to talk to these people now. He plans to stay in jail for a while before talking. After reminding Yudan and Yueji that more than three people must be present at the same time when in contact, they talked about the guard arrangement in the base. The conversation was almost finished. And when the two were about to say goodbye, Yudan suddenly mentioned, I didn't see the motorcycle when I was cleaning the battlefield. Lu Chen frowned slightly, and his eyes became weary. I remember there is a motorcycle team in the base. Right. Yeah. About eight or nine. When we were cleaning up, I didn't even see a single one intact. As expected of the boss, he killed them all in one move. Impossible. Although the fission laser is powerful, it covers a small area. It is impossible for a motorcycle team to be completely destroyed. If he didn't find any motorcycles when he was chasing the fleeing vehicle, then the convoy either didn't participate in the battle or fled the battlefield in advance. Information about that convoy. Ah. Yudan noticed the change in Lu Chen's tone and quickly stood up straight. They are convoy number seven. The captain is Kamikaze. They are mainly responsible for intelligence detection missions. Lu Chen tapped his fingers on the steering wheel. This group of people was a hidden danger. Chapter 60 This is really the only kind of pajamas. In a dilapidated residential building. Nine people were sitting casually in the room. Don't light the fire. Kamikaze scolded in a deep voice. A team member nearby who was about to light a cigarette put down the lighter in his hand. We're not sure if the other party will come after us. We need to be extra cautious now. Captain, why are you running? If we surrender, will he kill us all? Kamikaze turned his attention to him. Maybe he won't kill us all. But do you think he still needs us people if he has such a powerful power? If he doesn't need you, you will lose your value. And if you lose your value, you will be close to death. After hearing this, the younger brothers lowered their heads and remained silent. Then where are we going from now on? We've almost used up the oil. A voice broke the silence. Hong Yuan Warehouse, Kamikaze said. Hong Yuan Warehouse is looking for the missing Zhang Hong Tian, and we will provide this information to them. Hong Yuan Warehouse? Several boys shuddered when they heard this word. The perverted hobby of Zhang Hong Tian, the leader of Hong Yuan Warehouse, has spread far and wide. It is said that he likes to choose close relatives to fight. The one who survives in the end will be made into dried meat and eaten by him, and his children are all born pregnant. Do you want to join them? A younger brother asked weakly. This information is of great value. And in Hong Yuan Warehouse, we can still generate value. Kamikaze's eyes were firm. And several flying knives whirled in his hands. It was late at night. And Lu Chen took a long cold shower in the bathroom. It was the most comfortable and refreshing shower he had ever taken since the end of the world. After changing into his pajamas and stepping on the soft carpet, Lu Chen walked into the living room. Zhuang Yuan who had just washed the dishes, was sitting on the sofa with her legs crossed. When she saw Lu Chen coming, she stood up immediately. The dinner was well cooked, Lu Chen said. It's okay. 
I had nothing to learn before. Zhuang Yuan made several home-cooked dishes for dinner, including fried eggs with tomatoes, fried pork with peppers, and a lufa soup. The craftsmanship is not very good, but it is extremely rare to be able to eat such a meal in the last days. Although the delicacies that Chase Lu stored in the supernatural space were delicious, they were basically cold. And those are all Western foods. And you'll get tired of them if you eat too much. The only thing Chinese people can't get tired of is rice. When he and Zhuang Yuanan were sitting quietly at the table eating, Lu Chen had several trances in which he thought that the apocalypse had not happened and everything was just a dream. Then let me take a shower, Zhuang Yuan said. Do you have women's pajamas in your doryman space? Yes. Let me get it for you. Lu Chen walked past Zhuang Yuan towards the cab. He had just taken a shower. His hair was wet. And his whole body was exuding the fragrance of shower gel. Zhuang Yuan secretly glanced at him as he passed by. He is really handsome. Zhuang Yuan thought in his heart. And at first glance, he has the appearance of a gentleman, giving him a very reliable and sunny feeling. Here, Lu Chen came back not long after. Thank you. Zhuang Yuan thanked him happily, took the clothes from Lu Chen and shook them out in his hands. A light yellow, suspender, transparent, lace pajamas. Zhuang Yuan's smile froze on his face. Where are the gentlemen? I only have pajamas like this at my place. Lu Chen said calmly, not feeling guilty at all. Lu Chen lit the aromatherapy and waited for Zhuang Yuan in the room. After a long time, Zhuang Yuan walked into the room after taking a shower. Lu Chen felt his heart skip a beat when he saw Zhuang Yuan coming in. Her graceful figure is looming under her pajamas, and her long slender legs exude endless charm, especially the shy blush on both sides of her cheeks. Perfect. Perfect. Come up, Lu Chen said. Zhuang Yuan twisted twice and slowly climbed onto the bed, just as she shyly crawled over Chen Lu's body, trying to get to the inside of the bed. Lu Chen turned over and pinned her down, and at the same time controlled the lights with his mind. Ah, Zhuang Yuan gasped. Six thousand words are omitted here. That night, Lu Chen was possessed by Zhao Yuan and killed seven in and seven out. The next day, Lu Chen was woken up by fish eggs. Boss! Boss! Yudan struggled to slap Lei Ba's car door. Bang! Lu Chen suddenly opened the car door, full of energy. What's up? Um, boss, why didn't you do that gymnastics today? Yudan asked. I skipped it in the car, Lu Chen said impatiently. Business. Oh, Lin Zhuang, the captain of the Death Angel Convoy Number 1, said he could provide some information and asked me to come to you. Wait for me for two minutes. Lu Chen turned around and returned to the car. Okay. In the base prison, Lu Chen stood at the front, with a heavily armed Yudan group behind him. Lu Chen glanced at the group of people in the prison through the iron railings. Who is Lin Zhuang? He said. I am. A strong man raised his hand and took two steps forward to the door of the cell. What do you want to exchange for information? Lu Chen asked. He knows very well that in the last days, there is only exchange of interests and these people on the other side will not provide you with information for no reason. We don't dare to make conditions to the leader. We just want another opportunity to show our loyalty to the leader. Lu Chen's lips curled up slightly. He was worthy of being a doomsday veteran. Tell me. Let's see how valuable your information is. Lin Zhuang respectfully handed over a note, which contained information he had written long ago. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. All the information here is provided by everyone in the prison. Please take a look at it. The leader. Lu Chen took the note, glanced at Lin Zhuang, and thought to himself, This person is not bad, does not take all the credit, and is willing to make progress and retreat with others. Very good. If you show corresponding value, I will not treat you badly. After speaking, Lu Chen turned and left. He walked upstairs and came to a separate cell. He opened the door and saw Yu Ji who was being held in solitary confinement, lying on the bed. Her face was pale. Her hair was messy and scattered on the head of the bed. The stockings on her legs had been taken off and thrown aside. The area where the thigh was shot was wrapped in gauze. If I don't speak for more than ten seconds, shoot her. Lu Chen told Yudan. Then he opened the iron door and walked into the cell. Yu Ji heard someone entering and slowly opened her eyes. After seeing it was Lu Chen, his eyes instantly turned resentful. Lu Chen looked at her legs carefully. Judging from the injury, he estimated that Yu Ji would not be able to use her legs in this life. 
It seems we haven't had a good chat yet. Lu Chen said. Kill me. Yuji said bitterly. She knew that she was now a useless person and had no desire to live. Kill me and take away the crystal cores of my brain. Your tank will be upgraded with them. She is a very smart woman. Lu Chen smiled and said. I'm fine with you. There are other reasons for keeping you. There was a trace of sadness in Yuji's eyes. She knew that there were many people in this base who coveted her body. Did he want her to live a life worse than death? The origin of the metal tower. Lu Chen stared into Yuji's eyes and said seriously, Just this? Isn't this important? Lu Chen didn't expect Yuji to answer like this. What's important? The base has been destroyed and no one asked me to keep the secret. Yuji sneered. Then tell me. Promise me a condition. Yuji slowly pushed her upper body up from the bed. What conditions? After you finish speaking, kill me. Chapter 61 What is Doomsday Rush? Do you really want to die? Lu Chen asked. I have no reason to live anymore. Tsukiji said tremblingly. She was very weak and her hands holding the bed began to tremble. Lie down. It's useless to show off in front of me. I won't do this. Lu Chen said. Yuji glanced at Lu Chen. Let go of her hands. And lay down on the bed. I'll ask you an answer. If I'm satisfied with your answer, I will consider your request. After listening to Lu Chen's words, Yuji nodded in agreement. The origin of the metal tower. Produced by an organization calling itself Anthem. Him. Lu Chen repeated it in his heart. Does every base in Nanchung City have metal towers and mechanical hearts? It doesn't have to be a metal tower. But it will have a mechanical heart. Lu Chen rubbed his chin and thought. The mechanical heart can increase the number of tanks. Which is a very important part of improving combat effectiveness. The base can use it to transform the crystal core and create human superpowers. Therefore, the sooner you attack these bases, the theoretically smaller the resistance will be. It seems that the revenge plan is about to be put on the agenda. And he has the locations of major bases that he has collected before the end. These people cannot escape. Is the end of the world man-made? Lu Chen continued to ask. Yes. Yu Ji Jian replied. This word is so simple and yet so heavy. Humanity has unleashed its own apocalypse. Is it implemented by the Him organization? Not sure. But it must have something to do with them. The origin of the Him organization? The origin is unknown. But this organization has a history of nearly 500 years. This time the world ends. They call it the World Reset Plan. The origin of the mechanical heart? I don't know. It's been in the metal tower since I joined the base. Since you joined the base, haven't you established the Death Angel? Lu Chen asked doubtfully. Isn't she the leader of this base? I'm just the agent. The real leader is the old man you killed in front of the metal tower. Lu Chen searched his brain and found out that the little old man was actually the leader. He thought he was a soldier. Lu Chen fell into a brief silence. After thinking for a while, he raised his head. That's right. That's it for this time. I'll ask you what comes to mind next time. After saying that, he turned and left. Seeing that he was leaving, Yuji looked anxious. Didn't you promise to kill me after you answer the question? Yes. Lu Chen said calmly. Then kill me. No. You haven't finished answering my question yet. I answered every one of your questions. But I still haven't asked anything. I haven't asked you how to answer. Lu Chen opened the door and walked out. Then ask quickly. Definitely next time. Lu Chen chuckled. Turned to Yudan and said. Find someone to rebandage her wound. And give her something nutritious as a reward. I'm going to kill you. Yuji roared. Her chest rising and falling with anger. She felt that she was being played by Chase Lu. Lu Chen ignored her insults. Walked out of the prison building. And returned to the thunderstorm. Sitting on the cab. He opened the notes the captain had given him. There is a lot of information densely recorded on it. Most of which are zombie gathering points where level 1 crystal cores can be obtained. Then there is the relatively large gathering point of survivors. Which they mark to catch survivors. There is very little information about the secondary crystal core. Only a dozen pieces of information. And it is not very certain information. Finally, there was some information about the movements of other bases. There was one piece of information about Wanda Plaza in the old city that caught Lu Chen's attention. Intelligence showed that Hong Yuan Warehouse, Shanda Group, and Free Nation, the three largest forces in South City, jointly explored the place for the fourth day. Wanda Plaza in the old city? Lu Chen searched out the map prepared before the doomsday from the supernatural space. It marked the abnormal gathering points of materials in various parts of southern city before the apocalypse. 
one of which was in Wanda Plaza. The three major bases jointly explored. Lu Chen squinted and thought. There might be something good here. Lu Chen now needs to obtain the heart of machinery to increase the number of tanks. And he also needs to brush the second level crystal core to upgrade the tanks. If we rely on him alone, the efficiency will definitely be low. It is time to use the power of the masses. He folded the note and used the communicator to inform Yudon. Bring all the captains to the square to assemble. In the center of the base, the metal tower that has lost its energy has lost its luster and looks very old. In the square in front of the metal tower, for team captains and Lu Chen's group stood. Yu Dan stood next to Lu Chen and reported. There are currently 13 armored off-road vehicles, one medium truck, one large truck, and 16 heavy machine guns remaining in the base. How many cars did your team have before? Lu Chen asked. The captains answered one after another that Lin Zhuang had five vehicles. Kim Yun had four vehicles. And the other two captains both had three vehicles. Lu Chen thought for two seconds and decided to let Lin Zhuang and Tim Yun continue as usual. While the other two captains merged the team and jointly managed the four off-road vehicles. Because Lu Chen didn't need to capture survivors. Medium-sized trucks and large trucks were useless. You three teams. Each vehicle is equipped with a heavy machine gun. Lu Chen said. Boss. Where is the base? Doesn't the base need to be defended with heavy machine guns? Yudon asked. No need. Lu Chen said. The combat effectiveness in the base is already seriously insufficient. And it is impossible to allocate it to base defense. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. You choose tasks based on your own strength. I am not involved in task assignment. I am only responsible for distributing rewards. If you show corresponding value, you will get corresponding rewards. After speaking, Lu Chen reached into his windbreaker and took out a pack of wazi, throwing it on the table prepared in advance. Next is a bottle of ergwotu, then a bottle of mouth eye, high in desserts, bobo chicken set meal, self-heating hot pot, phagei happy water. After throwing away the entertainment things, Lu Chen reached out to the other side and found a switch, a set of board games, a copy of Battle of the Sky, playing cards, and a beauty magazine. These are scarce entertainment resources in the apocalypse, which can serve as a spice to the cruel and boring apocalyptic life. The captains were fascinated by the rewards, especially Taimion. He almost couldn't stand up straight when he saw those bottles of good wine. These rewards need to be exchanged for crystal cores. The higher level crystal cores can be exchanged for better things. In addition, Luchin paused and said word by word, If someone's value is recognized by me, I can make him a superpower. There is an option for the crystal core transformation room in Lei Bao's skill panel. Luchin estimates that after unlocking it, he will also be able to transform the crystal core and give human superpowers. Although he doesn't have this ability yet, how can he be a leader if he doesn't know how to draw a cake? Becoming a powerful superpower is undoubtedly the dream of these power-seeking captains. Their eyes lit up when they heard it, because they not only looked forward to it, but also believed that Lu Chen really had this ability. Then that's all. You can bring your men out of the prison. If you don't have enough, you can choose among the survivors. Chase Lu waved Yudon to take off the shackles from their hands and let them start taking action. I wish you all good luck, Lu Chen said to the captains. The captains left the square with great enthusiasm. They admired the pipe painted by Lu Chen very much. Boss, what about me? Do I want to go? Yudon asked. Just be the leader of your base. Then I won't reward you. Boss, I've given you all those on the table as your reward for the past few days. Lu Chen boarded the thunderstorm. Boss is wise. Yu Dan excitedly called to the younger brothers to rush forward. Boom! The engines roared and the tanks once again gathered in front of the base gate, with thunderstorms among them. These young men who had just been released from prison did not look tired at all, but were all excited. After all, the rewards given by Lu Chen were too generous, and all their tanks were equipped with heavy machine guns. The increase in strength and the temptation of rewards allowed them to sweep away the haze of the previous annihilation. However, the excitement was overwhelming, and no one in the convoy fired their guns into the sky like before because they were still not sure about the temper of the new leader. Lu Chen seemed to have lost his crazy energy when he saw everyone behaving well. He lowered his window, pointed his gun into the sky and fired. After sweeping the shuttle, he shouted, The team that finishes first will eat abalone at night. This sentence instantly ignited everyone's enthusiasm. Everyone leaned out and raised their guns to shoot. 
The roar of the engine was deafening. The gate of the base slowly opened. And the tanks poured out. Kicking up dust in the sky. Lu Chen slowly activated the thunderstorm and chuckled. Feeling a bit like a doomsday rush. Lin Zhuang and Tian both received the mission of the second level crystal core. And the other team received the mission of the first level crystal core. Lu Chen himself chose Wanda Plaza. He wanted to see what treasures there were. And he could also clean up the convoys of the three major forces. He wanted to do more than one thing with one stone. Chapter 62 Where are your horses? Old Town. Wanda Square. Vehicles painted in various colors were parked haphazardly on the edge of the square. And the center of the square was in ruins. Wanda's shopping mall is composed of a commercial complex at the bottom and high-rise office buildings. The vast complex in front of us has been demolished. And only a small part of the high-rise building is still standing. The small piece that wasn't dumped shone silvery white and looked like it was made of metal. Boom! A rocket hit the long metal building. But the building was intact. On top of the ruins, three people were looking at the metal building. A fat man was lying on a lounge chair. A charming woman. And a man in a white suit. The rocket launcher is definitely useless, said Mr. Hua Xiao, the captain of the free country convoy. A man in a white suit, Rong Biao, the young master of Shanda Group, glanced at the fat man lying on the deck chair and said, I have a lot of cannonballs. What's wrong with playing around? Give him another shot, he shouted down. Another rocket was fired at the building. Mr. Hua squinted his eyes and shook his head, looking at the woman beside him who had never spoken. The woman wears a tight leather upper body, lace knee-high socks and leather boots, with a cigarette dangling from her seductive red lips. Just by looking at her outfit, you would definitely think that she is here for a catwalk, rather than on a mission. Zhang Yen. She is Zhang Yen, the second eldest daughter of Zhang Hongyuan. Zhang Yen took off the cigarette with two fingers and blew a smoke ring into the air. A safe house built with metal tower materials is really difficult to deal with. I didn't expect that this person got the materials and instead of building a metal tower and setting up a base as required. He ran here and hid. Zhang Yan's voice was gentle and lingering. And just listening to it made the two men around her think about it. Wang Jin. Mr. Hua opened a piece of information. The former entertainment company boss, after learning about the World Restart Plan, ran to the center of the city and secretly built a safe house using the organization's materials. When the apocalypse comes, I will stay in this small place and enjoy tormenting ordinary neighbors. Ha! What a coward! Just say that the organization gave us eight bases, but there were only seven in Nanchang. It turns out there is a shrinking bastard! Rongbiao laughed. The three major bases have joined forces for the sake of the mechanical heart in the safe house. The first person to discover Wang Jin was Hong Yuan Warehouse. They thought that since Wang Jin had not formed a force, the mechanical heart should be within easy reach. But they couldn't break through the safe house made of metal tower materials. Neither heavy firepower nor superpowers could do anything about it. Their actions here were discovered by the other two bases. And in the end, the three bases had to join forces. Let's look for a way to break into the safe house together. But we spend four days here without even a chance. Laugh. Laugh. You idiots. Wang Jin's voice suddenly came from the minds of the three of them. He is a psychic person who can directly communicate with the people around him. You want to compete with me to see who can live longer? A bunch of idiots. Isn't it good to hide in the house and play with women every day? Why go out to find trouble? Ha ha ha. Rongbiao covered his ears, but couldn't block the sound. Damn it. Blast him. Rongbiao roared. Several rockets were fired, but it did not affect Wang Jin's buzzing words in his head. Teen and E. No more fun. Rongbiao stood up and left angrily. For four days, he had nothing to lose and had to be tortured every day. Mr. Hua looked at Zhang Yin helplessly. It's useless to dig into the foundation. Right. The ground has been affected by the mechanical heart. It's so hard that even a drill bit can't hit it. Then let's go. Our free country can't afford it anymore. Let's wait for this person to starve to death. Mr. Hua was also ready to leave. Starve to death. You old sow, grandpa. I have enough supplies to last for dozens of lifetimes. Including golden shark fins and Angus steaks. Leave first. Zhang Yin frowned. She also felt a little annoyed. It happened that her father asked her to inquire about the fourth brother's information in the past few days. With their current firepower, they will definitely not be able to break through the defense of the metal tower. They can only wait until their powers become more powerful before coming back. Little sister, you don't have to wait until later. 
If you come in and play alone, Uncle will approve it with both hands and feet. Zhang Yin took a puff of cigarette helplessly. This person could not only transmit his words into other people's minds, but also read other people's thoughts. The three captains all got into their respective lead cars and prepared to leave this tormenting place. Run away now. You are a bunch of losers. Grandpa will kill you next time. The three of them endured boredom and looked at each other warily through the car window before starting the chariot and leaving. After getting out of the range of Wang Jin's telepathy, Zhang Yen finally breathed a sigh of relief. It was so annoying that she wanted to eat Wang Jin alive. After driving for a while, the PDA in her hand showed the surveillance screen of Wanda Plaza. Although judging from the four days she spent here, it is impossible for anyone to break into this safe house now. Certain monitoring equipment is still necessary. In order to ensure nothing goes wrong, she also set up several human flesh bases in the surrounding areas and inspected them on time every day. At the same time, Rongbiao and Hua Xiao also held the surveillance footage of Wanda Plaza in their hands. Rongbiao's was a drone shooting in real time, while Hua Xiao's was manual real time monitoring. After all, the heart of machinery is an absolute strategic resource, and no one wants to be acquired by the other two bases. Wanda Plaza! Wanda Plaza! Lu Chen murmured, driving towards Wanda Plaza in a thunderstorm. This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. Having driven Qian for a long time, he was still not used to the slow speed of the thunderstorm. But it's actually not slow either. After all, the maximum speed of a thunderstorm is 300 kilometers per hour, which is much faster than other cars. Moreover, thunderstorms can ignore all obstacles on the road and hit several cars without even noticing. But compared with Qi Yan's light operating feel and lightning speed, there is still a gap. There was still some distance from Wanda Plaza. So Luchin had nothing to do and analyze thunderstorm skills. According to his last experience of using it, the fragmentation laser still has many shortcomings. Although it is extremely powerful, it takes a lot of time to accumulate power, and it has no aiming system. So you need to aim it with the front of the car. Just ask where there will be an enemy standing still, waiting for you to slowly accumulate strength, and then blast towards him. The last time the opponent's main victory was a straight charge, and sure Liji was already unwary of such an obvious disintegrating laser. If they don't die, who will die? Are we on the way? Zhuang Yuan opened the door from behind and came in. She had slept since morning, but she was still sleepy. Well, a new goal, Lu Chen replied. Do you need my help? Zhuang Yuan rubbed his eyes, still wearing the translucent pajamas. I'll call you if necessary. You'd better catch up on your sleep first. Yeah, Zhuang Yuan agreed, closed the door and left. Thanks to Thunderstorm Super Shock Absorbing System. You won't feel any bumps when sleeping in the cabin. The scenery is so beautiful. Lu Chen couldn't help but sigh. Referring to the scenery, he just saw reflected from the central control screen. Entering the old town. The roads become very narrow. The huge body of thunderstorms would occasionally crush fire hydrants on the roadside and knock over several trash cans. Not long after driving, Wanda Plaza at the end of the road appeared in front of Lu Chen. Huh? Why was it raised? These three major bases are making such big moves. And I didn't even see the vehicles from the three major bases along the way. Did they retreat today? Since they retreated, everything here should have been looted. Luchin said regretfully in his heart. The thunderstorm slowly drove into Wanda Plaza. And only one corner of the large building was bombed. What are you looking for? Luchin was very puzzled by their behavior. After walking around the square. Except for the strange corner of the silver white building. There was nothing left. If that was an important thing, the three major bases wouldn't be able to stay. Lu Chen looked at the silver white building for a while, but felt that the decoration style of this building was a bit strange. It seemed that he was a step late. Lu Chen reluctantly activated the thunderstorm and prepared to leave. Where are your horses? Suddenly, a voice appeared in his mind out of thin air. Chapter 63 My Safe House is Indestructible Captain, a truck has entered the surveillance range. The team member next to Zhang Yin handed her a surveillance screen, on which a medium-sized truck was slowly driving into Wanda Plaza. No base paint? Zhang Yin wondered in her heart. Do you want to send people to annihilate them? The team members asked. Zhang Yin shook her head and pulled up the stockings at the base of her thighs. Just continue to monitor. There is no need to send troops for this kind of bastard. A hasty dispatch may alert the other two bases. Yes. The team member took back the monitor screen. Did someone just scold me? Luchin said doubtfully. His first reaction when he heard the sound was that Yuji was following? 
then I thought it was impossible. But the sound didn't come from the ears, but appeared directly in the mind. What else has this ability and the system is alive? What kind of system is it? It's me. Stranger? Lu Chen realized. Where is the person? In the building. You shovel. Building? Lu Chen looked towards the white building in the square that could barely be called a building. Hey, I finally found your uncle. The voice in my head joked. Psychic powers? This ability is pretty good. Sir, of course my powers are useful. The voice said proudly. I don't know if I can communicate with dogs if I put it on a dog. Hack! The voice cursed. Put my powers on a dog. You are really looking for death. You dare to drive around in a shabby car that transports watermelons. But you stay in the toilet with the light on. Are you looking for death? Luchin shook his head. This guy has a bad mouth. This output frequency can be ranked high in Zwan. He ignored the voice. Calm down. And his eyes stayed on the white building again. This time he finally found something wrong. This thing seemed to be made of a metal tower. Although the shape is different. It is still the form of a stick inserted into the ground. This isn't just another type of metal tower. Hey, you're right. Kid, you know a lot. Which base did you escape from? Could it be that there is also a mechanical heart in this metal tower? W.O.C. You kid knows all this and can't tell. But don't even think about it. Just now. Sir, I was running away from a group of base lackeys. Luchin took a long breath. His luck would not be so good. He could encounter the mechanical heart just by walking around. So the three major bases spent these four days just to open this tin can. And then retreated without opening it? Luchin figured out what happened. It was so effortless. He thought. What did you get? What did you get? You are not stupid. Are you? Wang Jin was confused by Lu Chen's brain circuit. A safe house that could not be broken open by any of the three major bases. How could he? A refugee who had no base to belong to. Say it without any trouble? You idiot! You're so drunk! Wang Jin laughed in Lu Chen's mind. Let's decide quickly. Lu Chen called out the panel. With such important strategic materials, those people would leave behind informants even if they left. The sooner you solve the accident, the less likely it will be. This is the simple truth of long nights and many dreams. Ha ha. Wang Jin sneered. Fools are no fun. His favorite thing is to torture others through this ability. And the safe house provides him with a perfect defense. Allowing him to do whatever he wants with this skill. The neighbors did not dare to leave the building before. So they could only be tortured endlessly by him. He will take advantage of sleeping time to shout in other people's heads to wake them up. If he repeats this several times, people's mental problems will soon arise. There was once a young couple whom she targeted. And he kept torturing the girl. When she was about to collapse. He told her that as long as she killed her boyfriend, he would stop torturing her. The girl took action and killed her boyfriend. But Wang Jin continued to torture her until he committed suicide by jumping off a building. He loves to see others hysterical and pleading. He originally wanted to continue this happiness with Lu Chen. But it was a pity that this person seemed to be a fool and actually thought he could break the safe house. It's better to decide quickly, Wang Jin said with a smile. If you don't talk about crosstalk, you're really burying your talent. Lu Chen continued to ignore his words and reverse the car. Away from the metal building. Yes. Yes. Come on. Idiot. Wang Jin said in Lu Chen's mind. He has lost interest in teasing Chase Lu. Who has nothing to do with a fool. After retreating about 200 meters. Lu Chen stopped reversing. Expand the panel and press the button that activates the disintegration laser. Disintegration laser is starting. The silver-white metal shield on the front of the car unfolded, revealing a black-gold laser emitter. Energy storage starts. Energy is pumped in. Energy reserves, 86%. 72%. Energy was pumped in. The coil began to rotate, and a blue arc light burst out from the emission port. What are you doing? Wang Jin asked doubtfully. What's on this man's mind? Cracking lasers? Energy reserves. I suggest you hide underground. Lu Chen thought in his mind. He knew that the other person could hear his thoughts. Are you smart? You don't really think you can break into my safe house. Do you? This is aerospace technology. Boy, it's indestructible. Wang Jin said with a smile. Lu Chen reminded him that he was avoiding him not to save him. But because he didn't want the laser to kill him. His bad mouth just now has filled Lu Chen's anger level. And he will vent his anger later. Wang Jin became more and more confused. Why is this person so confident? This chapter is not over. 
Please click on the next page to continue reading. Who gave him the courage? Wang Jin came to the observation port on the top floor and found that the front of the broken truck was glowing. Ha! You got a toy car. Right. Wang Jin said with a smile. He continued to look and saw that the light turned from blue to red and kept shining brightly. So bright that it was almost impossible to look directly at it. What is this? Wang Jin covered his eyes. The next second, a huge amount of energy poured out and shot towards the safe house. Boom! The moment the two came into contact, the safe house's alarm system sounded. Danger! Danger! The armor has been penetrated! The armor has been penetrated! What a joke! A safe house of my level can be penetrated! Wang Jin was surprised. After a few seconds, the light disappeared, and he felt a wave of heat coming up from the floor. Impossible! Impossible! He ran downstairs. And as soon as he rushed downstairs, he felt his skin being baked. After going down two more floors and reaching the first floor, he felt that all the moisture in his body was about to be evaporated. How can it be? Wang Jin's eyes widened in horror, and his lips couldn't stop trembling violently. The bulkhead of the safe house in front of him was blasted out with a hole as big as a human. Around the hole, the silvery white had melted into black, flowing down like ooze, and bursts of black smoke came out. How can it be? How can it be? Wang Jin couldn't believe the scene in front of him. This is a metal material that was not harmed even by the three major bases. How could it be penetrated by a kid who didn't even belong to the base? Huge fear enveloped Wang Jin, and his legs began to tremble. Who is he? Chi, the brakes sounded, and a truck stopped in front of the cave entrance. The car door opened, and a man wearing insulated clothing and sunglasses slowly stepped out of the car. Hello! He said with a smile. Chapter 64 Three Party Encirclement and Suppression. When Wang Jin saw Lu Chen, he was so shocked that he froze on the spot, his arms and legs trembling. Lu Chen took out a fire extinguisher and sprayed it around the hole to lower the temperature of the hole so that it would not be smooth when entering. After spraying the hole, Lu Chen walked into the safe house from the hole. Wang Jin was still in the horror of the safe house being destroyed, and his mind was empty. Luchin took out a fire axe from his back, and the axe flashed with silver light. He smiled and said to Wang Jin, You can start running. Ah. Uh, Wang Jin reacted, shouted, turned around and ran towards the basement. Devil. This man must be the devil. The basement is also made of metal materials, and each floor is blocked by metal doors. As long as you can escape inside, you can survive. No matter how powerful his laser is, he can't shoot at the ground. Wang Jin quickly ran down six floors and reached the bottom of the building. He is absolutely safe here because the metal doors on each floor need to identify his biometric information. And it is impossible for others to come in. Wang Jin, panting from running, slid to the ground, still frightened by the scene just now. Who is that man? And why does he possess such a heaven-defying weapon? Fortunately, I, Wang Jin, had wind on my feet. Otherwise I would have died young. After resting for a while, he walked to the control panel of the safe house, where he could monitor the situation in the safe house. Because the screen is not big, he can only look at one surveillance screen at a time. He first looked at the surveillance on the first floor and saw only the big hole, but not the terrifying man. Go upstairs? He looked at the surveillance upstairs and still didn't find Lu Chen. No way. Wang Jin wiped the sweat from his face. Now he could only be in the basement. Wang Jin tremblingly clicked on the next page. The screen jumped. There was no one on the first floor. It seemed that the other party had not entered the basement. He breathed a sigh of relief. No matter how powerful that person was, there was no way he could pass through the metal door again. So where did he go? Wang Jin tried to activate his powers, but his thoughts were confused and his consciousness could not spread. After trying for a while, but to no avail, he simply gave up and continued to scroll through the monitor. Negative second floor. None. Negative three floors. Nothing. He climbed faster and faster because it became increasingly impossible the further down he went. After climbing through two more floors, until the last floor, a huge face suddenly appeared on the surveillance screen. The face was grinning with a horrifying expression. Ah! Wang Jin was frightened by this sudden scene and fell to the ground. He rolled and crawled away from the surveillance camera, away from that horrifying face. If the surveillance footage is true, then, there is only one door between that man and himself. Wang Jin was crying. And his crotch was also wet. 
as if there was still some material. He secretly looked at the surveillance screen. The man smiled and turned his face away from the surveillance probe. The metal door on the last floor opened, and Lu Chen appeared in front of Wang Jin. Hello! Meet again? I was wrong. Uncle! Wang Jin collapsed and knelt on the ground and cowed out several times. Lu Chen walked up to Wang Jin kindly with an axe in hand. What's wrong? What's wrong with you? I broke into your home for no reason and broke in. Now I'm going to kill you. Open your skull to get the crystal core. And then take away the mechanical heart. I am the one who is heinous. What's wrong with you? After hearing this, Wang Jin almost went crazy. I was wrong. I was wrong. Please don't kill me. It was almost over. Seeing his desolate look, Lu Chen didn't plan to play anymore. Farewell. After saying that, he picked up the axe and struck Wang Jin on the head. The fire axe is extremely sharp. With the weight of the axe body, cracking a head is about the same as cracking a walnut. With a click, Wang Jin's disgusting begging for mercy stopped. Lu Chen patted his head flat. And it took him a long time to find the crystal core. Disgusting. Lu Chen thought as he held the bloody crystal core in his hand. After taking out the crystal core, Lu Chen looked at a blue crystal suspended in the air in the center of the room. Based on the last experience, this is the heart of the machine. Chase Lu took two steps forward and reached out to touch it. The moment it was touched, a light blue halo spread out and the panel popped up, obtained the heart of machinery and unlocked new vehicle modules. The mechanical heart dissipates and the metal tower will use up all energy within 10 minutes. The materials in the metal tower have been detected and have been automatically classified and stored in a special space. Now he will perform a space jump to help the host return to the ground. What about the crystal nucleus? There is no crystal nucleus in it, Lu Chen said doubtfully. But after thinking about it for a while, this person didn't seem to have formed an army. I'm afraid he hasn't been out since the apocalypse broke out. Although it's a bit frustrating to not have a crystal core, it would be nice to have a mechanical heart. After choosing to jump with his mind, a blue teleportation light belt appeared, and Lu Chen returned to the thunderstorm. The first thing he did when he returned to Thunderstorm was to clean his hands and body and throw away his coat. For an experienced driver, the cleanliness of the car is sometimes more important than life. After cleaning up, he opened the panel and found that Thunderstorm's fuel reserve was only 10%. It seems that upgrading the energy source is imminent. We can't just shoot it once every time and then turn it off. You should be able to come at least 7 or 8 times. Moreover, I spent about 80% of the fuel to barely break through one wall of this safe house. If there is a stronger defense in the future, it will be defeated. Lu Chen stepped on the accelerator, and the thunderstorm slowly started. He was not in a hurry to refuel. Although there was only 10% left, thunderstorm's fuel tank had 1,000L, and 10% was enough for him to run around Nanchung. Moreover, it is very dangerous to get out of the car and refuel now. It is better to return to the base and let Yudon handle this dirty work. The thunderstorm was moving forward. Lu Chen saw that it was still early. Are you going back like this today? He was quite satisfied with this harvest. A mechanical heart and a secondary crystal core. But if I have to find something wrong, it is that there are too few secondary crystal cores. The last time I defeated the Angel of Death, I got a full five cores. No, you have to find a place to brush some crystal cores. At this time, Three teams of people were rushing towards Wanda Square. The interior of the car was violently bumpy due to rapid speed. The white light flashed and the surveillance screen disappeared? Rongbiao said in surprise. Yes, boss. Can't you see which base it is? Yeah, that truck wasn't painted. Rongbiao punched the team member who was driving the car on the head and said angrily. MD, open the car quickly. If that person escapes, I will kill your whole family. Hong Yuan Warehouse Fleet. John Yin looked solemn. She didn't expect things to turn out like this. If this mechanical heart is lost, her father will definitely punish her severely. Hurry up, she said, with an irresistible authority in her voice. Free State Racing Team. It should be a powerful electromagnetic pulse weapon, a team member reported. Hua Xiao thought for a while and said, Speed up. Don't let that person run away. Chapter 65. Do you still want to leave without killing me? Lu Chen took out the note and checked the mission information on it. Many of them are just a secondary crystal core, and they still have to travel a long way. It's not that Lu Chen doesn't like a second level crystal core now, but it's just not cost effective to make a trip for it. It's a place where other teams in the base can go once and that's it. Just when he was worried, 
The sound of a roaring car engine could be heard faintly in the distance. Oh! Lu Chen put the mission note back into his pocket. Could it be that someone came to deliver it? Lu Chen knew that with the heart of machinery being such an important strategic weapon. Even if they left, they would definitely play surveillance equipment around it. Now that he has breached the safe house, the other party must have noticed it and sent a convoy to intercept it. Lu Chen thought of this, with a greedy expression on his face. The three major bases are very rich in oil and water. Shanda Group's motorcade was the first to enter the Wanda Plaza. They didn't go far and came back quickly. As soon as they entered Wanda Plaza, the crudely modified heavy truck appeared in front of everyone. This is the car, Rong Biao said scornfully. Are you sure you read it correctly? This truck doesn't look like it has high technology and can blast open a safe house. It's this car. The footage captured by our drone is very clear. It's definitely this car. The convoy continued deeper, and Rong Biao saw the big hole in the safe house behind the truck. It was really hacking blown away. Rong Biao thought silently in his heart. It's the silver disc on the front of the car. And the light comes from there. The team member added. Rong Biao stared at the truck for a while and gave the order. Spread out and attack from three directions. No matter how powerful this vehicle is, at least its armor is not enough to look good. And Rong Biao guessed that his attack could only attack one path. So that the firepower of the other two paths could easily destroy it. He smiled and looked at the truck that was parked motionless. This was exactly the opportunity he had dreamed of. An opportunity to rectify Shanda Group's name again. Shanda Group has a big business and is the largest enterprise in Nanchang City. After the end of the world, their base has the most luxurious configuration in all aspects. But bad luck. The team always failed due to various reasons when going on missions. So that there was a bad reputation in the world that the Shanda Group didn't even have a handler. The news about Shanda Group is generally that Shanda Group lost another team somewhere and suffered another failure somewhere. What's more, they specifically disclosed information so that Shanda Group's convoy could attack. After Shanda's convoy crashes there, those who reveal the information will take over. The weapons lost by the Shanda Group were taken away together with the original Crystal Core. And they made a lot of money. How unreasonable. Today, I, Rong Biao, will take back the heart of machinery and revive the glory of Shanda Group. Listen to my command. Rong Biao roared into the communicator. Full firepower. Shanda Group has a total of nine tanks, nine heavy machine guns, and three rocket launchers. The lead vehicle on which Rong Biao is located also has an anti-tank heavy machine gun. Under Rong Biao's order, all firepower was poured on the thunderstorm. Got it. Rong Biao looked at the bullets whizzing out and thought in his heart. Isn't it easy for these anti-tank weapons to deal with this kind of civilian modified armor? Inside the thunderstorm. Lu Chen held his head and thought about how to attack in order to leave intact vehicles. Now the base is very lacking in combat effectiveness. He wants to bring all these weapons and equipment back to strengthen the base. So that the speed of collecting crystal cores will be accelerated in the future. The bullets from the heavy machine gun outside the car window left a crackling sound of raindrops. Minus 0.01%. Minus 0.02%. Minus 0.01%. Minus 0.01%. Minus 2%. Minus 0.01%. The armor value on the armor panel slowly decreased. And the firepower of the heavy machine gun was no longer enough. Only rockets could cause considerable damage. Forget it. Deal with them first and consider the rest after the battle is over. Controlled by Lu Chen's thoughts. The red flame tool appeared next to the thunderstorm car. Rong Biao stared at the undamaged truck. His mind filled with a big question mark. Why is the attack ineffective? Did you hacking shoot? He punched the team member on the side of the head on the head. Open! Open! The team member checked the transmitter in his hand. I really shot it. How can the other party not be injured? Boss! Get out! Get out! A team member shouted. What? A red car appeared nearby. Rong Biao turned around and saw a red chariot appearing out of thin air next to the truck. Danger? This? This is something from Tain Yang. He had heard that there were people with supernatural powers who could travel through space. But he had never heard that cars could do it too. After Lu Chen controlled the Qi Yan equipment with his mind, he drove the space jump and came to Qi Yan's cab. After scanning around, Lu Chen's eyes stopped on the leading car with Shanda Group's khaki paint. To capture the thief. Capture the king first. He stepped on the accelerator. And in conjunction with the fiery charge, Qi Yan ejected directly and flew out. Red flames. Like fireballs, 
rushed into the Shanda Group's motorcade in the blink of an eye. There is no extra foreplay. Just rush in. Although it is a little rough. The effect is perfect. The three tanks on the left were all pushed away by Qi Yin. And their combat effectiveness was instantly lost. This time Lu Chen learned from his previous experience and cleverly controlled the intensity of the collision. So that both parties were at the best experience point. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. You won't lose too much power due to collision. And the other party won't suffer much damage due to too much force. After clearing these three vehicles, Luchin braked and sped towards the other two roads. Bang! 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 Different vehicles. Same ending. The battle between Shanda Group and Luchin ended within one minute. Luchin accurately controlled the angle and intensity of the impact. And all nine cars fell to the ground. He drove the red flame to clean up the battlefield, sending the team members who climbed out of the car flying one by one. At the same time, he was searching in the supernatural space. He had already collected three rocket launchers and 34 first-level crystal nuclei. The cleaning was almost done, and the sound of rumbling engines could be heard in the distance again. Luchin was overjoyed. They were queuing up to send them off. The leading car was on its back, and Rongbiao was lying down in the car. The seat belt on his chest was so tight that he couldn't breathe. At this time, he felt regretful. Extremely regretful. Why bother with him? Boss, you're crying, said a team member next to Rong Biao, who was also hanging upside down. Thanks for reminding. Boss, boss, listen, a car is coming. The team members put their ears to the roof of the car and said happily, They are coming to save us. Really? Rong Biao was stunned and squirmed his fat body. Sure enough, I heard the sound of a vehicle approaching on the ground. Okay. Okay. Rong Biao was overjoyed. They're coming. They're coming. They came to deliver it just like me. If word spreads like this, it is not that our Shanda group has failed again, but that the three major bases have failed to join forces to fight against the enemy. Ha ha ha. Rong Biao laughed. He single-handedly brought Shanda group's tactical level to the same level as the other two bases. I, Rong Biao, am awesome. Chapter 66 The Three of Us The roar of engines rolled from the horizon, and the Hongyuan warehouse and Free Nation fleets entered the Wanda Plaza area at the same time. There are nine tanks in the Hongyuan warehouse and eleven tanks in the Free Country, all of which are fully armed and menacing. The two leading cars, Zhang Yin and Hua Xiao, drove forward together. They looked at each other, and then their eyes fell on the center of the square. All the overturned Shanda group convoys and two tanks of unknown origin. It seems like the spray paint of the Death Angel? Zhang Yin frowned. How dare a small base like Death Angel dare to break into the joint detection range of their three major bases? It's certainly not simple. You must not underestimate the enemy. Zhang Yin picked up the communicator and contacted Mr. Hua next to her. Let's use full firepower. Exactly what I thought, came the soft voice from the other side. Fire! The captains of both sides gave the order, and the convoy firepower surged out. Their preferred targets are thunderstorms that stand still and are considered the biggest threat. Mr. Hua poked his head out of the sunroof of the lead car. Ah! Roaring angrily. His eyes rotated, leaving only the whites of his eyes. Kinetic energy added. With the blessing of his superpower, the speed of all bullets and cannonballs was greatly increased. And they rushed towards the thunderstorm. Faster speed means greater power. And it doesn't matter if a bullet becomes more powerful. But thousands of bullets and cannonballs are also accelerated. And their power is not only increased by a little. Chase Lu saw one that had cracked the window of the thunderstorm car. 100% fire charge. Lu Chen stepped on the accelerator. He couldn't hold back this time. He had to deal with the superpower immediately. Boom. The red flames activated instantly. Leaving a red after image behind them. The Wanda Plaza is actually quite large. But facing Qi Yin, who is advancing at full speed. Crossing. Only for a moment. No one present could realize what happened. Zhang Yin only saw the fiery red car start. And in the blink of an eye, there was a loud crash beside her. Boom. A crashing sound that seemed to shatter the eardrums came. And the chariots in a straight line were hit into the sky. At the moment of impact, the free countries tanked to form violently. What was hit into the sky was just a pile of twisted and deformed wreckage. With no shape of the car at all. Before the wreckage could hit the ground, Lu Chun braked, turned his head, and quickly came back. Boom! Another row of chariots went up, in front of the red flames, which are moving at full speed like missiles. 
all things are equal. Whether it is the combat vehicles at the two major bases, the newspaper kiosks on the roadside, or the trash cans, as long as it blocks Jian's path, it will only turn into debris and fly into the sky. In a burst of earth-shattering collisions and explosions, the battle ended. The chariot that Zhang Yin was in went up to the sky during the fourth back-and-forth collision. At this moment, her face was covered with blood, and her straight breasts were squeezed between the airbag and the back of the seat. The team member driving next to her had already expired, but she managed to survive with the strength of her body as a superpower. What's this? The battle had ended for a few minutes, but her mind was still stuck on the scene just now. Their two major bases joined forces, but they didn't even have the slightest power to fight back. What kind of force is the other party? Chi. Lu Chen slowly stopped Chi Yin and looked towards the main street. Broken vehicles. Blazing fires. Oil and blood flowing all over the ground. Well? Lu Chen sighed. There is nothing I can do. Who told you to hit me and hurt me? Inside the leading car of Shanda Group. Two people hanging upside down in a carriage watching a show. Boss! It seems the person who saved us is gone! The team member said. Rong Biao who could see the difference, twisted his stiff body, remained silent for a long time, and then uttered a sentence. How miserable! Compared to the mountains of swords and seas of fire over there. My side was just knocked over. Seems much better. Boss, should we sneak out and sneak away? If you want to die, just leave. I won't go out anyway, Rongbiao said. He had actually wanted to take advantage of the chaos and escape, but he was too fat and stuck and couldn't get out at all. Even if the boss has some backbone, I won't go out. After two rounds of inspection, Chase Lu opened the Qian panel. Although he had porcelain gold armor, the full force collision still caused great damage to Qian, crashed 20 vehicles, and consumed nearly 50% of the armor. After using the crystal core to repair it, Lu Chen started a space jump and came to the thunderstorm. Opening the thunderstorm panel, the opponent's five second attack had already caused thunderstorm to lose nearly 30% of its armor. Lu Chen looked at the panel and frowned in thought. The abilities of superpowers are still very powerful. As time goes by, human armed forces reach their limits. Your opponents will definitely turn into powerful superpowers. Zombies and alien species. This little second level superpower, combined with the firepower of the tank, can destroy one of his tanks in only about 20 seconds. It seems that we still need to keep upgrading. After spending crystal cores to repair Thunderstorm's armor, Xuan Yuan also came to the cab from behind. Lu Chen asked her to stay where she was and snipe anyone who dared to come out. Then he threw a recorded speaker on the ground and drove away with red flames. He wants to go back and shake people and bring back all the chariots here. The base is in urgent need of strength replenishment. In the future, the speed of collecting crystal cores by one person will become slower and slower. So teamwork is necessary. The fiery red flame disappeared at the end of the street, leaving only a big loudspeaker in the center of the square. Sniper rifle coverage. Please do not move. Sniper rifle coverage. Please do not move. 20 minutes later, Lu Chen drove Chi Yin back to Wanda Plaza. After waiting for another hour, Yudan, who was following him, came to the square with a truckload of people. Under Lu Chen's arrangement, they used various tools to turn over the overturned cars. The people who were still alive were taken out and laid down in a row. It took about an hour to get everyone and the cars in place. The captains of the three major bases stood in the front row. And behind them were the remaining surviving team members, most of whom were from the Shanda group. Among the three captains, Zhang Yin was the most eye-catching. The leather jacket and stockings on her feet were damaged in many places, which made everyone present can't help but wonder. The three of them had their hands tied and looked at each other. Zhang Yin and Hua Xiao were still in shock and fear, but Rong Biao had already walked out. Not only is he not panicking now, but he is also a little complacent. Compared with the embarrassment of these two bases, Shanda Group suffered the least losses. In this battle, he, Rong Biao, won completely. Send your name, Lu Chen said to the three captains. Shanda Group, Rong Biao. Rong Biao said he he. The remaining two people remained silent and glared at Rong Biao with disdain. Oh, Lu Chen smiled and said. Chapter 67 New Tanks Added Seeing that the two men looked like they would rather die than surrender, Lu Chen raised his gun and shot. Boom! Ouch! Gunshots rang out, and Rong Biao fell to the ground clutching his shoulders. Why did you hit me? Rong Biao screamed in his heart. Missed. 
Lu Chen's eyes twitched, and he pretended to be calm. You two don't want to end up like him. Zhang Yin and Hua Xiao looked at each other and exchanged glances for a second. Zhang Yin screamed, and all the clothes on her body exploded, and dozens of thorn-like tentacles grew out of her back. She threw her hands back, then swung forward suddenly, and all the tentacles behind her rushed towards Lu Chen. At the same time, Hua Xiao rolled his eyes and activated his powers to make the thorn tentacles move faster. The tips of the tentacles sparkled with silver, whizzing towards Lu Chen like dozens of sharp knives. The two of them actually wanted to work together to kill Lu Chen at the last moment. Yudan's face instantly turned pale. It's over, he thought in his heart. It would be over if the boss was stabbed. He wanted to rush forward and block Lu Chen's knife, but it was impossible to keep up at this distance. Boss, Yudan shouted desperately. Boom! A huge gunshot rang out. Zhang Yan's head exploded like a watermelon. The sharp tentacles that were about to stab Chase Lu lost all their power and fell limply at Chen Lu's feet. Zhang Yan's sexy body, which had lost its head, shook twice and then fell backward to the ground. Mr. Hua's mouth was slightly open, and his face was covered with Zhang Yan's brains and blood. He looked towards the direction where the bullets were flying. A very weak-looking girl was pointing a sniper rifle at him. Boom! There was another gunshot. His head exploded, and all the secondary crystal nuclei in his brain flew far away. Luchin shook his head. He originally wanted to ask something. But it was a pity. He cast his gaze on Rongbiao. Rongbiao was frightened by the scene just now and sat there stupidly, forgetting the pain. When Luchin saw this, he immediately got up from the ground and knelt down. Woman! Spare your life! Heroine! Spare your life! What special powers do you have? Chase Lu asked. If he hadn't arranged for Zhuang Yuan in advance, the attack by these two people just now might have killed him. Although the fat man looked naive, he did not dare to take it lightly anymore. I have no powers, Rongbiao said. You don't have any powers? It's absolutely true. It's absolutely true. I'm afraid of pain. So I never dared to implant the crystal core. Rongbiao lay on the ground and said tremblingly, I'm not a bad person. So let's give me a reason not to kill you. Lu Chen squatted on the ground and looked straight into his eyes. I can lead Shanda Group to join your organization. Can you represent the entire Shanda Group? You caught me and threatened my father. My father loves me the most. If you catch me, he will definitely listen to you and everything. Rongbiao said sincerely. Lu Chen chuckled. What a filial son. Save your life. He waved and Yudan stepped forward and put Rongbiao and other base members on the big truck. Lu Chen stepped forward to pick up the crystal nuclei of Zhang Yan and Hua Xiao. When he came back, he accidentally glanced at Zhang Yan's body. It's a pity. After clearing the battlefield, Lu Chen returned with a large army fully loaded. Yudan brought a dozen drivers and drove away all ten tanks that could still start on the battlefield. In terms of other weapons, a total of five rocket launchers, fourteen heavy machine guns, and countless rifles were obtained. Finally, there are three secondary crystal cores and a mechanical heart. As night fell, all the convoys returned to the base one after another. Chase Chase counted their loot. Among them, Lin Zhuang received two second-level crystal cores. Tai Mian received one second-level crystal core. And the remaining team received 51st-level crystal nuclei. Counting Chase Lu's own. He received a total of six second-level crystal cores and 84 first-level crystal cores today. Lu Chen took out two boxes of abalone from the supernatural space and gave them to the Iron Mask team that won the first place in racing today. The other teams looked at it with envy and secretly vowed to take first place tomorrow. After dinner, Lu Chen hung two blackboards outside, one with the trophies obtained by each team written on one. At that time, the team captain can redeem the prizes according to the above count, which is open and transparent. The other piece is written with redeemable prizes, which are densely packed and colorful. Members of each base gathered around the blackboard and pointed. I really want to take care of Wazi. What are you smoking? Smoking is harmful to your health. What's wrong with you is that it's the end of the world. And you don't care whether I'm healthy or not. W.O.C. Why do you still have that kind of doll? Everyone followed the younger brother's gaze and saw several real touch dolls with large characters. Everyone looked at each other with expressions of disdain. Hey, who wants that kind of thing? After you'd unread what was on the blackboard. He quietly came to Lu Chen's side. Boss! Boss! These rewards of yours can only be redeemed by those who go out. Our brothers in the guard also want to do something. Lu Chen smiled and said, 
Brothers in the Guard Army are given fixed points every day. And if you complete additional tasks, you can get more rewards. For example, building a new watchtower, repairing the city wall, etc. By the way, you pass the news on. Those experimenters and all survivors in the base, as long as they can contribute to the base, can get points to exchange for prizes. Okay, I'll report it right away. Lu Chen looked at Yudan's disappearing figure and suddenly felt very relieved. This base is moving in the expected direction. And the members are very motivated. In such a prosperous state, even the end of the world is no longer so scary. After talking to Yudan, Lu Chen walked into the garage. He wants to use the mechanical heart he obtained today to unlock a new tank. Lu Chen's eyes lit up as he looked at the newly entered Shanda Group's chariot in the garage. Shanda Group's tanks are top-notch in terms of performance and armor modification. With such a tank as the basis, the strength of your upgraded tank will be even stronger. After Lu Chen made a selection, he stopped in front of Rong Biao's lead car. This tank, which was modified from a Hummer, exudes a domineering atmosphere. The machine gun set up behind it is still an armor-piercing heavy machine gun. I don't know what it will look like after the system modification. He opened the door and climbed into the chariot. The panel unfolds before your eyes. A vehicle that meets the conditions has been detected. Do you want to upgrade? Note, the tank group system has been unlocked. One mechanical heart can unlock a small tank. Two mechanical hearts can unlock a medium tank. And three mechanical hearts can unlock a large tank. More tanks will be unlocked in the future. Note, the tank group requires various types of tanks. Please do not blindly pursue large tanks. Luchin turned off the system reminder. Needless to say these simple truths. He held the steering wheel of the new chariot that was about to be unlocked. With great anticipation in his heart. Chapter 68 Yudon takes office. After the mind control upgrade, the Hummer's body was shrouded in blue data lines. During upgrade, power module upgrade, defense module upgrade, operating system upgrade, interior space transformation. After a sound of parts moving and colliding, the tank was upgraded. Class D small tank transformation completed. The tank has automatically joined the tank group. Small tank module is initializing. Body strength, D level, bulletproof level. Maximum speed, 400 km per hour. Fuel tank capacity, 500 L. Armor. Alloy steel plate, mounting a steel baffle on the front of the car greatly improves the defensive performance of the front car. The required first level crystal core is 317-5. Engine. Fire charge. Install two fuel flame outlets at the rear of the vehicle, which can consume fuel and provide power to accelerate the tank instantly. The required first level crystal core is 317-5. Arms. Rapid fire machine gun 2. Increase the machine gun's rate of fire and firepower. Unlock the machine gun's automatic control system. And control the machine gun's aiming from the co-pilot seat. The required first level crystal core is 317 out of 10. Energy. High quality fuel. Increase the fuel tank capacity to 700 L. Increase the fuel energy conversion rate. And improve the power and performance of fuel equipment. The required first level crystal core is 317-5. Science and technology. Space jump. The chariot consumes fuel. Starts the jump program. And flashes to any range within 5 meters. The required first level crystal core is 317-5. Crystal core laboratory. Research crystal cores to unlock more tank functions. The required first level crystal cores are 317 out of 100. Other functions to be unlocked. Lu Chen roughly scanned the skill panel and found that although this car was generally similar to Qian, there were still some differences. First of all, the armor column has cancelled the battering ram and is just an ordinary baffle. This will greatly reduce the collision performance of this tank. Secondly, in terms of weapons, the hot bath was cancelled and replaced with the rapid-fire machine gun that originally came with the tank. This is what Luchin thought. The system modification of the tank is based on the original vehicle. The more important change is that this tank no longer has a special space, but has a space jump instead. Skills that flash within a small area can be used to flexibly dodge various attacks. If Qian is an assassin-type escort tank, then the new tank in front of you is a shooter-type tank that can move flexibly. Lu Chen glanced at the pile of skills waiting for points on the panel, and the corners of Lu Chen's mouth curled up slightly. He is no longer the same as he was at the beginning of the apocalypse, and he no longer has to think about which one to at first and which one to at later. Now we have money. He waved his hand and all the first-level crystal nuclei appeared. 
There are now 317 first level crystal cores, which can directly upgrade the tank to D level. Give me an upgrade. Lu Chen controlled the crystal core with his mind and frantically added points to the panel. The blue light flashed on the panel. The microwave rippled, and the skill modules were filled up one after another. So cool. After upgrading the tank to full equipment in one go, Chase Lu took a long breath, finally realized what it feels like to be a money-making boss. A total of 185 first-level crystal cores were spent, and all skills of the D-level tank were fully charged. In addition to the main skills, there are also supporting auxiliary skills that are all fully charged. For example, the fuel management provided by fire charge is a key skill that changes fire charge from uncontrollable to controllable. The supporting skill of the rapid fire machine gun is actually rapid cooling. A cooling system is added to the rapid fire machine gun so that it will never overheat and can continue to output. The supporting skill of space jump is reconnaissance, which can warn you in advance whether your flashing position is dangerous so as to prevent you from getting stuck in the wall and causing car crash and death. After all skills were upgraded to full capacity, Lu Chin chose to upgrade the new tank directly to level C, so that his performance in all aspects could be upgraded to the average level of the tank group. After another symphony of parts, the new tank was successfully upgraded to C level. With the upgrade of tanks, the tank group system has also been updated. Lu Chin did not name the chariot, but retained this power. It is impossible for him to control three tanks at the same time. He must assign these two tanks to someone else. Someone worthy of Lu Chen's trust. It was late at night, and many people were sitting around the bonfire in the center of the square. In the last days, everyone has no entertainment and can only sit together and talk about the world. Lu Chen drove a newly modified Humvee armored vehicle to the gate of the base. Yudan was on duty with several guards. The guards who were previously careless now looked impressive. After Yudon became the leader of the guard army, the first thing he did was to appoint the flat-headed brotherly gang as the squad leader as requested by Lu Chen. The two of them gave these lazy guards a good training. The guards on duty opened the base gate under Lu Chen's instructions. Yudon hurried down from the gatehouse. Boss, where are you going? Lu Chen stepped down from the cab. Waved to Yudon. Come up. Um. Yudon looked confused. What did you say? Boss? Go up and try the car, Chase Lu said again. Okay, okay. Yudan sat in the cab at Lu Chen's urging. As soon as he got in the car, his eyes changed. What happened to this car? Why is it different from when I drove it back? This exquisite interior has a sci-fi-like dashboard and a central control full of control buttons. Team! Captain! This! This car! Yudan was so excited that he could not speak incoherently. He had a hunch that this tank had been modified by Lu Chen and it was likely to have strong combat power. Try it! Lu Chen raised his head at him, and said with a smile. Under Lu Chen's gaze, Yudan slowly started the chariot. Boom! As the chariot started, so did his enthusiasm. He stepped on the accelerator, and the chariot rushed out. Yudan thoroughly enjoyed the roar of this steel beast. This was simply every man's dream car. The chariot kept moving and rushing under the moonlight, while Yudan was controlling the tank. Lu Chen also explained to him the functions of the buttons on the central control. Fire charge. Rapid fire machine gun. Space jump. Under Lu Chen's guidance, Yudan became familiar with all the buttons on the central control. Every time a skill is triggered, the fish eggs can't help but scream, which is really cool. After about half an hour, Lu Chen went through all the functions on the fish ball bar chariot. The two stopped the car and rested on the side of the car. Yudan was still immersed in excitement dancing and gesticulating the series of operations just now. Lu Chen looked at him and said in a deep voice, I'll leave this car to you. What? Yudan's waving hand stopped in midair, and he stared blankly at Lu Chen. This car will be driven by you from now on. You can choose the previous team members to form a new team. Yudan was still looking at Lu Chen, his eyes almost popping out of his sockets. Are you kidding me? Yudan said tremblingly. No. Lu Chen said seriously. Yudan looked at the car, then at Lu Chen, and then at the car. No! 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 He waved his hands in panic. No! How can I drive the boss's car? Chapter 69 The Wrath of Hong Yuan Warehouse Yudan shook his head and waved his hands while taking several steps away from the chariot. He just thought that Chase Lu was letting him try to drive it. But he didn't expect that Chen Lu would give him the car. He has seen the terrifying strength of Lu Chen's chariots. 
and naturally knows how precious this chariot will be in the end of the world. This is a tank more powerful than a superhuman. How can he drive it with just a soldier? Stop! Seeing the fish eggs retreating further and further away, Luchin said. Yudon stood there and did not dare to move. His expression was twisted and he said, Boss, I really can't open it. I don't know how. Then who opened it just now? Luchin felt funny in his heart when he saw Yudon's tearless expression. No, no, I don't know who it is. Do you think I gave this car to you? Luchin said seriously. I'm just letting you give it a try. If your combat performance is not good in the future, I will definitely replace you. Yudon felt a little calmer after hearing what Luchin said. Come up. Luchin pulled out the car key. Yudon walked slowly to Luchin. And Luchin slapped the key into his hand. Don't betray my trust. Luchin stared into his eyes with determination. Yudon's hand that took the key trembled slightly. And his eyes were slightly red. He stared into Luchin's eyes. And after pondering for a long time, he spoke seriously. Um. Thousands of thoughts turned into the word um. After a heavy sigh, a crystal tear fell from the corner of his eye. This is the most important moment in his life so far. Not only because of getting a top tank, but also because of this feeling of being trusted. A person is willing to entrust you with the best things and trust you. It is rare in peaceful times, let alone in the last days. Choose a name for this car, Chase Lu said. Yudon wiped the tears from his face calmly. Boss, what are the names of your two cars? Red Flames and Thunderstorms. Yudon thought for a while and said, Then let's call it Lightning Dot. Okay. Lu Chin readily agreed. Turn around and register Ji Dian's name in the system. Fleet information. Qian, small tank armor status, 92%. Fuel reserve, 86%. Registered personnel information. Lu Chen. Zhuang Yuan. Lightning, small tank armor status, 92%. Fuel reserve, 86%. Registered personnel information, Lu Chen. Yudon. Thunderstorm, medium tank armor status, 100%. Fuel reserve, 100%. Registered personnel information, Lu Chen. Zhuang Yuan. After handing over the lightning, Chase Lu turned around and walked towards the base gate. Just as he was about to deliver the fish eggs, Lu Chen interrupted him with a wave of his hand. Don't send me away. You can get in the car and play for a while to get familiar with it. Good. Yudon rushed into Flash excitedly and began to fumble again. He gently touched the shiny metallic steering wheel, like an old woman touching an ancestral agate ring. After looking at it for a long time, he excitedly inserted the key, and the engine roared again. The brightly lit Hong Yuan warehouse and the center of the base were transformed into a fighting arena. Below are three survivors in ragged clothes hugging each other. Above the audience are the scientific research and combat personnel in the base. Kill! 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 The audience in the auditorium shouted at the top of their lungs. The three people in the arena looked horrified and at a loss. In the special VIP seat, John Hong Yuan sat in the center, holding a cup of blood red something in his hand and sipping. His cunning and cruel gaze shot out from the small eyes squeezed into the fat on his face. The battle going on below was planned by him and was an exclusive program of Hong Yuan Warehouse. Death game. Only one person can survive in the entire arena. And the participants in the duel are carefully selected. Amidst the shouts of everyone in the audience, a host wearing a clown suit stepped onto the high platform. He held up the microphone and shouted loudly with an exaggerated expression. Welcome to tonight's game of death. After the host's opening remarks, the audience's shouts became louder and the waves came over and over again. Welcome our first group of contestants tonight. A happy family of three. Under the introduction of the host, the spotlight was focused on the three people in the arena. Who among them can survive to the end? Everyone, please place your bets as soon as possible. Be careful not to commit suicide in the game. Once someone commits suicide, everyone on the field will be sentenced to death. The clown host introduced the rules on the high platform, and the audience in the auditorium placed wild bets. After a few minutes, the host picked up three bone-breaking knives and threw them into the arena. Then now, let's hand over the stage to the lovely contestants and let the battle officially begin. Kill! 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 The crazy noises in the audience were drowned out for a while. And a family of three in the arena hugged each other and cried in despair. The clown host returned to the VIP seat from the high platform and sat down at the table in front of Zhang Hong Yuan. It's a good start. Zhang Hong Yuan's voice sounded like a broken bellows. Thank you. Father! The clown bowed his head and thanked him. 
Zhang Hongyuan took a sip of the blood-red substance in the cup and watched the battle in the arena with great interest. A family that originally loved each other and killed each other was his favorite drama. Not long after watching, a heavily armed team member came to the VIP table and said a few words to the clown host. The clown's expression changed drastically. He walked to Zhang Hongyuan and whispered, Father! A group of people came outside and said they have the whereabouts of the third brother. Huh? Zhang Hongyuan was startled. With a slight exertion, the wine glass in his hand shattered into powdery sand. Bring it in! Hongyuan Warehouse. Meeting Hall. In the Blood Red Room, there is a long lacquered wood table. The tall Zhang Hongyuan sat at the top of the long table, with his children sitting on both sides. Under the long table, a group of people who were tied up with five flowers were kneeling. If you look carefully, they are Kamikaze and his party. Where's the second child? Zhang Hongyuan said. Second sister hasn't come back tonight yet. The man in the suit said, by asking her to find someone. She has lost herself? Zhang Hongyuan's voice showed signs of anger. Maybe there is progress at Wanda Plaza. And it's possible to stay overnight. If there is no progress, I will skin her. Zhang Hongyuan said. He he. The second sister and the third brother secretly ran away to a place to play said the gothic girl at the table holding a bear. You guys! Zhang Hongyuan slammed the table and looked at the kamikaze group. What's the news? His voice seemed to be very aggressive, shaking kamikaze's internal organs. The team members behind the kamikaze had already been frightened into confusion, with their heads lowered and trembling. Kamikaze endured the pain and said calmly, We know the whereabouts of the third son of your base. Chapter 70 What is your base, and what is my base? Zhang Hongyuan squinted at Kamikaze, his small eyes almost disappearing into the piles of fat. His eyes scanned Kamikaze like knives, wanting to eat him alive. Say, he said, the third son of your base disappeared at Nanchun University. On that day, there were no other forces at Nanchun University, only a convoy from our base. What's your base? Zhang Hongyuan asked. The Angel of Death. That convoy has several tanks. Yes, three. Kamikaze answered. As soon as this answer came out, Zhang Hongyuan slammed the table, and a terrifying pressure pressed on the Kamikaze. He roared at the Kamikaze. You mean my son was captured by three chariots of your angels of death? Zhang Hongyuan brought out a fully equipped fleet of nine tanks. How could it be defeated by three tanks from a low-level base? He decided that the group of people in front of him were talking nonsense for rewards. Send to the arena, Zhang Hongyuan said solemnly. When Kamikaze heard this, he immediately panicked and said hurriedly, I don't know what trick that man used to defeat Third Young Master. Although it's hard to believe, Third Young Master is in our base right now. That man not only captured the Third Young Master, but also occupied our Death Angel's base and destroyed our tanks. Those of us who had a lucky escape can't swallow this bad breath. So we came so far to seek your help. Zhang Hongyuan shook his head, thought for a while and said, Is your base also occupied? Yes. John Hong Yuan's eyes narrowed again, and you couldn't tell whether he had closed them completely or something else. The Death Angel base was captured, and most of the defense facilities must have been destroyed. With this kid leading the way, I can easily take down the Angel of Death and a heart of machinery. Okay. After thinking about it, John Hong Yuan pointed to both sides of the table. Fourth. Fifth. You two will go to the Angel of Death's base tomorrow. I must rescue your third brother. If he is not with the Angel of Death, I will skin this kid. After saying that, Zhang Hong Yuan's eyes fell on Kamikaze again. Kamikaze shuddered. Sir Leader, how many chariots are there in the two convoys you sent? There are twenty cars in total, said the fourth man in a suit. Kamikaze was stunned for a while and said slowly, But it may not be enough. The fat meat on Zhang Hong Yuan's face trembled slightly, and he roared, Are you questioning our strength? No. No. Sir, Kamikaze said urgently, I believe in the strength of Hongyuan Warehouse. But that person, that person destroyed nearly 30 tanks in our base with just two vehicles. Your base is full of rubbish. Just a nest of trash. All you have to do is report the location of your base and say one more nonsense. And I'll tear you apart. Zhang Hongyuan's voice became louder and louder, almost breaking Kamafeng's eardrums. Under this kind of sound pressure, no one else at the table responded. The little girl said excitedly, I want to go too. I want to go too. Go. Go. It's so noisy. 
Zhang Hong Yuan waved his hand and stood up from the chair with the help of two servants behind him. Ask for the location of the Angel of Death and put them in prison. Zhang Hong Yuan dropped the last words and left the room. And everyone in the Kamikaze let out a sigh of relief. Two teams? Just two teams? Kamikaze murmured in his mouth. Isn't this special code seeking death? Angel of Death. After handing GTN to Yudon, Lu Chen came to the prison under the protection of Li Gang. He first visited Yu Ji, and after Chase Lu improved her food, she looked much better. Seeing Lu Chen again, Yu Ji's eyes were full of disgust and disgust. Lu Chen said that he was also helpless. He had never seen anyone who saved someone's life still being hated. Should a good person be criticized? However, Yu Ji only hated him until she was disgusted with him, and she couldn't even hold a grudge. She originally wanted to die, partly because she felt like a useless person, and generally because she was afraid of being insulted. Now Lu Chen not only did not send anyone to torture her, but instead entertained her with good food and drinks, and her desire to die was no longer so strong. Lu Chen didn't come to her this time to reminisce about the past, nor did he come to her to ask questions, but to borrow her abilities. Tsukiheim's charming skill allows her to enter someone else's spiritual world and talk directly to their spirit just by calling out their true name. A perfect interrogation skill. In the face of this skill, no matter how tough your words are, you can't stand it. Lu Chen took Yu Ji, who was in a wheelchair, to the cell where Rong Biao was held. He wanted to make sure that the fat man was telling the truth. Rong Biao. Rong Biao hadn't admired Yu Ji's beautiful legs for long before he was directly pulled into the environment by Yu Ji. In Yu Ji's fantasy, he revealed Shanda Group's current combat strength. Material reserves, organizational structure, defense facilities, and everything else. He even told him his father's birthday, likes and dislikes, physical condition, handling style, etc. If Chase Lu hadn't interrupted in time, they would have known the color of his father's underwear. Tsukiji's skill consumes energy based on the opponent's willpower. In other words, the stronger the person's will to keep secrets, the more energy Tsukiji has to spend. This was an hour-long arduous interrogation of Rongbiao. Tsukiji said, There is no loss at all. And I even feel a little redundant. If Rongbiao was not dragged into the illusion, he might have performed better. After this interrogation, Lu Chen clarified a fact. That is Rongbiao's father, Rongdebiao, who really loves his son. Rongdebiao is a big boss who is engaged in real estate and has a lot of money. He is the kind of big and thick man that all men want to be. He had a son when he was old and loved Rongbiao very much. Shanda Group has strong financial resources, and the facilities in the base are very luxurious. If Rongbiao can really be used as a threat to get Shanda Group's combat power to join him, then the overall strength will double. By that time, the collection speed of crystal nuclei will not increase even a little bit. After hearing Rongbiao's affectionate confession, Lu Chen was very satisfied. Let the logistics add a chicken drumstick to his dinner. After leaving Rongbiao and imprisoning Yu Qi again, Lu Chen returned to Lei Bao. From the tank group system station, he saw that Flash's fuel reserves were still declining. Yudon is still racing outside. Lu Chen shook his head, closed the panel, and entered the rear compartment. As soon as the metal door is opened, the melodious sound of music reaches the ears. Zhuang Yuan was lying lazily on the sofa wearing the translucent pajamas, holding a red wine glass in his hand. Obviously drunk. Her face turned red, her mouth opened and closed, and she whispered something. Lu Chen walked in and listened. All I heard was, No! No! Chapter 71 Emergency Morning Training As soon as a ray of morning light hung in the sky, everyone in the new Death Angel base began to get busy. The sound of parts being spliced and renovated in the machine repair shop kept ringing, and people with knowledge of plumbing, electricity, and civil engineering were busy building watchtowers and expanding city walls. The experimental staff also put down their bodies and helped carry building materials, which felt a bit like moving bricks at the end of the university. The guards who did not have their turn on duty gathered in the center of the square for drills under the leadership of Li Gang. The team captains also gathered with their younger brothers in their respective workshops to claim today's mission. Everyone in the base is very motivated, because as long as they contribute to the base, they will receive corresponding rewards. Lu Chen, who had not done morning exercises for two consecutive days, came to the modification workshop and asked Yudon to call the captain over. Yesterday, ten new tanks were added, excluding the lightning. There are still nine that need to be reallocated. When the captains arrived, Lu Chen considered all aspects. 
for new tanks were added to Lin Zhuang. Three from Iron Mask, and two from Team 3. Yudan's Lightning formed its own fleet. And giving it other tanks would only increase its burden. I hope you will continue to work hard and get more Crystal Cores today. Luchin said. One more thing to note is that although the Crystal Core is important, the tank is more important. If the Crystal Core is gone, you can find it again. But if the tank is gone, it will be difficult to rebuild it with the current level of technology. I hope you will do your best and try not to lose personnel or tanks. The penalty for losing tanks will be very severe. After Luchin finished speaking, the captains nodded thoughtfully. After the chariots were distributed, the captains went to the machine repair shop to receive the chariots, and then went to select new boys. As the number of tanks increased, almost half of the remaining survivors in the base were picked into the convoy. Although it is dangerous to go out with the convoy, the rewards are also higher. So everyone is very motivated. After the captains left, Yudon still stood there. He slept directly in the chariot last night. Boss, will the leadership of the guard army be given to Li Gang? He asked. With such a chariot, he wished he could be in it all the time. That's for sure. Your future tasks will be assigned directly by me. Okay. Yudon agreed. Then what's today's mission? Fight with me. A smile appeared on Chin Lu's lips. Ah? In terms of tank level, the combat power of lightning and red flame is almost the same. Each has its own advantages and disadvantages. But in terms of operator level, Yudan is far inferior to Lu Chun. The difficulty of controlling a tank is that while controlling the tank's advancement, you also need to observe the battlefield conditions and fight. Lu Chun has been systematically blessed, and his control over the tank has reached its peak level, allowing him to unleash the tank's full strength. And Yudan is just an ordinary person. You must know that the training of a racing driver takes several years, not to mention fighting in a faster tank. Therefore, Lu Chen must give Yudan additional training. Otherwise the chariot may be destroyed not long after it dries out. Lu Chen asked Yudan to prepare, and drove the red flame to fight. The gate of the base is once again a lively scene. Amidst the overwhelming gunshots and engine sounds, the base gate slowly opened. A fleet of motorcades roared out of the gate, leaving a cloud of dust behind. The dust dispersed, and two chariots, one red and one yellow, stayed in place. Inside the yellow lightning, sat Yudan and his chosen brothers. After the rapid-fire machine gun was upgraded, it no longer needed to be manually controlled on the cargo box. It only needed to be controlled by a joystick on the co-pilot. So Yudan chose a younger brother to be the co-pilot. Yudan also arranged two younger brothers in the next two positions to prepare for emergencies. At this moment, Yudan, who was sweating on his forehead and nervous, was in sharp contrast to the excited boys around him. He looked to the side through the car window tremblingly. He only saw Luchin holding the steering wheel with one hand, supporting his head with the other hand, and giving himself an auntie smile. Very scary. Boom. Luchin drove Chi in and rushed out first. And Yudan also stepped on the accelerator and followed closely behind. After the two tanks were some distance away from the base, Lu Chen's voice came from Yudan's communicator. Here it is. Ready to start. As soon as he finished speaking, Yudan heard a loud explosion in his ears. He's coming! Brother Dan! The co-pilot's younger brother shouted. Yudan frowned, stepped on the accelerator, and turned the steering wheel, heading away from Lu Chen. Within two seconds, there was a bang. The world was spinning, and Jiden's entire vehicle flipped into the sky. The flow of time seemed to slow down. Yudan and the other's eyes widened as they watched themselves being hit into the sky and then falling to the ground frame by frame. Boom! After lightning flipped several times in the air, it fell back to the ground. Everyone in the car looked confused and looked at each other. ZZ1-0! Come again! Lu Chen's voice came from the communicator. Boom! Hearing the roar of the engine again, Lu Chen rushed up again as soon as he opened a hundred meters distance. Yudan and others went to the sky again. Yu Dan and others performed the difficult maneuver of three and a half rotations in the air and two lines of tears fell down their faces. Brothers, I only said that I came to take a new car, but I didn't say that there is this link. After a period of time, they repeated these actions. Luchin said start, and with a bang, the fish eggs went up to the sky, and fell to the ground with a bang. Luchin said start, and with a bang. After repeating it several times, you Dan and others felt their stomachs were churning. Hack! Whoever dares to vomit in my car will be killed by me. Yu Dan's face turned purple, and he said word by word. The other boys also pinched their mouths fiercely, for fear that they would not be able to bear it. 
Come again. Lu Chen's words came through the communicator again. With a bang, Qi Yan rushed towards them. Yudan ignored his nausea and directly pressed the space jump, barely dodging the blow. The space jump was over. Qi Yan had braked and turned, rushing towards them again. The space jump has a 20 second cooldown, and you must avoid Lu Chen's next attack during this time. Yudan stepped on the accelerator, charging into the highest gear, and rushed into the distance with a bang. Fire! He shouted to his younger brother. The younger brother held the joystick, turned the muzzle of the revolving machine gun, and fired at the red flame behind the tank. Chug tug tug! The bullets from the rapid fire machine gun formed a stream of light and rushed toward Chi Yin. Chi Yin was hit by a column of bullets, and his armor immediately dropped by 10%. Lu Chen looked at the equipment panel and said in shock, This is not a machine gun. You are just firing artillery SH. LS. After realizing that he couldn't rush forward forcefully, Lu Chen immediately shook the car body left and right to avoid the bullets. As a result, Qi Yan's speed was affected, and he was slowly distancing himself from Ji Yin. Lu Chen's mouth curled up slightly. It's okay. Chapter 72 The Power of Superpowers Watching the lightning go away, Lu Chen did not rush to chase it, but kept his speed to avoid the bullets. Lightning speed was very fast, and he was about to leave the flat area and enter the woods. With Yudan's driving skills, entering the forest would definitely have a big impact. So Lu Chen bet that he would make a spatial jump and change direction before entering the forest. Seeing that Ji Dian was about to enter the forest, Lu Chen pressed the fire charge, and the red flames and Ji Dian rushed in a diagonal direction. We're about to rush into the forest! Brother Dan! A boy next to him shouted. Yudan squeezed the steering wheel tightly, and the acceleration caused by the acceleration sucked him firmly to the back of the seat. His back and palms were covered in sweat, and his pupils shrank suddenly. At this speed, any small mistake would cause the chariot to become unstable. He wanted to turn and leave the woods, but he was afraid that the car would overturn at this speed. At this time, the space jump was loaded, and he pressed it without hesitation. This was the only way. Space jump. A blue teleportation light belt enveloped the chariot. In an instant, the chariot appeared at the location Yudon wanted, and the front of the car turned around to face the flat road again. What? As soon as Ji Dian completed his jump and landed, a red chariot appeared in front of Yudon. The fish-faced man looked at Qi Yin who was rushing toward him from the flank with a look of death, and took his hands off the steering wheel. Ji Ji. Bang. Under Lu Chen's exquisite control, Ji Dian was shot to the sky again. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This time, they couldn't bear it any longer. Yudon and the other boys got out of the car and vomited wildly. Lu Chen stopped aside and waited for them to finish vomiting. Isn't it a bit too bullying? Lu Chen thought in his heart relying on the chariot system. He was simply a dimensionality reduction attack on them. It's okay. Everyone. Lu Chen lowered the window and calmed their emotions thoughtfully. The fish eggs were spit out and choked. It's okay. It's okay. Nothing happened at all. Lu Chen smiled happily. It seemed that the intensity was still too low. He should be more serious later. Just when he was about to say something else, the communicator suddenly buzzed. Li Gang's mechanical voice came out. Chief. There are a large number of unknown tanks heading towards the base. Continue to monitor. We'll be right back. Lu Chen turned off the communicator and shouted to everyone on the ground. Get up. Come to life. Death Angel Base. Li Gang looked at the menacing chariots in the distance with a high-powered telescope. Li Gang counted the number of chariots and found 20. Not too many. Boss, that seems to be the convoy at Hong Yuan Warehouse. A boy next to him said tremblingly. No wonder. Every tank is equipped with heavy machine guns. Li Gang thought. All the team captains in the base have left. And the construction progress of the watchtower is not ideal. If the opponent launches an attack, there is no chance of victory based on the base's defense. However, the new Death Angel base does not rely on defense. He looked to the other side with a telescope. Two tanks, one red and one yellow, were also heading towards the base. At several times the speed of the former. Boss! Do we need to prepare anything? The boy asked nervously. Everyone will be nervous when facing Hong Yuan Warehouse. Li Gang shook his head. The leader will be back soon. The younger brother blinked. The leader will be back soon? The nervous expression on his face disappeared instantly and turned into a look of control. Hong Yuan Warehouse? It's just the leader's experience pack. Li Gang saw the change in his mentality and shook his head. 
He himself didn't like this feeling of being useless. But it's helpless. The leader is too powerful. If there are enemies that even the leader can't deal with, then they don't need to bother. They can just lie down and wait for death. Boss, do you want to eat when the fight starts? I bought a bag of melon seeds yesterday. The younger brother said with a smile. Get out! Li Gang glared at him. The man in the white suit carefully listed the defense situation of the Death Angel base, looking at the slightly shabby defense facilities on the paper. He suddenly understood why his father only sent them two convoys. The defense on the other side is also terrible. Fourth brother, is it really possible that third brother was captured by this kind of base? The voice of a man in a black suit came from the communicator. I don't know. The man in white shook his head. Don't take it lightly. It's a base after all. Okay. Brothers, rush for me. The man in black yelled. He led the convoy to accelerate toward the gate of the Angel of Death's base. Incoming attack from the right. A shout came from the communicator. Boom. A crimson chariot passed in front of the man in white and rushed into the convoy. In just an instant, the two cars in the convoy were blown to pieces. This sudden attack plunged the convoy into chaos. Where did it come from? Why was it discovered in advance? What kind of chariot is this, and why is it so fast? A series of questions exploded in the mind of the man in white. Enemy attack! Enemy attack! Before the convoy had time to adjust to the attack, another yellow chariot appeared behind the convoy. Two, 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 two. The sound of heavy machine gun fire sounded like thunder. At the rear of the convoy, the two tanks were riddled with holes in an instant and turned into a ball of fireworks. Defensive stance! The man in white yelled. He finally realized that if the team did not make adjustments, they would be wiped out. Under his orders, the well-trained convoy moved closer to the center while keeping forward. Prepare firepower! All the firepower in the convoy was aimed at the direction where red flame and lightning disappeared. Fifth brother, prepare your powers! He finally said to the man in black. Good! He and the man in black are twins born to Zhang Hong Yuan's 19th wife. And their powers can also be used together. Boom! The fiery red flames appeared in everyone's sight again. Twin twins! Black and white shouted at the same time. And in an instant, two force fields, one black and one hundred, spread out around them. Qi Yen hit the force field that was a fusion of black and white. After a huge explosion, Qi Yen was actually blocked from the force field. Ripples are produced where the force field is collided. What? Can he actually block Qi Yen's full force collision? Lu Chen was also frightened by the opponent's superpower. Full firepower! The man in white roared. All the attacks from the convoy poured out towards the red flames. And at the same time the black force field was closed. So the speed of the bullets was greatly increased. Dong dong dong! The accelerated bullet hit the red flame, causing the armor to drop rapidly. Yudon drove the lightning out from the other direction, firing his rapid-fire machine gun at the convoy in Hamyuan warehouse. The streamer-like bullets rushed towards the opponent at high speed, but after entering the white force field, they seemed to be shot into the water. The speed slowed down instantly, and the warhead lost all power before it even touched the opponent and fell to the ground. Chapter 73 Coordinated Operations Kinetic Energy Deprivation Type Superpower? Lu Chen's brain reacted instantly, and he said to the communicator, Fish eggs! Retreat first! Immediately, he stepped on the accelerator, and Qi Yin roared out of the enemy's fire range. Yudan heard Lu Chen's message and quickly left the front battlefield. The white force field has the power to repel outwards. Bullets fired from the outside will be slowed down, and bullets fired from the inside will be accelerated. Another black force field overlaps with the white one to form a barrier, and power will be deprived of it the moment it hits. In just a few seconds, Lu Chen had already analyzed the characteristics of the opponent's battle. With these two powers, if nothing unexpected happens, he can still walk sideways in this end of the world. But if nothing else happens, there will be an accident. The weapons Lu Chen has in his hands are not just kinetic weapons. Thunderstorm's fission laser does not rely on kinetic energy to kill. But the ultimate energy weapon, the disintegrating laser can ignore the opponent's abilities. Lu Chen turned the car and drove towards the base. While shouting to Yudon through the communicator, Fire harassingly around them to slow down their advance. Through the previous fight, we can find that the opponent's force field has a limited range. So when the force field is turned on, the team needs to be in a gathered state. When in a gathering state, the forward speed of the team will undoubtedly be greatly affected. Lu Chen asked the fish balls to shoot at close range, so that the opponent had to keep the force field on to buy time for him to control the thunderstorm. Good! 
Yudon received the order and quickly fired around the opponent's convoy. The thick barrage from the rapid-fire machine gun shot into the white force field and instantly slowed down to the ground. It seemed as if there was a rain of bullets in the force field. The man in white noticed that Chi Yin had left the battlefield and immediately shouted into the communicator. Keep distance between vehicles and move forward at full speed. The group of convoys suddenly accelerated and continued to approach the base. Shoot the city gate, the man in white ordered. The barrage of convoys poured towards the base in an instant. After the acceleration of the white force field, the attack range of their weapons was also greatly improved. At this time, at the gate, a young man was about to take a melon seed out of his pocket and eat it. Suddenly, a bullet hit the city wall not far from him, making a loud explosion. I'm a good boy, he yelled and immediately squatted down. Cover! Cover! At the gate, Li Gang shouted to all the boys. Why didn't the leader kill them? A younger brother shouted. Hidden first. Li Gang didn't know what was going on. He only saw that after the opponent blew up two cars, Chi Yin was blocked by something. Now Chi Yin retreats, leaving only another fast chariot on the battlefield to block the enemy. Laugh. A huge sound of brakes sounded under the city wall. Li Gang took a look despite the heavy firepower. It was Chi Yin who stopped by the gate. Open the city gate. Lu Chen's voice came from his communicator. Li Gang looked at the huge lever that controlled the city gate, which was inside the gate tower. At this moment, the roof of the building had been shot off, and the door control lever was exposed to the firepower from the sky. Buzz! A whistle sounded, and Li Gang saw a thunderstorm coming out of the warehouse inside the base. The leader wanted to use that laser cannon, and Li Gang understood immediately. Although the thunderstorm is huge and powerful, it lacks an aggressive front and speed. It is impossible to break through the nearly one meter thick alloy metal door in a short period of time by impact. The door must be opened manually. Moreover, as long as the opponent is close to the thunderstorm, it will be more difficult for the cracking laser to hit the opponent. And the battle can only be resolved when the opponent is still some distance away from the city gate. Open the city gate! Lu Chen's voice came from Li Gang's communicator again. The thunderstorm had slowly accelerated and was about to approach the city gate and the opponent is gradually getting closer to the city gate. And fewer and fewer bullets are fired because they are out of range. And the firepower network on the gate becomes more dense. Li Gang stared angrily at the tower area that was illuminated by fire. And red bloodshot eyes gradually crawled up his pupils. The sound of thunderstorm engines is getting closer and closer. And the enemy's firepower is getting denser. The opportunities to change the battlefield situation were all concentrated at the gate. Weighing on Li Gang. He has neither powerful powers nor system blessings. Only a body of flesh and blood. He hesitated. As an ordinary person. He hesitated. Rushing towards the tower under the dense barrage would definitely lead to a narrow escape. Open the city gate! Lu Chen's shout came out from the communicator again. If the base gate is still not open when the thunderstorm reaches the gate, he can only charge up the laser in the base and perform blind shooting. If you shoot blindly, the battle will become a huge gamble on whether you can hit the enemy. Hit, and the enemy is destroyed. If the shot is missed, and the enemy invades, Lu Chen will choose to abandon the base and leave. But regardless of whether it is shot or not, one result is certain. The destructive shot of the laser will instantly kill all living creatures at the entrance of the base, and no guard on the gate will be spared. The thunderstorm has reached the edge of the metal tower. You can reach the base gate in 10 seconds. Li Gang looked at the thunderstorm rushing towards the gate and then looked at the tower with bullets splattering and dust and smoke filling it. TMB! He exerted force on his right foot, tensed his muscles all over, leaned over and rushed towards the tower and towards the joystick. Bullets streaked past him from the left side, and any one of them could kill him. Cannonballs exploded on the city wall one after another, and shock waves shook his body. He stepped over the huddled team members on the ground. Each of them had a communicator, and everyone heard the instructions to open the city gate. Some of them were only one step away from the joystick. But no one dared to rush into the fire. Not everyone has the courage to face death. Li Gang straddled the gate like a cheetah. And when he finally approached the joystick, he chose to dive. It was the only way he could think of to reach the joystick before being shot. Leap out. Flying through the air. Hand touches the joystick. Use your body's strength to pull the lever down as you land. Boom. A huge mechanical transmission sound came from the base gate which was the sound of the gate opening. Li Gang held the head of the tie rod with one hand, and the other hand was weakly drooping. His face was covered with sweat. Successfully, Li Gang showed a satisfied smile. 
He knew he had succeeded when he heard the huge mechanical sound. I used to think it was very noisy. But this time it suddenly felt a little nice. Li Gang slowly closed his eyes. And the sounds in his ears became smaller and smaller. The left side of his abdomen had disappeared. And his internal organs were slowly flowing out. A bullet the size of a hand penetrated him just as he was about to hit the ground. So cold. Li Gang thought. Chapter 74 Cute Little Lowly? The gate of the base slowly opened and Luchin roared out of the gate in a thunderstorm. The raging bullet net instantly covered the windows of the thunderstorm car. After rushing out of the gate for a hundred meters, Luchin stepped on the brakes and prepared to start accumulating strength. If you release the fission laser here, it will not affect the base. Luchin pointed the front of the car at the center of the force field and shouted to Zhuang Yuan beside him. When I tell you to press it, just press this button. Luchin shouted to Zhuang Yuan beside him. Released when 10% of the fuel reserve remains. Zhuang Yuan nodded in agreement and carefully remembered Lu Chen's instructions. Lu Chen looked at the rolling chariot from the opposite side, activated the space jump, and came directly to Qi Yan's cab. The enemies this time are different from the previous two. They are enemies with powerful abilities and combat experience. He must ensure that the disintegrating laser, which can only be released once, can hit the opponent. He stepped on the accelerator and Qi Yan instantly started to return to the battlefield. At this time, Yudong was driving on the east side to conduct strafing attacks on the place. Lu Chen drove Qi Yan and rushed to the west. Fish eggs! Lu Chen shouted into the communicator. Wait for my order and rush indirectly. Okay! Yudong agreed without hesitation. As long as it was Lu Chen's order, he would go even if it meant mountains of swords and seas of fire. Aim at the center of the force field! Lu Chen shouted that he had arrived directly west of the enemy convoy. Get ready. Charge! After seeing Ji Dian driving to the designated location, Chase Lu gave the order. Lightning and red flame rushed towards the enemy's force field at the same time. When the opponent saw this, the black force field unfolded, and the two force fields merged into a set of barriers depriving them of kinetic energy. Boom! Two doomsday chariots, one red and one yellow, hit the great barrier from the sides causing ripples on it. Aim and charge up! Lu Chen shouted angrily at Zhuang Yuan. After the enemy forms a barrier, he and Yudong attack from both sides to prevent them from moving left or right. The last part of the battle was left to Zhuang Yuan. Zhuang Yuan followed Lu Chen's instructions and tried his best to adjust the angle of the front of the car. Fortunately, she had a little talent in everything she aimed at. Aiming at the front of the car, Zhuang Yuan slammed the charging button. Several lines of large characters are displayed on the center console. Disintegration laser is starting. The silver-white metal shield on the front of the car unfolded, revealing a black-gold laser emitter. Energy storage starts. Energy is pumped in. Energy reserves, 86%. 72%. Energy was pumped in. The coil began to rotate, and a blue arc light burst out from the emission port. With a man in white's combat sense, he knew exactly what the other party's suicidal attack must have been for. Suddenly, he saw the front of the car gradually glowing in a thunderstorm in the distance. And he finally realized the seriousness of the problem. If you are shot by that thing, you will definitely die. Must rush out. Concentrate all firepower on the east tank. He shouted into the communicator. As long as one tank is destroyed, they can leave their current route and avoid the unknown attack. And through the previous fight, he determined that lightning's defense level was lower. 2222. The convoy's firepower poured out and Flash's armor quickly dropped. Although after the white and black force fields were neutralized, they lost their ability to accelerate bullets. However, Ji Dian has not upgraded its porcelain gold armor, and the current defense is very dangerous when facing the attack of nearly 20 tanks. The armor value on the central control panel dropped rapidly, and the side of the tank that was attacked began to deform. If this situation continues, Lightning will never be able to sustain the launch of the fission laser. But Yudan didn't say a word. As long as Lu Chen didn't say retreat, he wouldn't retreat even if the car crashed and everyone died. When the man in white saw that the SH, Ella Flash had begun to be damaged, he was overjoyed and had hope. She, suddenly, he felt something slipping from his hand. He suddenly looked to the left, and Chi Yen actually left the barrier. The balance between the left and right sides was instantly destroyed, and the lightning that was still exerting force pushed the barrier to the left. Fish eggs! Withdraw! A roar came from the communicator. Yudon stepped on the brakes and left the barrier before the tank's armor value was about to bottom out. After Ji Dian left the barrier, Chase Lu stepped on the accelerator and hit it. 
The chariot that the man in white was on had just escaped the attack trajectory of the disintegrating laser. And now it was not back. Not good. The man in white was shocked. And his intuition told him that things were not going well. He suddenly looked up at the fiery red bright spot in front of the thunderstorm car. Boom. The disintegrating laser directly penetrated the white force field. And the man in white at the center of the laser instantly vaporized. Because the convoy was advancing in a tight formation. A total of seven tanks located on the cracking laser track were directly destroyed. The other tanks were affected by the aftermath of the explosion and crashed into a ball. Success! Zhuang Yuan exhaled softly and watched the explosion in the center of the battlefield with joy. Woohoo! Kill them! The boy sitting next to Yudan cheered. Finish it! Yudan! Lu Chen's voice came from the communicator. Yudan could tell that he had just gotten over his nervousness. Under Lu Chen's command, Qi Yan and Ji Dian set off again to kill the last remaining defeated generals. The remaining Hong Yuan warehouse team members were already mired in panic and chaos. And no one had the heart to fight back. Lu Chen and Yudan controlled the intensity of the attack and captured the remaining people without completely destroying the tank. This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. The explosions and fire gradually extinguished. And the battlefield gradually became calm dealing with the surprise attack on Hong Yuan Warehouse. The Death Angel took it down without any danger. After roughly clearing the battlefield, the remaining members of the Hong Yuan Warehouse, who were still alive knelt in a row under the rifles of the guards. One of the men in black and the goth lowly seemed to be relatively important figures. Lu Chen specially brought Yu Ji out from the prison and interrogated them. Under Yu Ji's forced confession, the man in black told the whole process of Kamikaze going to Hong Yuan Warehouse to leak the location of the Death Angel base and how Zhang Hong Yuan sent them to invade. After he finished speaking, Chase Lu took two steps forward and chopped off his head with an axe, and then took out the crystal core inside, seeing Lu Chen's smooth beheading operation. The little goth lowly beside him not only did not cry out in fright, but also giggled. Fifth brother's head fell off. Fifth brother's head fell off. He he he. She laughed while holding the teddy bear in her hand and making neck-cutting motions. Lu Chen was confused and immediately asked Yu Ji to interrogate her. It was discovered that she was Zhang Hong Yuan's youngest daughter. And the power she controlled was a very rare healing power. Under the firepower just now, Lu Chen estimated that someone would be injured on the city wall. And this little Lolita could just be useful. Bring it back to the base! Chase Lu shouted. Several team members behind him were about to come up and pick up the girl. Do not touch me! A dark and evil roar came from the girl's little mouth. The face that looked innocent just now suddenly turned into something evil. Chapter 75 unlocks the little lowly who can heal. The little lowly's roar scared the big guards nearby and froze them in place. I will do it myself. The next second after she yelled, the little lowly's ferocious expression instantly turned into a cute and gentle one. The sound also returned from the roar of a beast to a soft and lolita sound. Let's go. After saying that, she stood up from the ground and walked towards the base. The guard looked at the little girl blankly, and then looked at Lu Chen. Lu Chen shook his head, saying that he didn't understand either, and asked them to follow her, and don't let her run away. Lu Chen collected the two crystal cores on the battlefield, and sent someone to count the remaining tanks that could still be used. This time the battle was more intense. There were only five salvageable tanks left in the opponent's convoy, and the others were already rotted into a pile of scrap metal. After counting, Chase Lu returned to the base. As soon as they parked the car, several members of the guard hurriedly found Lu Chen. Master Chief! Master Chief! Our leader! How about, okay? Dot! Lu Chen got out of the car and followed them to the only operating room in the base. Pushing aside the guard members who were huddled around the outside, he walked into a room inside. Several people in white coats stood in front of the old wooden bed, on which lay the pale Li Gang. Lu Chen took a closer look. His left abdomen was dark red and was hastily bandaged. There was something wrapped around the bandage, and Lu Chen guessed it was the intestines that had leaked out. The people in white coats nearby were so noisy that they didn't notice Lu Chen coming in at all. How can I perform an operation without medicine? How can I perform an operation under these conditions? First bandage and stop bleeding. Do these simple things first. You don't understand. Don't talk nonsense. What is going on? You? What degree do you have? What are you calling me here? You? Seeing the group of white coats arguing in front of the gang's bed, Lu Chen's anger burst out. Get out of here! Everyone! He roared angrily. 
This sudden roar frightened those in white coats. You called you. Two of them were about to curse. But when they saw it was Luchin, the curse words on their lips were swallowed back. There's no use getting angry at us. He's in a very difficult situation. Yes. Why not just euthanasia? He is just suffering in his current state. His condition. A man in a white coat wanted to say something, but found that Lu Chen's eyes became very scary. And he even felt that the temperature in the room dropped a few degrees. Frightened by this sight, he immediately shut his mouth. Get lost. Lu Chen squeezed out one word from his throat. Lu Chen knew that Li Gang would definitely die if he was injured like this. And it had nothing to do with these white coats. But on the way here, members of the guard told Lu Chen the whole story of Li Gang's injury. Lu Chen deeply admired Li Gang's behavior. It can be said that he was the one who saved the base. So when I came in, I saw these white coats not only unable to save anyone, but they were also quarreling in front of the hospital bed. His anger immediately surged up. Several people in white coats were scolded by Lu Chen and walked out of the ward. Go to the prison and bring the girl from Han Yuan warehouse. Lu Chen ordered to a guard. Now Li Gang can no longer be saved by science. Only by supernatural powers. Standing beside the hospital bed, Lu Chen restrained himself from looking at Li Gang's wounds. In his two lives, he killed countless people, including cutting them in half and cutting their heads to bleed out many of them. He was already numb when facing the wound. But when he saw Li Gang's wound, he didn't know why he felt a pain. Not long after, the little goth Loli was brought into the operating room. Seeing this exaggeratedly dressed girl walking into the operating room, people outside the door were talking a lot, especially those in white coats who were kicked out of the door. They stayed at the door just to see how Luchin could save people. What does this mean? Why bring a little girl in? Call us professionals out and let a little girl in? Maybe it's a superpower. What about people with superpowers? She has no medical knowledge at all and she knows where to treat her. It's impossible to save him. He's dead. The little lowly who called herself Lil slowly walked into the operating room. As soon as she saw Luchin, she smiled at him with a small tiger tooth shining whitely on her lips. Can you use your powers to revive him? Lu Chen asked. Lear followed Lu Chen's gaze, stood on tiptoes, and looked towards the hospital bed. When she saw Li Gang's hideous wound, the smile on her face gradually turned evil. He he! I'm going to die! I'm going to die! Lu Chen frowned and suppressed his anger. Can you save him? You need rewards! You need rewards! What kind of reward? Hearing what she said, Lu Chen suddenly felt hope in his heart. Bear bear! Lil said, pointing to the teddy bear in his hand. Bear bear, I want to save him, and I'll give you as many as you want. Luchin said, Hey, hold it for me. Lil handed the bear to chase Lu. Luchin took the teddy bear and stood aside waiting for Lil's treatment. He didn't have much hope that Li Air could save Li Gang. First of all, Li Gang's injuries were too serious, and many of his organs were destroyed. The second thing is that he thinks Lil is too young and certainly doesn't have high control over her powers. But this is the only way now. If she fails too, Li Gang will die here. This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. Lil stood in front of the bed and slowly closed her eyes. The expression on her face became more and more evil. As if she was very excited about this matter. The veins on her forehead popped out. And a pair of small white hands suddenly inserted into Li Gang's wound. Then a dark red light enveloped the big hole. Lil closed her eyes. The blood vessels on her forehead continued to swell. And her arms gradually began to tremble. About five minutes later, Lil's hands were released from Li Gang's body. She took a few steps back and leaned against Lu Chen. Okay, Lu Chen said in surprise. Is this a failure? Lil nodded weakly. She was speechless. Lu Chen originally wanted to hand her over to the guard. But he remembered that she had not allowed others to touch her before so he had to carry her in his hand. He took two steps forward and found that the gauze wrapped around Li Gang's body had softened, and he could see that the intestines originally wrapped had disappeared. Isn't it really going to be better? Lu Chen gently opened the gauze and found that the original black hole of the wound was gone, and the remaining skin was intact. Treat such a fatal wound in five minutes? Lu Chen was overjoyed, not only because Li Gang could survive, but also because the base unlocked the nanny. Everyone knows how important a nurse who can heal is in the last days. After settling Lear, Chase Lu went to the center of the base and called the quartermaster who managed the logistics of the base. Today, those white coats who were doing nothing and thinking highly of themselves made him realize 
that it was time to clean up a wave of moths in the base. Chapter 76 The Future of Humanity It has been a few days since he took over the base. And so far, he has not examined the contributions of the personnel in the base. It's a little buffer time he gives the survivors to figure out their roles at the base. However, this buffer time may have caused some misunderstandings. And people mistakenly thought that Lu Chin was a benevolent leader. The quartermaster walked up to chase Lu. He was the quartermaster of the former. Angel of Death. Base. On the outside, he looks meticulous and very reliable. Show me the points contributed by everyone in the base since I took charge of the base. Lu Chen said. The contribution points were set by Lu Chen. The survivors exchanged points through labor. And then used the points to exchange for other daily necessities. Considering that this rule is only a preliminary implementation. The task Lu Chen set to obtain points is very simple. Even if you push a cement cart for only 10 minutes, you can get one point. Basically, as long as you are an individual, you can get certain points. Lu Chen took the statistics book from the quartermaster's hand. The first few pages were almost all of the team captains and team members of the field service department. They go out to fight monsters, which is very dangerous. So they will naturally gain more points. Turning a few pages back, there are guards and mechanics. It is easier for them to obtain points. Lu Chen turned back a few more pages and came to the end. At this time, he had already discovered that there were zero score children, some of whom were indeed children who were not yet able to move. But the largest number are the scientific researchers who come out of the metal tower. After leaving the laboratory and leaving the positions they are best at, the role of these people will naturally decline. However, I didn't get a single point, so that's not the reason why I'm not suitable for the job. Either they are arrogant, think they are superior to others, and are unwilling to put down their dignity and engage in some basic work, or they are just lazy people who think they can get food without working. So they just leave it to rot. Let those with zero points gather in the square, Luchin said, after a while, under the command of the guards. These people with zero points gathered in the square. Several of them were children held by their mothers or fathers, and Luchin waved them away from the team. Luchin glanced at the remaining people. They are all young, strong, but spotless people. Some of them Luchin had just seen in Li Gang's ward. You haven't done any work these days? Chase Lu asked. There are no jobs suitable for us. A man wearing glasses spread his hands. There should be a lot of vacancies for jobs, like moving bricks and cement. Those of us have been doing scientific research for more than 10 years. And our bodies can't stand the physical exertion anymore. Yes. Yes. Several people echoed. Since there is no job that you can do here, you can find another place to work. Luchin said coldly. Exile them all. He shouted to everyone in the square. Hearing these words, the faces of those people suddenly changed. They did not expect Luchin to be so decisive. What? We are high-level talents. How can you exile us? After the end of the world, it is up to us to rebuild the future of mankind. Do you want human civilization to lose its continuation of fire? Those white coats said something to you or me. And the crowd started to roar again. They don't believe that Luchin dares to drive them away. They are the future of mankind. Luchin took out a gun from his arms and pointed it at the group of people. Whoever comes up and gets shot by me, you guys can stay at the base. The crowd suddenly became quiet. They looked at each other. And everyone took a few steps back silently. Luchin smiled and said, Don't be afraid. My marksmanship is terrible. I may not die. They looked at each other each waiting for the other to take a step. Look at this group of people talking about righteousness and talking about the future of mankind. At the critical moment, no one stood up to save the future of this small group of people. Afraid of death, Lu Chen raised his gun and fired in the air. Exile them all! Lu Chen shouted to Yudan, then turned and left. Leave the hysteria behind. The future of mankind requires science and high-level talents. But it is definitely not these clowns. If any of these people were in Li Gang's position today, this base would be in ruins. How can we talk about the future of mankind when there are no more human beings? After finding out about the blood-sucking insects in the base, Lu Chen returned to Thunderstorm. He first opened the control panel of the tank group, repaired the armor of all three tanks, and then checked the trophies, including the two crystal nuclei obtained today. Lu Chen's number of crystal nuclei once again reached six. Apart from the crystal core, there are still five tanks. Although they are seriously damaged, they should be put into use soon after the modification by the mechanic. The morning's battle once again made him realize that he was not invincible enough yet. As the superpowers become more abundant and powerful, 
the uncertainty of the battle will become greater and greater. The current upgrade speed is far from enough. He still needs more fleets and more people to help him obtain crystal cores. Luchin knocked on the steering wheel twice. He had to eat the meat of Shanda group. And we must try our best to ensure the integrity of this piece of meat and not let it suffer too much damage. Otherwise it will not greatly improve our combat effectiveness. If Rongbiao can be used to let Shanda group directly join him, that would be the most perfect solution. After taking down the Shanda group, other small bases can directly use deterrence to recruit them to surrender. As for Hongyuan Warehouse, Lu Chen must destroy it. Thinking of Hongyuan Warehouse, Lu Chen's eyes gradually became sharp. Now that the other party knows the location of the Death Angel base, they will definitely send a steady stream of convoys to harass them in the future. Hit the small ones to bring out the big ones. Hit the big ones to bring out the old ones. In this case, there is no need to delay it any longer. Lu Chen summoned the panel and looked at the skill panel carefully again. When the convoy returned to the base at night, he would use all the crystal cores to upgrade. I originally wanted to wait until my strength became stronger, but now I have to take action. Tonight, he will directly bulldoze Hong Yuan's warehouse and remove Zhang Hong Yuan's dog head. Zhang Hong Yuan, you deserve to die. Lu Chen held the gathering point map in his hand, and murderous intent spread around him. In the evening, each team leader returned to the base one after another, with enhanced firepower and vehicles. They gained an unusually rich harvest today. The number one convoy with nine tanks gained the most. They were led by Lin Zhuang and cleared two intelligence points in one day. Obtained two second level crystal nuclei and 50 first level crystal nuclei. Tianyan's number two convoy is second. They have seven tanks and received a total of one second level crystal core and 14 first level crystal cores. Team number three which only has five tanks, received a second level crystal core. After receiving the crystal cores from the captains, Lu Chen couldn't hide his excitement and directly fed all the team members with meat, adding a big chicken drumstick to each one. Chapter 77 The Tank Group Evolves After having a casual dinner, Lu Chen asked Zhuang Yuan to take charge of all matters at the base again. I returned to the thunderstorm to make final preparations before departure. Today, including the captains, Chase Lu has a total of 10 secondary crystal nuclei in his hands. Now, these 10 secondary crystal cores must be properly arranged to maximize the strength of the tank group. The most important thing to improve the combat power is to see the improvement of Lei Bao's combat power. Lu Chen was the first to open Lei Bao's skill panel. Armor. Porcelain Gold Armor I. Upgrade the body armor to Porcelain Gold Armor, which greatly improves the armor level and reduces the armor loss caused by collision. The required secondary crystal core is 10 fifths. Engine. Crawler assembly. Upgrade the bottom of the tank to a crawler type to reduce terrain restrictions on the movement of the tank. The required secondary crystal core is 10 fifths. Arms. There are no upgrade skills at the current level. Energy. Fission energy. Unlock the nuclear fission fuel chamber and trigger fission to provide energy for the tank. The required secondary crystal core is 10 fifths. Science and technology. Space loading 2. Increase the number of tanks loaded with a special ability space. And the required secondary crystal core is 10 tenths. Crystal core transformation room. To unlock the crystal core transformation ability. The required level 2 crystal cores are 10 twentieths. Other functions to be unlocked. The weapons of C-class tanks can only be upgraded once. Lu Chen discovered that there was no subsequent upgrade for the cracking laser. I am afraid that the corresponding module would only be unlocked if the tank was upgraded to be level. However. The damage cannot be increased. But the blue bar can be increased. Lu Chen set his sights on fission energy. Nuclear energy was definitely much more powerful than burning oil. After upgrading this skill, Thunderstorm will no longer be okay after just shooting once. Upgrade. Lu Chen took a picture of the upgrade button. And the blue data line enveloped the Thunderstorm. Taking advantage of the opportunity for the Thunderstorm to escalate. Lu Chen opened Qi Yan's panel. Armor. There are no upgrade skills at the current level. Engine. Air propulsion I. Two air compression cannons are installed at the rear of the vehicle to compress the air and then release it to provide strong propulsion. The required secondary crystal core is five halves. Arms. Fire starts a prairie fire. Install a three-tube flamethrower on the roof of the car, which consumes fuel to produce ultra-high temperature flames. It is controlled by the center console and requires five and two secondary crystal cores. Energy. Afterburner fuel tank, to further improve fuel combustion efficiency and improve the power and performance of fuel equipment. The required secondary crystal core is 5 halves. 
Science and Technology. Superpower Space 3. Upgrade the pickup range of the superpower space to 10 meters from the car body. And the required secondary crystal core is 5 fifths. Bioradar 2. Increase the radar detection range to 1000 meters. Corresponding to the functional secondary crystal core 0 slash 1. Other functions to be unlocked. Seeing that the armor on the Qian panel could not be upgraded again. Luchin determined that the C-Class tank had only one upgrade point. Being able to upgrade only once also means that the process of upgrading a C-Class tank to a B-Class tank is simpler. As long as he upgrades all these skills. He can directly upgrade Qian to be level. But now we can't just hit the red flames. But we have to consider the overall combat power level of the chariot group. Lu Chen spent two crystal cores to shoot on the blazing prairie in the weapons column. This skill can very well make up for Qi Yan's lack of long range output. With three crystal cores left, Lu Chen opened the lightning upgrade panel. Although Yudan and Zhuang Yuan were given control of the chariot by Lu Chen, they could not see the panel. Therefore, only Lu Chen can control the upgrade and repair work. Looking at the skill panel, this was the first time Lu Chen opened it after GDN upgraded to sea level. Armor. Porcelain gold armor. Upgrade the body armor to porcelain gold armor. Which greatly improves the armor level and reduces the armor loss caused by collision. The required secondary crystal core is three halves. Engine. Air propulsion I. Two air compression cannons are installed at the rear of the vehicle to compress the air and then release it to provide strong propulsion. The required secondary crystal core is three halves. Arms. Machine gun. A large caliber ballistic weapon is installed on the roof of the vehicle. It consumes fuel to generate artillery SH. LS. Which are controlled by the center console. The required secondary crystal core is three halves. Energy. Afterburner fuel tank. To further improve fuel combustion efficiency and improve the power and performance of fuel equipment. The required secondary crystal core is three halves. Science and technology. Space jump three. The flashing range of the tank is increased to 20 meters. And the required secondary crystal core is three-fifths. Other functions to be unlocked. After thinking again and again, Luchin upgraded G. Dian's plastic armor. Survival is always the most important thing. The basic armor of the C-Class tank is still too fragile for flash. The last remaining crystal core was the one that Luchin had kept for a long time and dropped from the toad species in Biswi Lake. Analyze the skills that can be obtained, heartburn and bone corrosion which allows the chariot's ballistic attack weapons to obtain venom special effects, significantly improving the armor-piercing ability of the attack. This skill is a perfect match for Flash. Flash's rapid-fire machine guns and machine guns can all benefit from this buff. After waiting for a long time, finally today, Lu Chen directly analyzed the crystal core for Ji Tian. The normal analysis time takes 12 hours, but Lu Chen found that the analysis can be completed immediately with 51st-level crystal nuclei. This was too cheap. Lu Chen chose it without hesitation. With the crystal core, he could do whatever he wanted. The collision of mechanical parts stopped, and all tanks were upgraded. Lu Chen chose to remove their camouflage option, allowing the tank to reveal its original modifications. Descending from the thunderstorm, Chase Lu looked outside at three tanks parked side by side. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. A feeling of pride arose spontaneously. The three steel behemoths revealed their true colors, and were filled with murderous intent, giving people an infinite sense of oppression. The entire body of the huge thunderstorm is silver gray, and the entire vehicle has a heavy feel, and the huge laser muzzle is majestic and domineering. The dark red flames have smooth lines, and the cone-shaped battering ram on the front of the car is chilly. There are also three flamethrowers installed above the carriage, each of which can spit out deadly high-temperature flames. The body of the flash is gray gold, and the top of the carriage is a large caliber rapid fire machine gun that will not overheat. The most important thing is its space jump, which turns a relatively bulky tank into an assassin like existence. Chase Lu took two steps forward and touched each chariot. These doomsday machines are his only reliance on walking in the apocalypse. Here comes the chicken soup! Just as Lu Chen was sighing at the strength of the three brothers, there was a bang behind him. Yudan stood there stupidly, with Quin Tang under his feet spreading all over the floor. Old. Boss. This is. Yudan had only seen the disguised appearance of the chariot before. And he originally thought that the chariot had nothing to do with its appearance. Although the boss's car looked shabby. Its combat effectiveness is the same. Now he suddenly saw the majestic true forms of three chariots. And his brain didn't react for a while. Look at the exquisite metal SH. L and majestic weapons and equipment. 
Yudon was extremely excited and wanted to say something, but found that he was speechless and unable to express the majesty of these chariots. Finally, Yudon combines what he has learned throughout his life and gathers the strengths of Wanjiao. A word came out of his mouth softly. Awesome. Chapter 78 Expedition The fish balls were originally intended to be a bowl of chicken soup for Lu Chen. Now that he saw these three cool chariots, he had long forgotten about Kuntong. He rushed to Ji Dian in one stride and gently touched Ji Dian's body, as if stroking a goddess in a dream. Is this lightning? Yudan asked cautiously. He was afraid that Chase Lu would say otherwise. After all, what man could refuse such a cool chariot? Lu Chen shook his head. After all, humans are still creatures of appearance. He felt that Yudan was even more excited now than when he gave him the lightning. It's your lightning, Lu Chen said. Damn it! It's true, Yudan exclaimed and looked around the chariot several times. It has to be said that when expressing emotions, the quintessence of Chinese culture must be used. Don't be too hasty to be happy. Chase Lu interrupted him. Call all the captains to gather in the command room. Yes. Yudon immediately suppressed his excitement, turned around and ran out. Happy to be happy. The instructions given by Lu Chen are always the most important to Yudon. At the end of dinner, the captains gathered together to exchange information. Yudon found them without much effort, and everyone followed him to the command room. Upon entering the command room, they found that there were already some people inside. Base leader Lu Chen, base manager Zhuang Yuan, quartermaster Linda, guard deputy captain Songgu, and auto repair shop manager Zhang Dachui. Yudon and the captains took their positions one after another, and all the important senior personnel in the base were gathered in the command room. Lin Zhuang saw this battle, combined with today's Hong Yuan Warehouse's attack on the base, and guessed that Lu Chen must take some action against Hong Yuan Warehouse. An order should be issued to their captain to collect intelligence on the Hong Yuan convoy on a large scale. Afterwards, each of its convoys was defeated one by one to weaken the combat power of Hong Yuan Warehouse. In the end, there may even be an attack on Hong Yuan Warehouse. Thinking of this, Lin Zhuang couldn't help but shudder. Attacking Hong Yuan Warehouse was something that I had never dared to think about before. After seeing everyone arrived, Lu Chen cleared his throat and prepared to start speaking. Everyone talking to each other turned their attention to Lu Chen. I called everyone here today to launch a combat plan against Hong Yuan Warehouse. Lu Chen said. Sure enough, Lin Zhuang thought in his heart. It coincided with his thoughts. Tonight, Lu Chen said slowly. Destroy Hong Yuan Warehouse. WTF? Lin Zhuang almost couldn't breathe. Destroy Hong Yuan Warehouse. As for reconnaissance, tactics, and planning, why is there no foreplay at all? Is this really possible? After hearing this news, all the teams fell into a state of sluggishness for 10 or even 12 points. Hong Yuan Warehouse has always been a feared existence for them, and they will be scared just by hearing the rumors. The leader actually said that he would just flatten him, but the shock was only temporary. After thinking about it calmly, I realized that this matter was not too outrageous. The captains glanced at each other, and then collectively turned their attention to the terrifying man sitting at the top of the conference table. No matter how terrifying the Hong Yuan warehouse is, I have never heard of it being able to kill a convoy in one move. And the man in front of them had truly defeated all the chariots of the Angel of Death before them. Flattening Hong Yuan warehouse. Lin Zhuang murmured. If someone else had said this, he would have prepared some papyrus or something in advance and burned it for him in the first seven days. But when these words came out of Lu Chen's mouth, Lin Zhuang felt that it was very normal, even a little natural. After this, Chase Lu continued, Let's go and recruit Shanda Group. Recruit Shanda Group. The captains took a deep breath and were shocked again. Are the two bases working together? My sister has heard of it. After a few breaths, they regained their composure. Is it reasonable to attack the two largest bases at once? This is unreasonable. But looking at the speaker, it makes sense again. Some things depend on ID. After throwing two bombs, LS in a row, Chase Lu gave them some time to buffer. He expected someone to object, but everyone agreed after being slightly shocked. This is the advantage of being strong, which saves a lot of unnecessary explanations. After listening for a few minutes, Lu Chen spoke again. In this attack, all convoys were dispatched, including the two trucks in the warehouse. We may need to bring back some useful talent. During the attack, Yudon and I will take the lead and break through the base. You will be responsible for the subsequent finishing work. If the Shanda group progresses smoothly, it may be possible to win without fighting. At that time, 
The captains will need to organize the surrendered personnel. The captains nodded in agreement. With Luchin here, it was normal for them to attack. After that, Luchin asked about the security issues in the base and the repair of battle-damaged vehicles. The five tanks taken from the Hongyuan warehouse team, this time, have not yet been repaired and cannot be used for this battle. Lu Chen asked Zhang Dachui to repair it overnight. Just in time to put these tanks into base guard work. One hour of preparation time. Select all traveling personnel. And merge the two trucks into Lin Zhuang and Tai Mian's convoy. After making all arrangements, Lu Chen ended the meeting. As soon as the order was issued, the base entered a state of combat readiness. And the entire base began to operate like a machine. All searchlights and warning lights were turned on. Making the base as bright as day. All the vehicles that went into battle lined up and drove into the maintenance warehouse. And the maintenance team quickly performed pre-combat inspections on them. The logistics department prepares supplies and weapons and equipment for all convoys. And the captains issue orders and requirements to their team members. Luchin stood at the gate of the base and watched the intensive preparations. Surrounded by fish eggs and a series of guards. Underneath was the entire base that was busy because of his order. This is the power of power. Dangerous and fascinating power. An hour later, the base returned to calm. All combat vehicles were concentrated on both sides of the base gate, leaving a road in the middle for Lu Chen's tanks to pass. Buzz! After a long cry, the thunderstorm revealed its true shape and slowly drove towards the door. Next to the car was a dark golden lightning. Wow! Seeing the prototype of the chariot, everyone couldn't help but admire it from the bottom of their hearts. Some brothers who were beating the drum in their hearts saw the majestic thunderstorm and lightning and came up with confidence after being stung. Hong Yuan Warehouse. You are just a jiba. After all, humans are still visual animals. The thunderstorm slowly stopped at the door. Lu Chen lowered the window and shouted with the horn. Open the city gate. Chapter 79 Night Raid. Kill! 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 Another fierce fight was going on in the arena of Hong Yuan Warehouse. This time there are two boys and one girl. And the two boys are the girl's liquors. The man fought for the girl for a long time. Covered in blood. And was finally taken away one by one by the girl. After the girl finished killing. There were fierce cheers from the audience. Licking a dog will lead to a happy death. The clown host shook the goblet in his hand. And said with an evil look on his face. No news about Lao Wu Lao Lu. Zhang Hong Yuan. Who was sitting at the table. Said solemnly. He is really not interested in this kind of drama. He still prefers family ethics rather than secretly filming privately. The man in the suit shook his head. Metal Tower hasn't heard from them yet. The Metal Towers can communicate with each other. Zhang Hongyuan originally asked the Black and White Brothers to send a message back to the base after occupying the Metal Tower. Trash! Zhang Hongyuan said angrily. Where is the second child? No news. It's all trash! Zhang Hongyuan swept all the food plates on the table to the ground with a wave of his hand. Take that girl to my room. Zhang Hongyuan stood up with the help of his younger brothers. The fat on his body trembling like waves. Yes. Clown man agreed. After that, Zhang Hongyuan walked towards the viewing room. Where only the clown man and the man in suits were left. There's no news about the fifth and sixth elders. Why there's no news about the second sister either? The man in the suit asked. The clown man frowned and the clown makeup on his face became even more sinister. I think something's wrong, so I'll send the birds out tonight. But my father wouldn't let me. You have to use your own judgment when doing things. That guy is old. A stubborn old guy will always be blind and arrogant. After the clown man finished speaking, he stood up and appeared on the high platform in the center of the square in a flash. Congratulations to this lady. Tonight's game was really exciting. The man in the suit turned around and left the viewing room all the way to the observation tower on the base's gate. There are ten fleets in Hong Yuan warehouse. Hundreds of tanks of various colors. And the thick alloy metal door is tens of meters wide. The man in a suit climbed up to the watchtower and dismissed the guards on the watchtower. He raised his hands flat and slowly raised his head. His pupils gradually turning pure black. Those deep black eyes looked into the dark sky. Above the layers of black clouds. As if something was listening to his call. The thing circled above him. Flying lower and lower. Lower and lower. Gah! 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 Miserable screams came from the air. Boom! Boom! Chariots passed by on the quiet and dark city roads. The one facing the car was a silver-gray thunderstorm. And the two headlights in front of the car illuminated the road ahead like daylight. 
Behind him was lightning. And then various chariots lined up. Following closely. 21 modified tanks and two large transport trucks. All combat forces from the Angel of Death base were present. This was an expedition that the entire base set out together. Luchin gave this expedition a meaningful name. The first expedition. The thunderstorm clears the way and removes all obstacles in the way. The cold night was eerily quiet, with only the roar of engines echoing in the streets. Zhuang Yuan sat in the passenger seat and stared at the darkness outside the car window. Because of the huge roar, night convoys often attract some alien species or zombies who will hide in the dark and attack. This is also the reason why major bases do not dispatch at night. But because of the existence of bioradar, Lu Chen easily solved these threats. The convoy marched towards its destination steadily and quickly. There's something! Zhuang Yuan exclaimed. What? Lu Chen looked in the direction of Zhuang Yuan's line of sight and saw only darkness. There are some kind of flying things on the trees. And there are a lot of them. Zhuang Yuan said calmly. It was very small at first. But it became more and more as we went forward. Lu Chen squinted his eyes and looked forward. Why didn't the bioradar respond? If a creature appears, a red dot will appear on the radar. Either Zhuang Yuan saw it wrong, or it was some unknown power. Lu Chen has never doubted Zhuang Yuan's eyes. So now there is only one possibility that the convoy is being targeted by a person with supernatural powers. Attention all convoys! Lu Chen picked up the communicator and broadcast to all the tanks. There may be an enemy attack. Ah. Before Lu Chen finished speaking, a scream came from the communicator. In the number three team, the vice captain sitting in the co-pilot was covering his hands in pain, blood gurgling from his fingers. What's wrong? asked the captain of the number three team driving the car. Bird? Black Bird. He endured the pain and squeezed out a few words. I just opened the car window and wanted to throw something. And a black bird pecked me. Karma. Came a sharp cry. Before the vice captain finished speaking, his expression suddenly froze and his mouth opened slightly. As if frozen. The next second, he fell straight forward, with blood spurting out from a bloody hole in the back of his head. The captain of the number three team opened his eyes wide with shock on his face. He quickly closed the car window and shouted into the communicator. Enemy attack! Enemy attack! Suddenly, there was a noise. Gaga! Alien crow! Hearing the shrill cry, Lu Chen reacted instantly. Close the car window! The next second, Hundreds of black crows flew out from the street trees on both sides of the road and attacked the convoy. Ah! Ah! The screams of the team members echoed in the sky. Those crows can directly pierce the defense of ordinary tanks, leaving a hole in the tank with every attack. Several heavy machine gun operators on the off-road vehicle were riddled with holes in an instant. Those who were lucky enough to survive raised their guns and shot into the dark sky. The muzzle flash allowed them to see clearly the true face of those alien crows. Each crow was as tall as a calf, with a sharp beak nearly half a meter long, and with blood-red eyes, charging at the convoy again and again. The machine gunners fired into the sky, but the firepower of the heavy machine gun seemed weak in front of the crows. Keep the formation and move forward at full speed! Lu Chen shouted into the communicator. In the face of emergencies, the most taboo thing is to mess up your position. If a tank capsizes, the entire convoy will fall into chaos. Lu Chen's instructions were like a reassurance, allowing the drivers to break away from panic and concentrate on controlling the chariot. Yudan, leave the convoy with me and support the rear. Lu Chen switched to Yudan's channel again. Good. After giving the order, Lu Chen controlled the red flame tool to appear on the roadside with his mind. He asked Zhuang Yuan to drive Thunderstorm, and he jumped onto the red flame. Two tanks, one red and one yellow, broke away from the convoy and rushed towards the rear of the convoy. Black crows are flying in the sky, and heavy machine gun attacks are of no avail. Now a large-scale destructive weapon is needed. The panel unfolds and the fire is ready. Chapter 80 Storm of Crows Beast! Lu Chen suddenly pressed the button to start a prairie fire. Boom! Three fire dragons surged out from the flame mouth, and the darkness was immediately driven away, replaced by fiery red light. The black crow, stained by the tongue of fire, was instantly ignited, and its wings flapped randomly and fell to the ground. Crows huddled together would also pass fire to each other, and the fire would spread rapidly in the sky. The top of the convoy seemed to be shrouded in clouds of fire, and the crows fell to the ground like fire rain. Boom! Luchin stepped on the accelerator and was past the motorcade. 
wherever the flamethrower's flames hit. It turned into a sea of flames. Saved. When many machine gunners saw Luchin killing those crows, their legs softened, and they slumped on the carriage holding the machine guns. Compared with other team members and protected by the armor of tanks, they could only face those terrifying monsters with their physical bodies. In just a few dozen seconds, these machine gunners seemed to be on the verge of death. Yudon used lightning to give the crows, who had a chance to escape a final blow on the other side. That's too cruel. Yudan thought in his mind, as he looked at the sea of fire. From encountering attacks to destroying enemies, Lu Chen's series of responses were terrifyingly accurate. Decisive and effective. Really worthy of being a leader. Hundreds of alien crows didn't last a minute in Lu Chen's hands. And they were all roasted into black charcoal. The convoy continued to move forward, leaving behind a large swath of charcoal-roasted black crows. You Don! You drive at the end of the convoy! Lu Chen adjusted his strategy in time, and let Yudon escort at the rear to avoid any further emergencies. Captains report battle losses, Luchin said. In the sudden attack just now, the convoy lost three heavy machine gunners. Five heavy machine gunners were seriously injured. Three were slightly injured. And the deputy captain was killed. No tanks were lost. After listening to the battle report, Luchin returned to Thunderstorm and put Qi Yin into the vehicle space. After experiencing the battle just now, Luchin was still frightened. If it hadn't been for unlocking the fiery prairie, the team's losses would have been immeasurable. Ordinary alien crows would definitely not hide in a tree and ambush them. This goes against their biological habits. There must be someone with superpowers behind it. And it's probably the superpowers from Han Yuan Warehouse. This proves that the movement of the convoy has been grasped by the opponent. And his surprise attack strategy has failed. Lu Chen shook the steering wheel hard. And a cold light shot out of his eyes. Now that you know it, let's face it head on. Stay with me until the end. Hong Yuan Warehouse. The man in a suit standing on the observation deck was shaking, and blood slowly flowed from the corner of his mouth. His black pupils seemed to reflect the sky full of fire. Puff! He spurted out a mouthful of blood and fell to the ground on one knee, his face full of horror. It's over! It's over! He got up from the ground and rushed to the watchtower. The battle in the dual field is still going on. More than a dozen men and women who are colleagues are fighting in the field, and the shouts from the audience are still there. The man in a suit rushed into the viewing room and said eagerly to the clown, Oops! A convoy is marching towards the base. The clown was stunned, then said, Angel of Death? Yeah. The man in the suit nodded solemnly. The clown man's face was suddenly covered with a layer of gloom, and the old five and six were indeed swallowed. How much time is left? Within half an hour. Notify the entire base to enter combat readiness. The clown man stood up from his chair. I need to tell Dad. No need. Put all convoys on standby immediately. Hurry. After the clown finished speaking, he stood up and teleported to the center of the arena, then jumped down from a high platform of more than 10 meters. When he landed, he only landed on his toes. After landing, two sharp blades flashing with cold light popped out from his wide cuffs. He took two steps forward and made a smooth move. All the men and women in the field stopped what they were doing. Slowly. A red thread appeared on their necks. The next second, his body and head were separated, and the blood in his neck sprayed into the sky, like blood fountains. The noisy auditorium fell silent instantly, and they stared at the clown in fear and confusion. Why did the host enter and kill people? This concludes today's competition. Please prepare for battle. The clown's evil voice came from the microphone. As soon as he finished speaking, the alarm in the base rang. D. Enemy attack. Enemy attack. Everyone is on combat readiness. The alarm sounded, and the players in the audience started to curse and move. Someone dares to challenge our Hong Yuan warehouse. Damn it. If you bother me to watch the duel, whoever it is will be dead. Gone Yang. All my bets have been in vain. Thanks to the cruel management system of Hong Yuan warehouse. The tanks in Hong Yuan warehouse were ready within 20 minutes. All six remaining fleets in Hong Yuan warehouse gathered at the gate of the base, waiting for instructions. At the gate of the base, the clown man issued a mobilization order. The enemy attacked Hong Yuan Warehouse at night. This is a great disrespect to Hong Yuan Warehouse. I want you to eat up these intruders. Eat it and wipe it clean. Eat it and wipe it clean. Everyone roared after the clown man. Their favorite entertainment program was interrupted by this group of ignorant brats. And they were filled with anger. Destroy the convoy with the most enemy troops. And pick any woman in the base. 
Hill, Hill, Hill. After this reward was issued, everyone in Hong Yuan warehouse roared. Kill. Amidst the roaring sound that reached the sky and the earth, the base door of Hong Yuan warehouse slowly opened. The chariots from Hong Yuan warehouse came out in droves. Like bloodthirsty beasts, the shrill sirens and roaring engines suddenly filled the base gate. Above the door, a cylindrical vessel made of glass, two meters high and one meter in diameter, is placed on the ground. There were seven or eight guards and a bunch of tied-up survivors standing on the side. The clown man suddenly flashed to the side of the vessel. Start! The clown's voice was cold and bone-chilling, and coupled with a tragic smile on his face. It looked extremely weird. The guards were ordered to capture the survivors one by one. The survivors struggled wildly, trying to escape. When they were caught on the edge of the vessel, the clown man's sharp blade popped out, and a cold light flashed. The carotid arteries of those survivors were immediately cut off, and the guards opened their heads, and blood spurted out from their necks. Seven or eight people were bled together. After the blood was drained, new survivors were immediately brought in. Horrible. The tall vessel was quickly filled, and slowly a vat of warm, bright red blood filled it. The clown man licked his lips, turned around, and said to the man in the suit, This blood should be enough. Summon all your birds back. The battle will be yours to command. Yes. The man in the suit nodded in agreement and jumped deep into the pool of blood. The blood covered his neck. He raised his hands and looked up at the sky, his pupils instantly turning dark. His power is that he can summon alien crows in a large area, control their behavior, and conduct reconnaissance through their eyes. Soaking in blood allows him to maximize his powers. After a while, the world changed. A black cloud composed of thousands of alien crows passed over the base. Like the arrival of death. Chapter 81 Mine is big. Please bear with it. Inside Hong Yuan Warehouse Prison. The noisy alarm woke up the kamikaze group in the prison. Captain! What's wrong? Kamikaze looked at the prison guards running around outside and shook his head. I'm in jail with you and you don't know. How can I know? Then I don't think you have a higher IQ. Kamikaze squinted his eyes and thought. Even if the alarm went off, the base must be under threat. Could it be that Luchin came to the door? He had a bad guess in his mind. Hey! He called to a guard outside the door. What happened? Someone is attacking the base. The man answered the question subconsciously, and then hurriedly left. Damn it, Kamikaze thought. There is only one person in Nancheng City who dares to attack Hong Yuan Warehouse. He slowly looked at the younger brother beside him. The younger brother met his panicked eyes and understood immediately. 20 slash zero's top laner is here. The younger brother collapsed on the ground and cursed angrily. Damn fat pig! I told you to send more convoys! But you won't listen! Now set this person on fire! And we'll do it all the way to your house! Kamikaze ignored his little wife-like scolding, and his mind was spinning rapidly. It's not a bad thing! He said suddenly. It's not a bad thing! We're all on high ground! Captain! If they engage in guerrilla warfare and consume us in waves, it will be detrimental to us. A wave of attacks on the base like this will be jointly attacked by all our combat forces. Although they are very powerful, there are many superpowers in Hong Yuan Warehouse. So we have a huge advantage, Kamikaze said carefully. As soon as he finished speaking, the boy's eyes lit up, as if he saw hope again. It seems that even that man can be carried away by anger, and his decision-making is terrible. The advantage is mine. Captain is wise. After saying that, Kamikaze shook his hand and a piece of wire fell out from his cuff. After fiddling with it twice, the shackles on his hand fell to the ground. W.O.C. Captain, you still have this skill. Kamikaze gave a crooked smile. Before the end, I was a locksmith, and the Public Security Bureau has a record. After a while, the Kamikaze used a piece of iron wire to untie the shackles of all the boys. Captain, where are we going now? Go to the garage and prepare to escape. Run away? The younger brother's eyes widened. Didn't you just say that I have the advantage? Why are you still running away? Be prepared with both hands. If we win, everyone will be happy. If we lose, we won't lose. Cow! The younger brother gave a thumbs up. In front of Hong Yuan base, a torrent of steel composed of armored combat vehicles rumbled toward the battlefield. Above them are the fearsome legions of crows that fly across the battlefield, blotting out the sun. Even everyone in Hong Yuan Warehouse felt the suffocating oppression. In a leading car that was running wildly, Zhang Hong Yuan's seventh daughter was sitting. Her hair was combed to one side, 
and her lips, ears, and nose were all covered with nails. She threw the cigarette out of the car and spoke into the communicator. Fourth brother, this power is quite bluffing. A man's voice came from the communicator. Wow, he's so handsome. I want him so much. The man was sitting in the other leading car. He was Zhang Hung Yuan's eighth child. He had a shaved head and ferocious tattoos on his face. With so many crows, I don't know who will be unlucky today. Nail Girl said. Hey, it feels so good. I want it too. Let me kill someone. The tattooed man said crazily. Old seventh. Old eighth. There are two tanks in the other team's team that are difficult to deal with. I'll leave them to you. The man in a suit's voice came from the communicator. Ah, oh, hey. Kill. Kill. The man in a suit, bathed in blood, controlled tens of thousands of crows at the same time, looking down at the entire battlefield from above through their perspectives. He kept switching the crow's perspective, searching for the location of Chase Chase's motorcade. Two o'clock direction. Five kilometers away. The man in the suit found the Death Angel's base and reported to the captains through the communicator. There are 22 tanks. One red and one yellow are the main tanks. Where did that red chariot go? He discovered that the tank with the flamethrower was missing. The man in the suit kept switching the perspective of the crows in the sky. But he never found the chariot that was beating his flock of crows hard. Four kilometers? Prepare for firefight. While expanding the search area, he kept a close eye on the location of the opponent's tank. That tank was scrapped? He wondered in his heart. He had expanded five kilometers outward and found no trace of the chariot. If that chariot is scrapped, it is possible for one person to destroy this convoy. Three kilometers? It's coming. The man in the suit said silently in his mind. His flock of crows has gathered in the clouds above the opponent's head, ready to charge together as the battle begins. As long as the enemy's flame chariot does not appear, the crows are invincible. The opponent has to face both ground attacks and air attacks. This time, they are dead. This is the outcome of challenging Hong Yuan Warehouse. The man in the suit looked up and smiled, the blood around him boiling. Two kilometers. Prepare to fire. Come on. Let the storm and blood rain sweep across this battlefield. Etc. The man in the suit was about to give the order to fire. But I found that the local convoy slowed down slowly. What kind of tactic was this? Next. He noticed that the tanks behind the truck began to reverse. Away from the truck. Is this an escape? Or leave a truck without combat capability as a decoy for other tanks to attack in a sneak attack? The corners of the man's mouth in the suit were slightly raised. It was useless. All tactics were in vain under his overall vision. Chance. The opponent's stop is exactly your own opportunity. Through my own god's perspective. Now I can kill the opponent by surprise. Spread with full force. Prepare to fire. He roared into the communicator. With an order, 50 tanks in Hong Yuan warehouse accelerated forward in an instant. All weapons were fired in advance. And the symphony of bullets and SH. LS was played simultaneously. The red chariot that restrained the crowd of crows was damaged. And he and the chariot escaped. And the opponent was defeated before they could fight. The suit man thought in his heart. It seems that the eldest brother still thinks too much about them. What's this? Just when he was about to lower the crows and reap the lives of the other party, he suddenly noticed a bright light flashing from the head of the truck. Searchlight? The man in the suit lowered several crows to get a closer look. He found that the light was getting brighter and brighter. The color also gradually changes from blue to red. And then to molten color. His heart trembled. This thing. It's not a hacking weapon. Is it? Boom. The next second. The color of the world changes. A beam of light like a blazing sun surged out. And the eyes of thousands of crows were filled with firelight. The dark night sky was instantly illuminated. Chapter 82. Fire starts a prairie fire. The red beam passed through the tank group passed through several kilometers of battlefield and directly hit the base gate. The one meter thick alloy metal door was directly penetrated. As thin as a film, the temporary blindness caused by the strong flash gradually disappeared. And the man in the suit saw from above the battlefield that the laser left a wide arc wherever it passed. His expression was frozen. And this miraculous attack had brought great trauma to his soul. But now is not the time to be shocked. The battle is not over yet. He scanned the battlefield again and the light on the front of the enemy truck had disappeared. This is a one-time attack. To be able to create such terrifying energy, the consumption must be huge. And although this attack was powerful, it was only a straight-line attack. He only lost five tanks on his side. 
The advantage is still with me. Maintain formation and continue attacking. He roared into the communicator. There was no response from the other side. Only the sound of sizzling electricity. That weapon disabled communications equipment. He was shocked. So those chariots are not escaping. But trying to avoid being affected. Damn it! The man in the suit roared angrily. And the communication equipment failed. Which meant that his overall vision was lost. He clenched his fists angrily. And veins popped out on his head. The blood and water around him continued to surge and evaporate. Dissipating at a speed visible to the naked eye. He used all his strength to make black crows rain down from the sky. Rushing toward the convoy of Death Angel retreating behind. Disintegration laser cools down for 56 seconds. The upgrade of nuclear energy is awesome. Luchin thought in his mind while looking at the panel. After upgrading the cracking energy, the total energy reserve of the thunderstorm can support 10 consecutive shots of the cracking laser. Moreover, the charging time of each shot has also been shortened. Now the disintegrating lasers are faster and more numerous. Those crows are coming! Zhuang Yuan reminded from the side. Luchin nodded. The battle was not over yet. Although the disintegration laser is powerful, Lu Chen mainly uses it to shock the opponent and destroy their communication equipment. Facing the chariot group, Thunderstorm still lacked the ability to harvest. You control the laser! Lu Chen once again handed over control of the Thunderstorm to Zhuang Yuan. Yudan! The main battlefield depends on you. Okay! Yudan replied. Then step on the accelerator. Speedy, who is driving at the rear of the convoy, charged forward quickly surpassing Thunderstorm, and rushed alone into the surging enemy fire. Flash pinned down the enemy's large forces in the center of the battlefield while he dealt with the alien crows. Luchin looked at the sky, and saw a dense flock of crows falling from the sky like a black hammer. So many! Zhuang Yuan thought in his heart. The sky-blocking crows blocked out the moonlight, and as they swooped downward, darkness gradually enveloped the convoy. Come on! You beast! I'll beat you to death! Two, 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 two. The machine gunners in the rear convoy roared and fired, although their firepower was directly swallowed as soon as it entered the darkness. But no one flinched. They suppressed the fear in their hearts by roaring and fired into the darkness. Hack! Kill me! Lin Zhuang kicked open the car door, rushed out of the car, raised his gun, and fired into the sky. Kill! The cartridge case was thrown out. The gun but shook, and the faint firelight was drowned in the tide of dark crows. The firepower he provided was so meager. Kill! Another man rushed out of the car and shot into the sky. Kill! Again! I'll fight hard! Again! Again! More and more team members rushed off the chariot, left the defense, and faced the darkness. The fire on the ground finally became brighter, but they still couldn't resist the coming of darkness. And those bloodthirsty beasts were getting closer and closer to the ground. Facing this unstoppable darkness, they roared. They were angry. They cried. They trembled. But no one stopped firing. No one moved back to the chariot. Even if you hold a pistol, shoot into the sky and into the darkness. Face this damn hacked world. Face this damn hacked apocalypse. They vented their anger to their heart's content. Come! Come and take my life. The smile on the man in the suit's face gradually became ferocious. He wanted to destroy these unfathomable things. Darkness falls. Death covers the entire land. But, just like there is always a shadow within the light, there will also be firelight in the darkness. No matter how desolate or cold the earth is, it will give birth to the hope of spring. No matter how dirty or dirty human nature is, there will always be a gentle quality. The long night will eventually lead to dawn. The fire started a prairie fire. Boom! Luchin summoned red flames at the moment when the enemy was closest to the ground. At this distance, even if the opponent runs away immediately, he will lose a huge amount of combat power. The three flamethrowers sprayed blazing flames into the sky like the breath of a fire dragon. Light dispels darkness. The fire retreated from the cold. The group of dark crows that possessed overwhelming murderous intent a moment ago instantly turned into a sea of fire. The fire spread among the densely packed crows. And the shrill screams filled the sky. How can it be? The man in the suit looked at Chi Yin, who appeared out of thin air in horror. How can this be? Ability. The opponent's superpower can actually hide the vehicle. He reacted. He should have reacted long ago. It was too late now. And he kept cutting back to the crows on the upper level. Because the crows on the bottom were being quickly devoured by fire. Blood flowed from his mouth and eyes. And each death of a crow took its toll on him. Who? 
The man in the suit roared angrily, blood gushing from his mouth. He directly chose to abandon the crows on the lower level and keep the crows on the top level. So as to prevent the spread of the flames, he took a deep breath and raised his hands. The crows broke off at a third, and the upper ones flew into the sky, while the lower ones were devoured by fire. After managing to save a third of the crows, he trembled all over and spat out a few more mouthfuls of blood. The opponent completely saw through his tactics, and every step he took was falling into the opponent's trap. Damn it! With the presence of the flaming chariot, his flock of crows could not attack at all. Now only vision information can be provided for the main battlefield. He let the crows disperse and fly towards his chariot. He can control crows to issue simple commands, which can replace the role of a communicator. The fire cloud gradually dissipated, and the crow's body burned into carbon powder fell from the sky. The life and death crisis has been resolved, and all the team members are slumped on the ground. Lin Zhuang rubbed his shoulders, because he was a little sore from shooting for a long time against the gun. He took out his communicator, and switched to the team member channel. The leader was too tolerant. He didn't come out until the last moment. I almost shrank back into the car. Ha! I thought you were so fierce. You were the first one to rush out. That's when I just wanted to hack him. Yes, it's his grandma's. If I don't give him a few rounds, I'll feel really unhappy. On the four streets of Southeast, Northwest and Northwest. Let's find out who the father is. Ha! I went out knowing that the leader would tell the truth. Yes, the leader is too strong. Chapter 83 Five Consecutive Lightning Whips While Lu Chen was burning the crowds of crows all over the sky, Yudan also drove the lightning to meet the enemy on the main battlefield. Densely packed bullets hit the lightning that had been upgraded to porcelain gold armor, and only a few scattered stars were ejected. The armor value displayed on the central control screen decreases very slowly. After getting close to a certain distance, Yudan adjusted the steering wheel to let Speedy drive around the opponent's convoy. Fire! Given order. The co-pilot's boy took aim and pressed the switch. And bullets poured out. The heavy machine gun bullets containing corrosive venom almost ignored the armor of the opponent's tank. A bullet shot through the car door without any hindrance. And then shot through the driver's head. Then it shot into the co-pilot's body. Rolled inside. And cut off half of his body. Wherever the bullet penetrated. Black smoke emitted. Leaving traces of corrosion and burning. In just one encounter. The enemy had already lost three tanks. This machine gun has also been upgraded. Yudon clearly felt that the attack power of the machine gun had been greatly improved. If this situation continues, I can destroy the team by myself. The upgrade of armor and weapons has increased the combat power of both sides by more than one level. This also boosted Yudon's confidence. He turned the steering wheel and approached the enemy convoy to shoot. Wherever the bullets passed, enemy tanks were destroyed. And they couldn't even hold on for a second. What's this? For the first time, everyone in Hong Yuan warehouse felt that death enveloped them. That chariot seemed like the god of death coming, ruthlessly harvesting their lives. First it was the huge pillar of destruction, and then it was this invincible chariot. Who are those people on the other side? Suddenly, a small group of alien crows flew into the battlefield. They cried in shrill, mocking voices. On the seventh and eighth, move forward. Although it's hard to hear, it's understandable. Under the order of the alien crow, the remaining tanks no longer fired at the lightning, but accelerated forward, heading towards the front of the battlefield. Lao Ba, come with me, Nail Girl said. Ah, hey, hey. The two leading cars and the convoy left the main group and drove side by side. Then the tattooed man opened the car door and jumped into the back compartment of another car. Then, the car accelerated suddenly and rushed towards Swift. The corrosive bullets from the rapid-fire machine guns came flying towards me. The nail girl's pupils turned white, and her veins popped out. The chariot moved forward at high speed, while dodging oncoming bullets, like a snake. Her special power is overload, which can overload the mechanical equipment she controls and exceed its limits, and also has the ability to perfectly control machinery. She maneuvered the chariot with precision to dodge bullets without losing any speed. In the blink of an eye, the distance between the two sides narrowed to within a hundred meters. Boss, I can't hit the target. The co-pilot's younger brother was very worried. No matter how hard he aimed, he couldn't hit the target. Seeing the ghostly movement of the chariot, Yudan suddenly remembered the fear of being dominated by Lu Chen. The distance between the two sides continued to close, and Yudan directly pressed 50% of the fire charge. This is the maximum speed that he can control at his level. 
If it goes any higher, it will easily overturn. The tail flame spurted out, and the lightning rushed out violently. Yudan tightened his grip on the steering wheel and concentrated on controlling the chariot. At this speed, he could not be distracted from other things. However, the lightning with 50% fire charge did not get rid of the enemy's overloaded tank. And at this speed, the enemy can still dodge and move around the lightning to avoid bullets. The distance between the two parties narrowed to 50 meters. And the tattooed man's tattoo brightened and flashed with blue light. A ball of blue light gathered in his hand. And a few seconds later, he swung it towards Flash. As he attacked, the ball of light became thinner and longer, turning into a lightning whip that struck the lightning. Palala, the sound of electric explosions resounded on the lightning armor, leaving a deep black depression where it hit. The central controller showed that the blow just caused 20% of the armor loss. Energy weapons. Yudon was shocked. Lightning's armor value was indeed very high, but its magic resistance was almost non-existent. Suddenly, he caught a glimpse of the enemy's lightning whip striking out from the rearview mirror again. We can't go on like this. Lightning will be disabled after being hit five times by this lightning whip. Space jump! With a whoosh, the lightning disappeared, and the tattooed man's lightning whip was empty. Space powers. Can you actually use space powers with a chariot? Although he dodged an attack, the range of the space jump was very small. Nail Girl quickly locked Flash's position again, smoothly changed direction, and rushed forward. Of course Yudon didn't expect to escape with just one space jump. The main purpose of this space jump is to adjust the direction and aim the front of the car in the direction where Lu Chen is. After aiming, Yudon suddenly presses 100% fire charge. Who doesn't know how to walk in a straight line and step on the accelerator? As long as you walk in a straight line, this ball can activate 100% fire charge. Boom! The tail flames like the scorching sun spurted out. And the lightning rushed towards Lu Chen like lightning. Speedy, who was moving at full speed, finally put a long distance between himself and his opponent. Before the enemy could catch up, Yudon grabbed the communicator and shouted urgently, Boss! Help! The frontal battlefield at this moment was in a mess, and the red flames almost destroyed all the enemy tanks. The other party never expected that after escaping from a ruthless one, an even more ruthless one came. This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content compared to Flash shooting at the periphery. Chase Lu drove the red flames directly into the enemy army and sprayed fiercely with the flamethrower. The raging flames became the last straw that defeated them. Within 10 seconds, everyone on the other side was dead, running, and completely defeated. While Flash quickly approached the large army, Yudan took a few seconds to explain the enemy's situation clearly. The moment they entered the one kilometer range of Qian, Yudan and the co-pilot appeared on Qian. After unlocking the tank group, not only himself, Lu Chen can change the personnel on any vehicle within one kilometer. With a swish sound, he and Zhuang Yuan appeared on top of the lightning that was still moving at full speed. The moment he touched the speed steering wheel, the entire car's status was input into his mind. Brake pad condition. Tire grip. Engine power. His brain accurately collected all the details of Flash's body. Because, at this speed, the result of any operating error is vehicle crash and death. The next moment, turn off the flamethrower, release the accelerator, and turn sharply. Drift with inertia. Downshift. Step on the accelerator. And adjust your attitude. Keep coasting. Hit the clutch. Lift off the gas. Throw the barf bag. Chi. There was a loud screeching sound from tires. Luchin controlled it with one hand, allowing Ji Dian to complete a 180 degree drift at full speed. Big plumes of black smoke came out of the rear tires, leaving two huge circular tire marks on the ground. The two boys behind him took the vomit bags thrown by Lu Chen and vomited wildly. Chapter 84 Escape Plan When an international formula racing car turns, the driver will bear a lateral acceleration of nearly 5G. This is a huge test for him physically and mentally. However, just now Lu Chen completed the drift at twice the speed of a formula car. It's a good thing that the two boys sitting in the back row didn't faint. Zhuang Yuan is in good condition now, because he has been riding in Lu Chen's car for a long time. In fact, Lu Chen could slow down slowly, and then turn. So why choose drift? That's right. Because he is handsome. When the drift ended, lightning had already reversed the front of the car, and aimed at the enemy's only remaining tank. This is so handsome! Witnessing the whole drifting fish eggs. I couldn't help but admire it from the bottom of my heart. While admiring, 
A trace of sympathy for the enemy also flashed in his heart. When you come out to hang out, it's not about fighting and killing, but about worldliness. No matter how powerful you are, can you be as powerful as the people behind me? Luchin stepped on the accelerator, and the lightning rushed straight towards the opponent. The nail girl looked at the scene in front of her in confusion. Why did the opponent's driving skills suddenly improve? Because they were facing each other. The distance between the two parties was instantly shortened. Aha! Pia! 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 The tattooed man swung his lightning whip out of thin air, causing it to produce an electric explosion in the air. Zhuang Yuan took the co-pilot's joystick and aimed at the other person on the central control screen. The distance between the two sides is getting closer and closer. The tattooed man danced the lightning whip excitedly. Zhuang Yuan calmly held the joystick. Brush. The two chariots faced off against the cavalry and passed each other in a blink of an eye. Lu Qing continued to drive forward with a calm expression. Nail Girl also continued to drive forward with a calm look on her face. But there was a dark round hole on her face. How can it be? That was the last thought in her mind. At the moment when two cars cross, lightning moved horribly to avoid Lao Ba's lightning whip. Zhuang Yuan controlled the rapid-fire machine gun and predicted the opponent's position. Two shots easily killed the nailed woman and the tattooed man. Boom! The out-of-control chariot capsized to the ground and rolled continuously. At this point, the battle on the main battlefield is over. Hong Yuan warehouse was completely wiped out. The man in the suit was sluggish in the blood. And the full tank of blood had been absorbed to his calf. All dead? All dead? He took a step back and fell into the blood. The pupils returned to their original color. And the alien crows in the sky immediately scattered in all directions. The clown man stood behind him. Silently looking towards the center of the battlefield. With a bang. The sharp blade popped out. Brother? The man in the suit was about to turn around and speak. A red line appeared on the neck. And then the body and head separated. With a flash of the sword. The crystal core in his neck was already in the hands of the clown man. The last scene he had before his death was his headless body. And the clown standing behind it with a ferocious smile on his face. Dong dong dong. Chief. Don't dong dong. After a rapid and violent knock on the door. A group of guards entered Zhang Hung Yuan's room through the access card given by the clown man. As soon as he entered the room, he saw a naked Zhang Hong Yuan lying on a big bed. A guard approached the big bed and whispered, Master Chief! Master Chief! Seeing that Zhang Hong Yuan didn't respond, the guard leaned into his ear and said, Captain! Puff! His cry stopped abruptly, because his head was crushed. When he came closer, Zhang Hong Yuan grabbed his head with a big hand. With a squeeze, the head burst open like a watermelon. How many times have I told you not to disturb my sleep? Zhang Hong Yuan waved to the guards lazily. Several guards approached with surprise and fear, and worked together to turn Zhang Hong Yuan over from the bed. After turning over, several people discovered that there was a woman who had been crushed into a meat pie under Zhang Hong Yuan. The smell of blood filled the room. Who set off the alarm? Zhang Hong Yuan said. Hurry up and turn it off. First of all, the leader's base has been invaded. Huh? John Hong Yuan shook his head suddenly. What? How dare someone invade my Hong Yuan warehouse? His sleepiness disappeared immediately. And he asked the guard who spoke seriously. That's the angel of death you sent your convoy to attack. What? John Hong Yuan's ferocious and deep voice spurted out, causing the surrounding guards to feel pain in their internal organs. Call all the captains to see me. The leader, team, and captains are all gone. You fart. Zhang Hong Yuan's eyes widened, and he waved his big hand towards the guard, and the fat from his entire arm surged towards him like a tide. The liquid fat immediately enveloped the guard. The next, with a pop, countless blood gurgled out of the fat mass. The fat meat was constantly squirming as if it were alive, as if it was digesting something. After a while, the squirming ended, and the arm returned to its previous size. The unlucky guard seemed to have disappeared out of thin air, with no bones left. Send me out. Every time Zhang Hong Yuan took a step, the surroundings felt like an earthquake, with steps as heavy as a mountain. He slowly arrived directly above the gate of the base. At a glance, the tanks with the Hong Yuan warehouse painting were all burning with black smoke, leaving only the wreckage. On the opposite side, three tanks were parked in the center. There is a silver gray truck in the middle, and on the left and right are small tanks, one red and one yellow. Seeing the opponent's taunting behavior of neither attacking nor retreating, the fat on Zhang Hung Yuan's face trembled angrily. Trash! You bunch of trash! Who commanded it? 
Why didn't you wake me up? He roared at the clown man, and then spurted out his right hand. The clown man flashes from one place to another. Fourth brother directed it. I've already taken care of it for you. After speaking, he threw the crystal core in his hand towards Zhang Hongyuan. The crystal core glowed slightly, and then disappeared into the fat. Even after devouring the crystal core, his fatness poured into the glass vessel and squeezed the body of the man in the suit into blood foam. If the convoy is gone, we will defend the city. I want to see what means they can use to break my city. The clown shook his head and looked at the thunderstorm in the center of the battlefield. About there. Sure enough, he had just finished thinking. The front of the thunderstorm car flashed brightly, and energy gathered again. A few seconds later, Shen Hong appeared. The huge laser penetrated directly through the seemingly impenetrable outer wall, destroying the observation tower behind the wall. The clown man looked at Zhang Hong Yuan with some amusement, wanting to see how this arrogant devil would react. Zhang Hong Yuan froze on the spot for one second, two seconds, five seconds, and ten seconds. A full minute later, when the next laser cannon was fired, Zhang Hong Yuan took action. His feet gradually softened and turned into a puddle of liquid flesh. Then, he quickly left the base gate. He ran away. Chapter 85 Entering the Metal Tower Again Ran? The clown man looked at the scene in front of him in disbelief. Zhang Hong Yuan's ugly face melted like a candle out of fear. The eyes slid down with the grease. And the whole head sank into the body. His body was gradually turning into a puddle of soft fat. The fat meat squirmed crazily, changing its previous image of being bulky, under the watchful eyes of all the base members. He quickly flowed down the city gate, reached the metal tower, and slid in. The leader of Hong Yuan Warehouse, John Hu Hu before the apocalypse, and the lord of Nanchung after the apocalypse. After seeing the opponent attack once, he ran away, frightened and ran away in panic. Hey! 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 The clown laughed heartily. Coward! This fat pig is indeed a coward! He knew that no matter how many crystal cores this fat pig ate, it could not change its underlying cowardice. I... What should we do? A guard on the side asked tremblingly. What else can I do? Without a fat pig, won't our Hong Yuan warehouse be able to function? The clown man's hand shook violently, and the long knife came out of his sleeves. Murderous! He swung forward pointed the sharp tip of the knife directly at the guard, and spoke coldly. Raise the white flag. Surrender. Clam? Boss? The other side seems to have voted? Yudon's voice came. Voted? Luchin squinted his eyes and looked across. And sure enough, he saw many white sheets waving. There were many guards wearing equipment, holding guns above their heads with both hands, and slowly walked out of the city gate. Did you vote before 15? Luchin was a little surprised. The defense level of Hong Yuan Warehouse is actually very high. If Thunderstorm hadn't upgraded its energy source and could use the fission laser multiple times, this base would have been really difficult to capture. He was a little surprised that the other side surrendered so easily. The first reaction is that it is a scam. Inform Lin Zhuang and the others to stand by and prepare for recruitment. Lu Chen said to Yudan. Then he drove the red flame forward and put all the weapons of those who left the city into the supernatural space. After ensuring that these people had no chance to resist, Lu Chen drove into the base again. All detectable weapons were collected into the supernatural space. Hong Yuan Warehouse is worthy of being the base of the first echelon, and is much larger than the Death Angel in every aspect. The total number of people has reached about 3,000, and the base area is more than five times that of the Death Angel. After walking around the base, many memories from past lives flooded into Lu Chen's mind. In his previous life, he died in this arena at the entrance. Looking at this base, which was like A.H. L on Earth, murderous intent gradually arose in his heart. Now I am only one step away from revenge. The hands holding the steering wheel were shaking with excitement. Zhang Hong Yuan. There's someone up there. Zhuang Yuan suddenly reminded. Lu Chen looked up and saw a man in a clown costume standing on the high platform in the center of the arena. The host. The host of the dual event. Lu Chen recalled. I saw him holding two swords in his hands, jumping down from the sky and falling to the ground. The two sides looked at each other for a few seconds, and Luchin almost stepped on the accelerator and hit him. But the other party actually removed a pair of sharp knives. Really voted? Luchin drove up and used the supernatural space to collect the sharp knife and scan him again. After making sure it had no weapons, Chase Lu threw out a microphone. Where's Zhang Hong Yuan? Hide in the metal tower, the clown said. 
holding up the microphone. Even if someone like you surrenders, I won't let him go. Ha ha ha. The clown lowered his head and laughed evilly three times. His voice was extremely weird. I'm not afraid of death. I just hope to see Zhang Hongluan die with my own eyes. I can't do it. And I haven't found anyone who can do it until tonight. I can help you enter the metal tower and tell you about Zhang Hongyuan's powers. As long as you kill him. The clown man became more and more excited as he talked. And in the end, he was almost crazy. Zhang Hongyuan's child doesn't seem to be in a normal mental state. Lu Chen thought. I will grant your wish. After Lu Chen finished speaking, he picked up the communicator and asked Lin Zhuang and others to enter and take control of the entire base. At this point, Hong Yuan warehouse was completely controlled by Lu Chen, leaving only Zhang Hong Yuan hiding in the metal tower. Also accompanying the motorcade were Yu Ji and Rong Biao. Rong Biao was used to recruit Shanda group. Yu Ji is used for interrogation. I have to say that Yu Ji's skill is really useful. Under Yu Ji's mental control, the clown man told everything about Zhang Hong Yuan. These brothers and sisters all grew up under Zhang Hong Yuan's abuse. And the mother, who gave birth to them, was just a beast used for humiliation in front of Zhang Hong Yuan. He is keen on torturing their mothers in front of their children. The Joker's mother was tortured to death. After the apocalypse broke out, he continued this cruel hobby as he pleased. The devil on earth. Everyone present felt chills running down their backs after hearing this. This is thousands of times scarier than those unconscious zombies. Growing up in this kind of environment. It's no wonder that they are all a little crazy. Lu Chen couldn't help but think of Lil. Who was still in the base. After asking about the motive. The clown man described Zhang Hong Yuan's superpower again. Fluid state. You can turn yourself into a liquid state. The speed of turning into liquid is related to the fat in your body. The more oil there is. The faster the body fluids. And the more fluid it becomes. This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. And in the liquid state, it can absorb flesh and blood to make itself larger. And it can also absorb crystal nuclei to make its abilities stronger. After listening to his description, Luchin could only say that it was disgusting. Just hearing the description, this ability makes people spit out two bowls of rice. It is indeed a superpower used by such a disgusting thing as Zhang Hongyuan. After feeling sick, Luchin thought about the trouble. If Zhang Hongyuan was braver, he could absorb the flesh, blood and crystal cores of all the people in the base and turn into a giant beast to fight with Lu Chen. Although it will be a bit difficult, Lu Chen is confident of winning. But now that he is hiding in a metal tower, the chariot cannot enter. So things become a little complicated. Lu Chen held his chin and started thinking. I can help you enter the metal tower, the clown said. He doesn't need it. Yuji glanced at Lu Chen with a complicated expression. When he entered the metal tower, it was like coming home. It's like going home. The clown man wondered. Lu Chen ignored Yu Ji's resentful eyes and clapped his hands. Ideas form in the mind. He left the crowd and walked towards the metal tower, while at the same time scattering the crowds and vehicles around the metal tower. Only red flames and lightning were left. He walked to the door of the metal tower, and the metal hatch opened automatically. The clown man was shocked. How could he directly enter the metal tower? This doesn't belong to the category of supernatural powers. This is. Is it impossible for him? Tsukiji looked at the shocked clown man sympathetically and said that he would just get used to it. This man is in deep water. You can't see through it. Chapter 86 Death of Zhang Hongyuan As soon as he stepped into the metal tower, the panel in front of Chase Lu's eyes lit up like the previous two times. Welcome. Master. Please choose appropriate music and temperature. The holographic image of the metal tower appeared in front of Lu Chin. He saw a ball of grease flowing in the metal tower, wildly devouring the experimenters. This should be Zhang Hongyuan. Lu Chen ignored the system's greetings and entered the logged in user's information panel. Just as he thought, it was the same in the metal tower as in the chariot. You can choose who should log in and who should log out. In other words, I can remove Zhang Hongyuan from the user list. What will be the effect of being removed from the list? Lu Chen thought. At the same time, Zhang Hong Yuan's biological information was drawn out through mind control. Confirm to log out this user? The user is currently in the metal tower. Logging out will trigger the defense system. It just wants you to trigger your defense system. Lu Chen confirmed with his mind that Zhang Hong Yuan's biological information was thrown into the recycling bin. Suddenly, the alarm lights in the metal tower sounded. And the lights were loud. Alarm! An unregistered person has broken in. 
The automatic defense system is now activated. Alarm. An unregistered person has broken in. The automatic defense system is now activated. At the bottom of the metal tower, Zhang Hongyuan pounced on an experimenter, wrapping the entire package. The next second, the blood mist burst out, and his fat mass grew even larger. Now only swallowing can eliminate the panic in his heart. When he saw the laser, he knew that the base would be unable to defend itself. Only the metal tower could save his life. So he immediately slipped into the metal tower and deleted other people's biological information to ensure that no one could enter. Relying on these experimenters and crystal nuclei in the metal tower, he can last for a long time. Just as he was about to search for his next prey, a sharp siren sounded. Alarm! An unregistered person has broken in. The automatic defense system is now activated. Zhang Hongyuan, who had completely turned into a puddle of fat, could no longer see his expression clearly. But judging from the violent shaking of the fat mass, he was very shocked. How can it be? The other party was able to break in. Could that laser weapon be able to break through the defense of the metal tower? The fat mass was flowing anxiously around the room. Don't panic. Don't panic. Zhang Hongyuan tried his best to calm himself down. Those chariots can't enter the metal tower. And you are the master in the metal tower. Moreover, the metal tower also has an automatic defense system. Zhang Hongyuan thought in surprise. The next moment, several rectangular devices protruded from the metal walls of the room he was in. Yes! Yes! Shoot them! Shoot them! Ha ha ha! There is a way to heaven! Don't you? Ah! Before Zhang Hongyuan finished speaking his lines, he felt stressed. Red laser shot out from the middle of those small rectangles. The area where Zhang Hongyuan was shot was immediately pierced, and the surrounding area burned violently. The burning pain instantly spread throughout the fat piece of flesh. Did you make a hacking mistake? Zhang Hongyuan roared angrily, but he doesn't have time to think about why the defense system is attacking him now. Because if he doesn't leave, he will be killed here. A ball of fat flowed like a wave and immediately poured out of the room. After pouring out of the room, the laser outside the corridor attacked again. Ah! The fat mass trembled painfully and flowed wildly inside the metal tower. But no matter where he went, he couldn't escape the laser attack. Only half of the fat that could fill a room was left. Get out! Just get out! The instinct of survival guided him to rush upwards. Only by rushing out of the metal tower could he not be eliminated. He immediately rushed into the elevator, which happened to have the door open, and entered the elevator. The elevator closed automatically and moved upwards with a puddle of fat. It is worth mentioning that the rectangular probe in the elevator did not fire a laser at him, but it was only for a moment. After the elevator door opened and the laser was fired, he gave up the idea of hiding in the elevator room. As long as you get out, you can survive. A pool of fat quickly swarmed towards the door of the metal tower, leaving behind layers of burning grease from the enemies it passed. Exit! He saw the exit. Bang! Under everyone's gaze, a ball of burning fat shot out of the metal tower hatch. Like a lump of something. It stuck to the ground with a squeaking sound. The fat mass seemed to have lost its vitality and slowly flowed forward, losing the burning outer layer. Saved! John Hong Yuan thought, as the outer layer of oil continues to shed. His body size continues to decrease. The reduction in size means that his combat effectiveness and movement speed are reduced. Boom! He didn't wait for the fat meat to rest for long. Chase Lu drove forward with red flames and sprayed the flamethrower directly. Ah! Zhang Hong Yuan's painful cry came out, although he didn't know where the fat mass came from. After baking for a while, everyone saw that the fat ball was getting smaller and smaller. It seems to have taken on a human form. At the end of the roasting, the flame subsided, and a short man huddled on the ground. Zhang Hong Yuan this is the true face of Zhang Hongyuan without superpowers. Who would have thought that Zhang Hongyuan, who was so powerful in Nancheng City, would be like this? Ha ha ha! The clown man laughed crazily. It turns out that Zhang Hongyuan's original appearance was so thin and wretched. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. Lu Chen's eyes flashed, and he took out a fire axe from the supernatural space. Open the car door, and slowly walk towards Zhang Hongyuan. Walking to him, Lu Chen used an axe to turn his body back to face up. He turned out to be a rickety little old man. Um? Lu Chen frowned slightly. Something was wrong. Although he only met Zhang Hongyuan once in his previous life. It was because of hatred. That face has been deeply etched in my mind and will never be forgotten. 
So Lu Chen was very sure that the person in front of him was definitely not Zhang Hongyuan. At least not in terms of appearance. The old man's eyes were full of fear. And his withered body was shaking constantly. Lu Chen glanced at Yu Ji. And Yu Ji understood the meaning. Pushing the wheelchair forward. He said in a long voice. Zhang Hongyuan. Zhang Hongyuan. After several times in a row. The other party did not respond. Yu Ji shook her head at Lu Chen. It was obvious that the person on the ground was not Zhang Hongyuan. Where is Zhang Hongyuan gone? Lu Chen was shocked. There was no one else in the metal tower but the white coat. And it was impossible to fake the superpower. Who are you? Lu Chen pressed the man's shoulder hard with the handle of the axe. There was a click. And the fragile shoulder was dislocated or crushed. Ah. Uh, the pain caused the man to wake up instantly. And his pale lips trembled. Wan Yongha. I am Wan Yongha. The clown man showed a shocked expression that could be seen through the clown makeup. How is it possible that his father is fake? Chapter 87 Him Organization Wan Yongha Yu Ji's dreamy voice sounded. The cry of the little old man rolling on the ground suddenly stopped. He has been pulled into the hallucination by Yu Ji. Yu Ji repeated Lu Chen's questions one by one. And Wan Yongha answered hesitantly under control. Regarding his identity, Yu Ji used a lot of mental power to pry open his mouth. A secret that shocked everyone gradually unfolded. The little old man in front of me replaced Zhang Hongyuan 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Hongyuan Warehouse was not involved in the underworld. And its funding sources were clean. This is due to the outstanding talents of Zhang Hongyuan. Zhang Hongyuan started from scratch and turned Hongyuan Warehouse into the largest building materials warehouse in Nancheng City. The business is booming and the family is happy. With a wife and one son. Just when he thought his life would get better and better. A secret organization came to his door. Him. Zhang Hongyuan verbally rejected the Anthem Organization's World Reset plan. They also refused to become what they call the New Human Beings. This move undoubtedly became an obstacle on the way forward for Anthem. Wang Yongha appeared on the scene at this time. He and Zhang Hongyuan were good brothers from a small town and came to the big city to work together. Zhang Hongyuan became a big boss with his unique vision and hardworking spirit. But Wang Yongha is lazy and achieves nothing. After Zhang Hongyuan became bigger and stronger, he wanted to take care of his former brothers. So he recruited Wang Yongha to work in his factory and became a leader of both sizes. There was no gap between the two people before, but now they are in the sky and the earth. The huge gap between him and Zhang Hongyuan made Wang Yongha jealous. Even in the factory, he was paid and did not work, and was arrogant and domineering, often conflicts with other leaders and subordinates. Zhang Hongyuan usually turned a blind eye and closed his eyes because of his old feelings. And the matter would be over. Until he sent one of his subordinates to the hospital with a second degree disability. Zhang Hongyuan finally spoke and scolded him. This scolding directly escalated Wang Yongha's jealousy into hatred. He originally thought that Zhang Hongyuan recruited him to work in his factory just to humiliate him. On the surface, I help my brothers. But in fact, I just want to show off. But now she couldn't hide it anymore and actually humiliated him in public. We have been good brothers for so many years. Only to be treated like this by him. Wang Yunga's heart aroused overwhelming hatred. At this time, the him organization, which had hit a wall with Zhang Hongyuan, approached him, offer him the opportunity to become a new human being, replace Zhang Hongyuan, and get everything he has. Wang Yunga accepted without hesitation. He was implanted with a crystal core, gained superpowers, and became a new human being. The skinny Wang Yongha turned into a strong man with his supernatural powers, which greatly increased his confidence. He took the initiative to contact Zhang Hongyuan and asked him to have supper at an enemy place. Zhang Hongyuan brought a carton of cigarettes that day, ready to apologize for scolding him. But this apology comes too late. Wang Yongha killed him brutally. When the cigarette fell from Zhang Hongyuan's pocket, Wang Yongha didn't even look at it. After killing Zhang Hongyuan, he used his powers to control fat and completely simulated Zhang Hongyuan's appearance. From then on, the bullied Wang Yongha disappeared, leaving only the ruthless Zhang Hongyuan. Zhang Hongyuan's wife soon discovered that her husband seemed to be a different person, but she never had the chance to tell him. Her new husband began to bully and humiliate her inhumanely, and she suffered endless mental and physical torture, watching a beautiful woman that I had never dared to imagine being trampled under my feet. Wang Yongha's heart gained great satisfaction and gradually became distorted. Under the management of Wang Yongha and the support of Shinga, Hongyuan Warehouse gradually transformed into a gangster. 
Wang Yongha used the power of Hong Yuan Warehouse to help them build a base secretly, and the Chant organization helped him evade legal sanctions. Until the outbreak of the apocalypse, Hong Yuan Warehouse became the base of the first echelon in Nancheng City. Wang Yongha established a gladiatorial arena and began to practice his little hobby unscrupulously. The interrogation ended, and there was silence. No one could have imagined that the tyrant Zhang Hongyuan would be replaced by someone else. And that person took his identity, occupied his wife, tortured and killed others, and did all kinds of bad things. After hearing all this, the clown man fell into deep silence. He tried his best to recall, as if he had found his father's figure in the fragments of his young memory. That gentle and reliable man, the real Zhang Hongyuan. Ah, he opened his mouth in pain, tried to moan, but no sound came out. He wanted to cry. But no tears came out. His tears had already dried up when he was abused by Wang Yongha. He is a clown who can only produce laughter. He he. He he. He he ha ha. Heartrending laughter burst from his mouth. Kill you. I'm going to kill you. The clown man twisted his body and flashed to Wang Yongha's side. His hands and feet were tied. And he only used his mouth to bite Wang Yongha's body. Ah. Kill you. The clown man's screams of killing were mixed with Wang Yunga's screams. Every bite he took would tear off a piece of Wang Yunga's flesh, causing blood to flow everywhere. Yu Dan and others stepped forward and peeled off the clown man from Wang Yunga's body. Wang Yunga's thin arm had been bitten so hard that the bones could be seen. Is there anything else you want to ask? Yu Ji looked at Lu Chen. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. Lu Chen shook his head and tightened the axe in his hand. He understands the pain of the clown man. His originally kind father was replaced by a villain. His name was used to do bad things. And he was hated by his own son for the rest of his life. Lu Chen stepped forward with an axe in hand. Evil. Wang Yongha is naked evil. And the powerful superpower allows him to completely release this evil. Kill him! Kill him! The clown man who was pulled away was still roaring. Lu Chen slowly raised the fire axe. The edge of the axe reflected cold light. No! Don't kill me! Wang Yongha, lying on the ground covered in blood, begged bitterly. There were tears in his eyes, and his expression was extremely pitiful and sad. He actually remembered how to cry. Lu Chen sneered. Cut! He roared angrily and struck down with his axe. The target is not the head, but the shoulders. Ah! Wang Yongha's screams were like the whispers of a demon. This kind of person cannot let him go so easily. He must cut off his limbs and drain his blood. Cut! Then he swung the axe downward and cut off his other hand. Ah! Uh, cut! Another swing of the axe. Cutting off the thigh. Cut! When Wang Yongha's limbs were cut off, he fell into fainting many times. But Yuji forced her to fall asleep and woke her up again. Lu Chen must let him experience all this pain at the last moment before death. All his limbs were severed. Wang Yongha's eyes were dull. And his head kept twitching and shaking. With this amount of bleeding, he should have lost consciousness and bit on the verge of death. But Yu Ji forced him to stay awake and feel the pain in every part of his body. About there, Lu Chen, who was covered in blood, picked up the axe again. Go to death in peace. Psalm will be here to bury you soon. Chi. The fire axe struck down and his head exploded. Chapter 88 Excess Harvest After killing Wang Yongha, the sky turned white. Lu Chen squinted his eyes and looked at the place where the sun rose. The dark night ushered in dawn after killing the demon. Fatigue welled up in my heart. So tired. From the black and white twins attacking the base during the day. To the night when he bulldozed the Hong Yuan warehouse. He had been on the road all day. Fighting. Lu Chen threw down the heavy axe. He wanted to go back to the thunderstorm and fall asleep until the sky was dark. But looking around. A pair of eyes were staring at him. Waiting for him to issue instructions. There was doubt. Fear. Sadness. Joy and joy in their eyes. Only there is no hope. No one had hope in their eyes. Because killing one Yongha, a demon, will not bring hope to mankind. The end is not over yet. And the dawn of mankind has not yet arrived. Everyone! Lu Chen shouted. Gather in the square! It's not time to sleep yet. We can't stop yet. Lu Chen gave the order. And all the captains and related personnel got busy. Yudan led a group of people to deal with the prisoners in Hong Yuan warehouse. Other matters within the base were naturally left to Zhuang Yuan's hands. She has a strong talent for coordinating all aspects of tasks. Under Zhuang Yuan's command, everyone got busy. Those soldiers carried out the tasks assigned by Zhuang Yuan despite 
having fought for a day and a night. A few more hours passed, and it was close to noon. The collection task of Hong Yuan Warehouse is basically completed. Zhuang Yuan reported the harvest to Lu Qin. Although all the tanks were destroyed in the battle, Hong Yuan Warehouse still has many unmodified vehicles in reserve. There are 32 vehicles in total, 24 off-road vehicles, and 8 large trucks. There are 32 heavy machine guns, 8 rocket launchers, and countless types of firearms and ammunition. Zhuang Yuan roughly estimated the 2,000 tons of material reserves. Anyway, Lu Chen stuffed them all into the superpower space. The superpower space can be automatically classified as wireless storage and can also maintain quality and freshness. Really impeccable skills. Coupled with intelligent search, Lu Chen is not afraid of not finding things. He estimated that his base would definitely not be short of food in the future. In addition to the above, there are nearly 2,000 base personnel. Most of them are captured survivors. These survivors were tortured and abused in Hong Yuan warehouse. So when Lu Chen dealt with them, many people knelt down and cried. Get out the survivors. And all that's left are the base guards and support staff. Compared to the guards of the Angel of Death, Lu Chen was more afraid of these guards. Because he knew that many of them were also fanatical supporters of Wang Yunga's evil habits. For this reason, Lu Chen asked Yu Ji to interrogate these guards and logistics personnel one by one. He doesn't care about betting on duels. Because in this environment, it's hard not to go with the crowd. And those who take pleasure in perverted killings have a sense of anticipation and have abused survivors. Lu Chen chose to be shot on the spot. Tsukiheim is very capable and has great potential. Lu Chen decided that those who join the base in the future must go through Yuji to ensure that their thinking is correct. After Yuji's screening, 500 people were directly executed. Don't say there is no law in the end of the world. Because Lu Chen is the law. If I say you deserve to die, you have to die. Of the remaining 500 people, there are 300 guards, and the rest are mechanics and scientific researchers who can be added to the base. Count all personnel in Hong Yuan Warehouse. Lu Chen selected a group of people from the convoy who were in good spirits and sent them back to the base. Because there are many people in the Hong Yuan warehouse. Lu Chen estimates that he will have to go back and forth several times. So he told the others to get to bed and do their shifts. Poor Yudan. He was asked by Lu Chen to escort the convoy. After working hard to escort him back and forth for two times. Lu Chen escorted him once and let him close his eyes for a while. Lu Chen did not let these people stay in Hong Yuan Warehouse for two reasons. First, Hong Yuan Warehouse should be a nightmare for survivors. And they would not want to continue living here. Even Lu Chen was full of disgust towards this base because of what happened in his previous life. Secondly, the Hong Yuan Warehouse has been destroyed by the cracking laser. So it is very difficult to transform it. Adding these people to the Death Angel can just speed up the expansion and construction of the base. After transporting all the people in Hong Yuan Warehouse, only the clown man was left to deal with. Lu Chen sympathized with his experience, but did not forgive his behavior. Lu Chen walked into the place where the clown man was imprisoned, and he was tied to a chair randomly. Hearing Lu Chen's footsteps coming in, he slowly raised his head, his eyes dull, but the clown's stiff smile was still on his face. Say a few last words. I'll send you on your way soon, Lu Chen said. Thank you, the clown man said. His voice sounded like an old man. Lu Chen showed a smile and motioned to Zhuang Yuan to raise his gun. The time for execution is coming. Time zero. The clown man suddenly said again. My power can change the flow of time. When activated, everyone's movements in front of you will slow down. After saying this, he raised his head and slowly closed his eyes. Bang. The gunshot rang out and blood exploded on the back of his head. Lu Chen did not use an axe to split his head open but used Qi Yan's supernatural power to gain space. His body was preserved and his brothers buried him. Last night, Lu Chen entered the metal tower again and reached the bottom. There were burnt black oil stains on the long metal corridor, which were left behind when Wang Yongha escaped. Arriving at the last space unimpeded, the light blue crystal-like mechanical heart was suspended in the air. What is the heart of machinery? Why can I enter and exit the metal tower at will? Lu Chen looked at the floating crystal and thought to himself, Faintly, he felt that the chariot system was inextricably linked to the metal tower and the mechanical heart. In fact, it is inextricably related to the chant organization behind it. What's more terrifying than Wang Yong's shocking truth is the chant organization behind the scenes. They had the crystal core and the ability to transform and implant the crystal core long before the doomsday broke out. 
That is to say, the origin of the Crystal Core does not come from the Doomsday Explosion, but is closely related to Anthem's World Restart Plan. Luchin thought as he reached out and touched the mechanical heart. The crystal turns into a ray of light and flows into the body. The mechanical heart dissipates and the metal tower will use up all energy within 10 minutes. Now he will perform a space jump to help the host return to the ground. It is detected that there are 32 secondary crystal nuclei and 675 primary crystal nuclei in the metal tower and will jump together with the host. Um? Luchin rolled his eyes. The reserves in Hongyuan warehouse were a bit overwhelming. This was something he never expected. A total of 32 secondary crystal nuclei. This is simply more exciting for him than getting the heart of machinery. Chapter 89 is fully equipped with C-class tanks. His mind chose to leap. And Luchin flashed back to the thunderstorm. Before entering the metal tower, he ordered everyone to rest where they were. After a day and night of fierce fighting, he planned to let the team members relax. The intensity of this work is even more terrifying than those of 996. Zhuang Yuan also entered the thunderstorm's rear compartment to rest. Compared with other team members, who can only sleep in a crowded tank or make a bunk on the ground. The back compartment of Thunderstorm is simply paradise. Air conditioning, delicious food, shower, and big bed. Thinking of this, Lu Chen quickly opened the system panel and prepared to take a good sleep after checking the loot. The attack on Hong Yuan Warehouse this time brought a lot of money. There are 32 secondary crystal cores in the base alone. Plus the clown man, suit man, Wang Yongha, nail woman and tattooed man. There are a total of 37 secondary crystal cores. Not to mention the primary crystal cores. There are too many to use up. Luch had opened the panel, and the first thing he did was to analyze these crystal nuclei. See what skills they can parse out, and keep them if they are useful. The additional skills these crystal nuclei give to the chariot can also greatly enhance the combat effectiveness of the chariot. For example, the rapid-fire machine gun on Flash is a perfect match with Venom Corrosion. Lu Chen first inspected the 32 secondary crystal nuclei obtained directly from the base. In addition to a bioradar crystal core, which can be used to upgrade the radar system on Red Flame, I haven't found any other very useful skills. The other five are pretty good. Sure enough, the crystal nuclei they selected to implant into their bodies were often relatively excellent ones. Nail Girl's skill is to overload machinery and improve performance in all aspects, but it will cause great damage afterwards. To put it bluntly, it is a little blue pill that can make you brave for a while. But if you use it too much, it can easily harm your body. Luchin never liked drinking poison to quench his thirst. So he had better forget about this skill. It would not be good if it caused irreversible damage to the tank. The tattooed man's skill is lightning whip. But after being analyzed, it can be used to empower projectile weapons, give it thunder and lightning attributes, increase damage and also apply paralysis effect. This skill seems to be quite suitable for rapid-fire machine guns. If you add a few more abilities in the future, at that time, one bullet will bring together lightning, poison, fire and other effects, which is very scary when you think about it. The skill of the man in the suit is to control the crows, and the skill after analysis is swarm control. It has the ability to control the traveling direction of fired bullets and cannonballs. In other words, with this skill installed, the bullets will take turns. This is not bad. If it is controlled by Zhuang Yuan, it will really be able to fire without miss. Wang Yong's skills are a bit unbelievable. He can add fat and other things to the surface of the tank to enhance defense. Lu Chen felt sick for a while after seeing it. It's okay not to use this skill. Finally, there is the crystal core of the clown man. Before his death, he specially emphasized his superpowers. It was obvious that he wanted him to notice this power and continue to use it. Lu Chen pinched the light red crystal core and took a look at it. It was no different from other crystal nuclei. Time zero? Quite a bluffing name. Lu Chen's thought selection analysis can only introduce the same thing as what the clown man said. Slowing the flow of time means that others slow down. But you can still move at full field speed. According to the theory of velocity relativity, when others slow down, it means you speed up. But if you analyze and use the tank, you will not be able to use it if you leave the tank. What if it was implanted in my own brain? An idea came to Lu Chen's mind that the tank's defense was high enough. But he himself lacks some life-saving means. So he needs to be careful every time he faces a person with powers. This time zero is the most suitable skill for him. The problem is how to implant it. It can't be done through craniotomy like they do. Lu Chen controlled it with his mind and came to Lei Bao's skill panel. Armor. 
Plastic Armor I. Upgrade the body armor to plastic armor, which greatly increases the armor level and reduces the armor loss caused by collision. The required secondary crystal core is 37 fifths. Engine. Crawler Assembly. Upgrade the bottom of the tank to a crawler type to reduce terrain restrictions on the movement of the tank. The required secondary crystal core is 37 fifths. Arms. There are no upgrade skills at the current level. Energy. There are no upgrade skills at the current level. Science and Technology. Space Loading 2. Increase the number of tanks loaded with a special space. And the required secondary crystal core is 37 tenths. Crystal Core Transformation Room. To unlock the Crystal Core Transformation Ability. The required level 2 crystal core is 37 twentieths. Other functions to be unlocked. In the Crystal Core Transformation Room. Luchin touched his chin and thought. He guessed that this skill should be a module for implanting crystal nuclei into people. But the cost of this crystal core is really too much. One half of the secondary crystal core that he had finally obtained was taken away in one go. But thinking that he would have to upgrade sooner or later. Luchin still took the photo. The crystal core transformation room is being upgraded. The blue data line unfolded. And Chen Lu's favorite upgrade step entered again. Taking advantage of the thunderstorm upgrade. Lu Chen opened the upgrade panels of Red Flame and Lightning. Red Flame. Armor. There are no upgrade skills at the current level. Engine. Air Propulsion I. Two air compression cannons are installed at the rear of the vehicle to compress the air and then release it to provide strong propulsion. The required secondary crystal core is 17 halves. This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. Arms. There are no upgrade skills at the current level. Energy. Afterburner fuel tank, to further improve fuel combustion efficiency and improve the power and performance of fuel equipment. The required secondary crystal core is 17 halves. Science and technology. Superpower space 3. Upgrade the pickup range of the superpower space to 10 meters from the car body. And the required secondary crystal core is 17 fifths. Bioradar 2. Increase the radar detection range to 1000 meters. Corresponding to the functional secondary crystal core 0 slash 1. Lightning. Armor. There are no upgrade skills at the current level. Engine. Air propulsion I. Two air compression cannons are installed at the rear of the vehicle to compress the air and then release it to provide strong propulsion. The required secondary crystal core is 17 halves. Arms. Machine gun. A large caliber ballistic weapon is installed on the roof of the vehicle, which consumes fuel to generate SH. LS. It is controlled by the center console. The required secondary crystal core is 17 halves. Energy. Afterburner fuel tank. To further improve fuel combustion efficiency and improve the power and performance of fuel equipment. The required secondary crystal core is 17 halves. Science and technology. Space jump 3. The flashing range of the tank is increased to 20 meters. And the required secondary crystal core is 17 fifths. Luchin looked at the skill panel and thought for a while. First. He analyzed the crystal core with bioradar, allowing Qi Yan's radar to reach the second level. After that, use nine crystal cores to fully activate all the skills of Qi Yan, and a fully equipped C-Class tank will be born. Ding! A prompt pops up on the panel. The current tank has reached full level. Level 3 crystal cores can be used to upgrade the tank level. Chapter 90 become a superpower. Listening to the completion of the upgrade of various skills, Lu Chen was filled with a sense of satisfaction. This feeling of upgrading every aspect of something to its optimal state is really great. It feels like playing a game and upgrading all the equipment to an orange set. Upgrading further requires a third level crystal core, which has not been encountered yet. After upgrading Red Flame, there are only seven crystal cores left. In addition to the need for five relatively powerful crystal cores, Lu Chen used two crystal cores to upgrade the lightning. After much deliberation, I decided on the machine cannon to take Flash's combat effectiveness to a higher level. After upgrading the lightning, all crystal cores have been allocated. Luchin switched to the thunderstorm panel with satisfaction. The crystal core transformation room has been upgraded. And there is an additional crystal core transformation room module on the thunderstorm panel. Luchin controlled it with his mind and opened the module. Crystal core transformation laboratory. Able to transform the crystal core into a structure suitable for humans and implant it into the brain. Really? Lu Chen's eyes lit up when he saw the function introduction of Jingha Transformation Room. The Crystal Core Transformation Room was indeed what he thought. And the research done by those in the Metal Tower was the same. 
it is to change the structure of the crystal nucleus so that it can be implanted into the human body. Judging from so much experience in dealing with crystal nuclei, Lu Chen speculated that crystal nuclei implanted into different species would have different effects and structures. For example, if the crystal core taken out from the body of a foreign species is installed on a tank, it will gain corresponding skills, but it will not be exactly the same. This should be because the structure of the crystal nucleus was changed during the analysis process, thereby changing the superpower. The same goes for implanting into the human body, which requires structural changes. The crystal core transformation room can serve this function. Chase Chase first took out the red crystal core of the clown man and placed it in his hand. Crystal nucleus analysis in progress. Time zero slows down the flow of time to a certain extent. As the level increases, the slowing speed and duration can be increased. Adapt to human crystal core. No modification required. Whether to perform implantation. Luchin understood the crystal core that was adapted to human beings. These crystal nuclei taken out from the bodies of superpowers do not require any effort to transform and can be directly implanted. It really comes with no effort at all. Without rushing to implant it, Luchin analyzed several other crystal nuclei. Sure enough, it was discovered that the effects of those crystal nuclei implanted into the human body and mounted on the chariot were different. For example, the tattooed man's superpower, when adapted into a human, is to gather energy to form a lightning whip. Mounting it on a chariot adds lightning damage to the weapon. The nail girl's superpower is loaded onto the chariot to put the chariot into an overloaded state. Implanted into the human body, it can gain perfect control over the machine it controls and can put it into an overload state. Some are better implanted into the human body, while others are suitable for tanks. It seems that the analysis of crystal nuclei needs to be carefully considered in the future. Luchin thought in his heart. Immediately, he took back the crystal core with time zero. Isn't this the superpower that I fantasized about every day when I was a kid? I never thought that one day my dream would come true. Compared to time zero, Chase Lu wants to stop time. Anyone who understands it, no longer hesitating, Lu Chen chose yes with his mind. The next second, blue light particles floated out from the center console. It gradually gathered on Lu Chen's head. And after a few seconds, it formed a helmet. As you can see in the rearview mirror, this helmet is the same as those in the metal tower. Gradually, the indicator light on the silver-gray metal helmet began to flash. Luchin closed his eyes and prayed that the helmet would not open his head and it would be fine. The implantation process was very quiet and there was no pain, except for a slight fever in the brain. Luchin closed his eyes tightly and almost fell asleep several times. After 10 minutes, the weight on my head disappeared. The helmet turned into blue light particles and disappeared into the air. It's over. Lu Chen lowered his head and glanced at his hands. They were ordinary and unchanged. Is acquiring superpowers so boring and boring? Having read too many novels about cultivating immortals, he thought that gaining superpowers would bring about a few thunder disasters or something like that. How to use it? Mind control? Lu Chen thought silently in his heart. Time zero. After speaking, he glanced around. Nothing much has changed. Could it be that the way of shouting is wrong? Time zero. Still no change. Time zero. Time zero. Chase Lu had a dark look on his face. Maybe he had a fake implant? Just as he was about to open the panel and check it again, he suddenly thought of it. His superpower is not flame fist or lightning whip, but changing time. How can this be seen with the naked eye? I need a reference. He patted his head and took out an apple of the same type as Newton from the supernatural space. Walking out of a thunderstorm standing aside and throwing an apple into the sky. Time zero. The moment the mind controlled the superpower, the apple that was originally falling downward suddenly became slower. It's as if the gravity on the earth has become smaller. When the apple fell slowly in circles, Luchin waved his hand, but he could still wave as usual. He looked at a team member in the distance who happened to turn over, and his movements were extremely slow. The whole world has pressed the pause button. After about five seconds, the power ends and all objects return to their original speed. The apple hit Luchin on the head accurately. Now it's really the same model as Newton's. After many more experiments, Luchin found that the current level of superpower was level 1. So it's only 3 seconds duration and has a 7 minute CD. If you enter the CD state and use it forcefully, you will have a strong feeling of dizziness in your head. This should be because the mental power is not enough. Superpowers are driven by people's mental power. The power of this power far exceeded Lu Chen's imagination.
He previously thought that this ability only controlled the flow of time within a certain range. But after many experiments, he guessed that the scope of influence of this skill might be the entire world. But how to upgrade? When I thought of this, the panel popped out. There are three ways to upgrade abilities. 1. Practice frequently to improve your proficiency, and you can gradually upgrade. 2. Devour raw flesh and blood and directly upgrade. The side effect is the gradual loss of humanity. 3. Absorb crystal nuclei in the renovation room. Low cost performance. Not recommended. Luchin glanced up and down several times. And finally stopped at the third option. The first one is too slow. The second one looks crooked at first glance. And only the third one looks very friendly. Value for money too low? Lu Chen boarded the thunderstorm and entered the crystal core transformation room module. Every 100 first level crystal cores are upgraded to one level. After 10 levels, the skill is upgraded to level 2. 100 crystal cores once. Lu Chen looked at the panel in trance for a while. 100 pieces at a time. It's such a good deal. Are you telling me that the price slash performance ratio is low? Give me Krypton. Minus 100 cores. Plus 0. 2 seconds duration. Dash 12 SCD. Minus 100 cores. Plus 0. 2 seconds duration. Dash 12 SCD. Minus 100 crystal cores. Minus 100. Minus 100. Chapter 91 The Power of Time Zero. As we all know, when a person is rich enough, he will not consider cost effectiveness. He only thinks about sex. As for price, as long as the service is good, everything is easy. After frantically spending 1,000 first level crystal cores, Lu Chen successfully upgraded his superpower to level 2. The duration has reached 5 seconds and the CD has been reduced to 3 minutes. In terms of skill effects, Lu Chen also found that things around him became slower. It feels so good to earn money. Lu Chen clapped his hands with satisfaction. Lu Sun once said, Small Krypton is pleasant. Big Krypton is even more pleasant. After possessing this skill, it is almost impossible for those hidden guns and cold arrows to harm themselves. However, this skill is obviously not only a life-saving skill. It is also a powerful offensive skill. You should equip yourself with a suitable weapon. Lu Chen entered the superpower space to pick. Firearms and bazookas and other thermal weapons will not work because bullets and cannons will also be affected by supernatural powers after being ejected from the chamber, and their speed will become slower. You must choose a cold weapon that can always be held in hand. Fire Axe? Although the Fire Axe does high damage, it is too inconvenient to carry around. Butcher's knives and kitchen knives are a bit pricey to use. Baseball bats, maces, etc. also don't work well, etc. While Lu Chen was casually browsing the space where weapons were stored, he accidentally saw two sharp blades shining with cold light in the corner. What's this? Lu Chen's consciousness swept through the space again and locked on the two cold swords. After thinking about it again and again, he remembered that these were the two hidden blades that the Joker had removed himself. With a flash of thought, Chase Lu held the two hidden swords flat in his hands and observed them carefully. The sword is edged on both sides and is extremely sharp. At first glance, it looks like a top-quality sword made of very expensive metal. There are very precise ejection devices and fixing devices at the tail of the sword. The fixation device allows the hidden blade to be fixed on the arm and can be normally hidden within long sleeves. When in use, trigger the mechanism with your finger, and the nearly half-meter-long sword will be ejected. It is simply an assassination artifact. Lu Chen looked at the sharp sword in his hand and admired it. Compared with this kind of specially made killing weapon, fire axes, butcher knives and the like are simply weak. Another unexpected harvest. Lu Chen was overjoyed. This trip to Hong Yuan warehouse was really profitable. The reserves of these large bases far exceeded his imagination. He can't wait to meet with Shanda Group and Free Nation. I don't know what surprises they will bring to me. In his excitement, Chase Lu brought two hidden swords. This set of weapons is very thin and has little impact on movement when worn on the arm. Lu Chen guessed that the sword blade should be made of aerospace metal. So it could be both sharp and light. After installing the hidden sword, Chase Lu took the apple out of the car again. He threw it into the sky and waited until it reached the highest point and fell down. Open at time zero. The apple rotated and fell slowly. And Lu Chen touched the mechanism. The gleaming hidden sword popped out. He found the right angle and waved his hidden blade. A cold light flashed through. And Lu Chen could see a crack slowly appearing on the apple. Then, there was another sword strike. And the apple was touched by the sword blade 
and slightly displaced. Another sword strike. Another sword strike. Lu Chen swung more than ten swords in five seconds. The cracks appeared not even as fast as Lu Chen could swing his sword. When time expired, the apple turned into countless pieces with a crash and scattered on the ground. The duration is five seconds, which means Lu Chen has five seconds of activity time. These five seconds are just a breath for others. So if there was an audience for that scene just now, in the blink of an eye, Lu Chen's knife came out of its sheath and the apple shattered. Lu Chen touched the mechanism and retracted the sword with a hiss. He looked at the apple fragments on the ground, feeling a trace of regret in his heart. Who told you to hit me on the head? After finally handling all the loot, Lu Chen entered Lei Bao's carriage. He took off his clothes, took off his hidden blade, and went into the shower room to take a long bath. The sticky sweat all over his body was immediately cleaned away. After taking a shower, he sat on the soft leather sofa and drank a few glasses of red wine, looking at the spotless, high-end and atmospheric carriage. A feeling of comfort continued to flow in Lu Chen's heart. This seems to be the last piece of pure land at the end of the world. The drunkenness gradually increased, and he stepped on the carpet into the bedroom space. Zhuang Yuan was already asleep. Lu Chen carefully climbed onto the big down bed and hugged Zhuang Yuan's warm and soft body. Close your eyes and fall into sleep. Cars. Wine and women are all in my hands. A dilapidated street crowded with cars. The buildings on both sides are dilapidated and look like they have been uninhabited for a hundred years. Are you ready? Kamikaze urged. No, I really can't. Captain. The crouching team members beneath him collapsed to the ground. Change it, Kamikaze said. Another team member joined in, squatted under him, and started sucking. He was sucking gas from the car's gas tank through a pipe. Due to lack of skill, I often suck it into my mouth. The bitter smell of gasoline hits my head when I scratch it. So after a few cars have been sucked, I have to change people. After almost everyone in the team tasted the gas, they finally filled all the motorcycle's fuel tanks. This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. Captain, this is too painful. One team member said with a greasy mouth and a sad face. It looked like he had just had a drink. We leaked the secret to Hong Yuan Warehouse. They will definitely not let us go. Kamikaze got on the motorcycle. Fortunately, he had prepared an escape route in advance. Otherwise, he would have died in Hong Yuan Warehouse. Thinking about the scene at that time, he still has some shadows in his heart. Huge laser pillars shot into the base one by one. Each one like a god descending. Then where can we go now? The Hong Yuan Warehouse has been breached. Where is the base that can resist them? Kamikaze pondered. It was not that he had never thought about this problem. Nowadays, Nancheng City may really have no base that can resist Lu Chen. But they had no choice. Returning to Lu Chen was impossible. Unite! Kamikaze said slowly. Joint? Yes. Let the remaining bases unite. Only in this way will we be able to fight. Then how come they unite? Why don't they just surrender? Asked the younger brother. The rise of a new force will definitely endanger the interests of the old force. With this in mind, they will unite together. Kamikaze put on his helmet. Set off! He stepped hard, and the motorcycle engine roared. The future of Nanshan City is up to me. Boom! A burst of explosions came from afar, interrupting Kamikaze's heroic words. What? Everyone looked to the horizon. I don't know when the area in between has been covered with dark clouds. Thunder snakes rolled in the thick black clouds, containing powerful energy. Boom! There was another explosion and a huge bolt of lightning struck down from the thundercloud, like a thunder dragon appearing in the world. After the two lightning strikes, the thundercloud's dissipated instantly, and the weather turned sunny. Everyone looked into the distance with horror. An idea suddenly appeared in my mind. Wang Defa. Chapter 92 Dr. Lee's Conjecture. Boss, what do you think that is? The younger brother said tremblingly. My legs were shaking in fear. Kamikaze looked solemn. Turned the accelerator and drove out. Come on! Whatever it is, we can't touch it! The boys drove out behind him. Captain, where are we going? Shanda Group! Kamikaze shouted into the communicator. Shanda Group is the base with the strongest panel strength. And Kamikaze bets that Lu Chin will not attack two first-tier bases in a row. This leaves him enough time to persuade major bases to form an alliance. Convince Shanda Group first. And then use his influence to convince other bases. Only in this way can we fight with him. Where is Shanda Group's base? Asked the younger brother. I don't know. Let's collect information first. 
Shangsha City is the largest trading city in China and one of the top 10 economic cities in the world. On the nearly 300-meter high TV tower, two men stood one behind the other. The old man was wearing a white lab coat with gray hair on his temples, and his hands were clasped behind his body. The young man was wearing a black trench coat. His expression was relaxed, and he was playing with a Zippo Pure Titanium lighter on his fingertips. The wind speed on the skyscraper was close to level 7, causing the clothes of the two people to swing wildly. The largest city in China beneath their feet was filled with flames of war and thick smoke. Dr. Li, the young man slammed the metal lighter cover with a clang. Many level 3 alien species have awakened in Shangsha City. And the same is true in other provincial capital cities. It's almost done. Level 3 alien species should be born. After the beast tide is over, we can start recovering the mechanical heart, Dr. Lee said. The beast tide is really a headache. The organization has already started preparations. There is really too much work. Of course, the danger from the beast tide is very high. The harvest is also very rich. Those beasts in the forest attack the city and bring massive crystal nuclei. The young man put his hands into the pockets of his windbreaker, coughed, and spit out a ball of fire. Work hard to get some merit in battle. When the time comes, the organization will also give you more crystal cores and let you upgrade a few more levels. Dr. Lee turned around and prepared to leave the top floor. The man smiled and said, If you upgrade, maybe you won't catch a cold. Wait a minute. Doctor, there's one more thing I forgot to mention. Dr. Lee stopped and looked at him. There seems to be something wrong with Nanchung City. That is, the number of detectable mechanical hearts has dropped by a few. The organization sent me to ask you what's going on. Dr. Lee lowered his head and paced a few times. Maybe there was an annexation of forces. One base occupied another base. But the metal tower couldn't be entered. So the metal tower went into standby mode. His. After he finished speaking, he touched his chin and started thinking again. As if he felt that what he just said was not very good. Has it completely disappeared? Um, that should be it. Strange. I haven't heard of the signal from the machine heart disappearing completely. But it doesn't matter. Nanchung City is neither big nor small. And it won't make any waves. After the beast's wave, you give priority to recovering the mechanical heart there. By the way, let's find out what happened. Maybe we can further explore the mystery of the heart of machinery. After speaking, Dr. Lee walked downstairs. Okay. Please follow your instructions. The young man waved to him and walked slowly to the edge of the building, glancing at the ant-sized vehicle at his feet. He jumped into the wind. While falling crazily, he took out a metal lighter and lit the flame. The moment his index finger touched the flame, a flame lingered up his finger, quickly surrounding his body. The blazing flames lifted his falling state and allowed him to glide in the air. Dr. Lee walked to the door and suddenly remembered something. When he turned around, he found that the young man had disappeared. He sighed, shook his head, and walked downstairs. Today's young people only care about looking cool. Archie! Luchin sneezed and woke himself up from his dream. He squirmed sleepily on the bed a few times, then got up and got out of bed. As soon as the metal door of the bedroom slid open, he smelled a warm aroma. It was already 10 o'clock in the evening, and Luchin had slept since noon. Zhuang Yuan got up an hour earlier than him and started cooking. Lu Chen slowly walked into the restaurant, and the lights in the restaurant were adjusted to warm yellow. Zhuang Yuan was wearing an apron and busy between the square table and the stove. She combed her hair and rolled up her sleeves, and the image of a good wife and loving mother came to her face. You're awake! Zhuang Yuan discovered Lu Chen in the middle of his busy schedule. Lu Chen yawned and stretched again before answering calmly. Yes! When you wake up, sit down for a while. I'll call you when I'm done. Lu Chen nodded and walked towards the front of the car. When he passed by the square table, Zhuang Yuan happened to come over to put the dishes. He put his arm around her waist and kissed her. Ah! The vegetables are spilled! Zhuang Yuan complained. Lu Chen raised the corners of his mouth slightly and let her go. He put on a new windbreaker in the living room, installed his hidden sword, and then entered the cab. You can see through the glass that the team members outside are sitting in circles in front of the campfire. There is some meat on the campfire to bake or a pot to cook soup. The team members on the side were joking with each other, with smiles on their faces. The campfire crackled and burned, illuminating their faces full of joy. This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. It's a rare beauty in the apocalypse. 
Lu Chen took out a few bottles of beer from the supernatural space, opened the car door, and got out of the car. Leader. Hello. Chief. Leader. Seeing Lu Chen approaching, the originally playful atmosphere instantly turned serious. Lu Chen felt like his head teacher when he was a student. When Yudan saw Lu Chen, he quickly got up from the ground. What are your orders? Boss? He stepped forward. I accidentally saw a few bottles of beer in Lu Chen's hand. The firelight passed through the beer fat, illuminating the wine inside. Grumble. Yudan couldn't hold it back and swallowed. Lu Chen noticed his little move and smiled in his heart. I'll give you these wines. One bottle each. If you don't have enough, come back and get more. Really? Yudan looked happy and then asked in a low voice. You don't need to exchange points for these. No need. Luchin smiled and handed the beer to Yudan. Oh ho! After hearing Luchin's words, everyone in the base cheered. Drinking beer is fun. And drinking it for free is even funnier. If you can't drink enough, don't drink too much. We have a mission tomorrow. The leader rises. Long live the leader. After sharing the beer, Chase Lu returned to the thunderstorm car. Zhuang Yuan has already prepared the meal. After eating the warm dishes, bursts of happiness echo in the body. After dinner, Chase Lu took out the mark map. View Shanda Group's base locations. We'll have another night's rest tonight. And the whole army will set off tomorrow morning. If the tactics are successful, Shanda Group will bring more profits than Hong Yuan Warehouse. Chapter 93 Deep Love Between Father and Son Because no combat readiness force was collected in Hong Yuan Warehouse this time, those convoys were destroyed by him. And if Rong Biao can be used to recruit Shanda Group peacefully, this means that their fleet can be completely owned by themselves. In this way, the rate of collecting crystal nuclei will be greatly improved. I hope Rong Biao's father really has such deep feelings for him. Early the next morning, an ordinary looking middle aged man stood in front of the golden wash basin. The female assistant beside him was helping him brush his teeth. Aluru! Aluru! Poof! After rinsing his mouth, Another choppy female assistant on the other side wiped his mouth. After it was over, he walked into the restaurant with the two women in his arms. Upon entering the restaurant, a dining table made of pure gold comes into view. The table is filled with all kinds of delicacies. Hello! Chief! Hello! Chief! As soon as the middle-aged man came in, everyone stood up and drank. After taking a seat under the gaze of everyone, he stretched out his right hand with thirteen gold rings on it. He snapped his fingers. Bring on the utensils. At his command, a group of scantily clad beauties entered carrying glittering dinner plates. Tableware made of pure gold is placed on it. The dinner plates are ready, and the morning report officially begins. This is Shanda Group's standard habit. Or rather Rong Hubiu's standard habit. Business must be discussed while eating. Yes, this ordinary middle-aged man is the leader of Shanda Group. Rong Biao's father Rong Hubiu. Rong Hubiu opened his mouth wide, showing his gold teeth and stuffed a fat piece of steak into his mouth with a gold fork. Lord Chief, we still haven't found any news about the young master. One person said. People from Hong Yuan Warehouse and Free Country said that their fleet was lost in Wanda Plaza. I guess something unknown happened there. Rong Hubiu swallowed another large piece of steak, seemingly not paying much attention to what he said. After chewing a few bites of steak, he took a big sip of wine and poured everything in his mouth into his stomach. Finally, he burped loudly, put down the wine glass, and then spoke slowly. This bastard, tell him not to go out. Don't go out. He has to try whatever he can. He was filled with grief as he spoke, as if he was about to burst into tears the next second. Chief, don't worry. We will still do our best to find him. Yes, leader, with the young master's strength, nothing will happen. Seeing Rong Hubiu so sad, everyone expressed their condolences. Although they had previously felt that the father and son had little affection for each other. It's not even the kind that doesn't have any feelings. But the kind that resents each other. However, although the two of them usually did not deal with each other, Rong Hubiao, a father, was still very worried when his son was missing. Maybe this is a friend in need is a friend indeed. He is still just a child. Rong Hubiu was about to cry. Chief, we will definitely help you find the young master. Definitely. A subordinate stood up and said seriously, Let's have a feast. Rong Hubiu's sadness stopped abruptly. The subordinate who stood up had a question mark on his face. What to eat? Put the menu on. Rong Hubiu clapped his hands. The maid next to him brought over a book called The Collection of White Banquets 
and Rong Hubiu sat on the chair and picked it up. Chief! Chief! Are you no longer looking for me? The subordinate, who stood up, asked weakly. No need. Rong Hubiu waved his hand. Everyone's destiny is determined by God. My son's destiny has been fulfilled. You don't have to think about changing your destiny against the will of God. Setting up a few tables properly and having a good drink will make him go away happily. Why did you come back to comfort me? The subordinate was speechless. His expression twitched. And for a moment, he didn't know who had killed his son. Inform your subordinates that you will have lunch and have a day off today. Chief, if you take one day off, our intelligence from yesterday will be wasted. Hey, there are tasks every day. And my son died just once. Which one is lighter and which one is more serious? Today we are going to do something special. Rong Hubiu said happily, spreading the table with both hands. Everyone below looked at each other. Sure enough, I still underestimated the father-son relationship between these two people. Rong Biao, who was bundled in a large transport truck, had been sneezing all morning. Can you catch a cold on such a hot day? Beside him, two rows of Angel of Death members with guns raised guarded him. Alas, he sighed in his heart. It was really hard to live under someone else's roof. I don't know what happened after being incorporated. After seeing Lu Chen destroy Hong Yuan Warehouse. The idea of turning over and becoming the master completely disappeared in his mind. It is definitely impossible to resist. Even in this life. I can only pray that the man will be kind and for his good attitude. Give him the title of squad leader. She. The brakes sounded and the truck slowly stopped. Several Death Angel members helped Rong Biao get out of the car. The front door of his house suddenly appeared in front of him. Oh my god! We arrived in one morning? Rong Biao was shocked. He must be too familiar with the road conditions. Surprised? He heard some sounds of gongs and drums coming from his base. What does this mean? He looked around and saw that Lu Chen's motorcade had already arrived at the gate. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. Why is there no response from my own base? He took a closer look and found that there wasn't even a guard on the base's grand gate, which was nearly 30 meters high. What does this mean? How unbecoming is this? Rongbiao was brought to Lu Chen by several people. Lu Chen looked at Shanda Group's base and then at Rongbiao. No words were spoken. Although he didn't speak, Rongbiao felt that he had said a thousand words. That's it? That's it? Is this your home base? Rongbiao, who felt greatly insulted, quickly explained. Normally they are not like this. Normally we are very serious. Lu Chen looked at him again and nodded. Rong Biao looked at his expression and seemed to be saying, I understand. I understand. You are just out of shape today. And it will be longer next time. Right? Rong Biao's face turned red. This group of wastes were full and didn't work. He simply lost his face. Where are the hacking people? Rong Biao's angry roar echoed above the gate. What responded to him was an even more cheerful swana sound. Rong Biao was about to yell again. But Lu Chen stretched out his hand to stop him. I'll do it. You've done your best. He waved his hand. And several people came up behind him holding rocket launchers. Whoosh whoosh. Several guns were fired. And rockets exploded over the base. This time the music stopped and a chaotic sound came out. After ten minutes of dilly-dallying, someone finally stepped onto the base gate. There's an enemy attack. Several people yelled and turned to leave. After a few more minutes, the base alarm sounded. The base's various defense facilities were slowly activated and one after another people boarded the observation tower. Seeing the slow reaction of an 80-year-old woman, Lu Chen finally understood why missions in this base often failed. He looked to the side. Rong Biao silently lowered his head and drew circles on the ground. Chapter 94 I'm not dead yet. And you're already at the table? The base square of Shanda Group Nuda is filled with wine tables with various dishes on them. Lu Chen's rocket just exploded on the base gate. At first everyone thought it was a salute and the banquet had begun. Later, Chen Lu played another round, and these people realized something was wrong. Afterwards, the city defense troops searched for the siren for a long time, because they did not conduct any drills. After the alarm sounded, everyone was in chaos, not knowing what to do, because no one thought that the base would be invaded. Rong Hubi was calm in the face of danger, while all his subordinates were panicking. He started to eat alone. Chief, what's wrong with the leader? The second in command ran to Rong Hubiu in a panic. A group of people from who knows which base gathered at the door. Why panic? Rong Hubiu chewed off a chicken leg. Is there anyone who can break through the door of our Shanda group? They have no intention of attacking. 
But the young master is in their hands. Ah. Rong Hubiu spit out the mincemeat in his mouth. The expression on his face changed from disdain to shock. And then to disappointment. Go and see. The golden flying eagle flag of Shanda Group flutters in the wind on the gate of the base. Rong Hubiu strode up to the city wall and placed his hands, which were wearing a total of 27 gold rings, heavily on the city wall, 13 on the left hand and 14 on the right. He squinted his eyes and pretended to search around below, and then waved his hand. I can't see you off without my son. He turned to leave, but a subordinate stopped him. Isn't the guy squatting on the ground the young master? Everyone looked around and saw that it was indeed the leader's son Rong Biao. Rong Hu Biao gave the subordinate a meaningful look and reluctantly walked back. Oh, I'll go. He is really my son. He shouted slightly exaggeratedly. Rong Biao heard his voice and stood up from the ground. A pitiful expression, like a little seal, appeared on his face. Help, Dad. Rong Hu Biao ignored his expression and stretched out a golden hand to greet him. Son, we have all eaten this wine. If you leave now, we will treat you as dead. Rong Biao had a question mark on his face. What do you mean you drank all the wine? Why do you think I'm dead? He glanced at Lu Chen guiltily. And Lu Chen was also smiling at him. That expression seemed to say, Is this what you said about your father being very good to you? A big word, danger, appeared on Rong Biao's head. He knew that Lu Chen kept him here just to recruit Shanda Group. Now that his father has given him a table. How can he surrender? If he couldn't surrender, he would have to cut himself off with a knife. Rong Biao's back was covered in cold sweat. He looked at the city wall again and blinked at Rong Hubiu desperately. Damn it. Although we usually don't deal with each other. This time we are really going to die. The relationship between father and son has never been harmonious. As soon as Rong Biao was born, his mother died in childbirth. Rong Hubiu always felt that this son killed his wife. So he always ignored him. The relationship between father and son has always been as cold as an iceberg. This time Rong Biao went on a mission to Wanda Plaza because he was angry with Rong Hubiu. He said that Rong Hubiu was incompetent in management and led Shanda Group into decline and continued to suffer defeats. Rong Hubiu asked him to complete a task and come back to see what he was capable of. In a fit of anger, he chose the most dangerous mission and set off with his men. Sure enough, under his wise leadership, the entire army was captured by Lu Chen intact. Rong Biao kept twitching his expression and blinking his eyes to give Rong Hubio hints. Dad, let me go back. I miss home, he said pitifully. Hey, if your eyes feel uncomfortable, put some eye drops on the spot. Rong Hubio threw down a bottle of sapwis. Forget it when you go home. You are still out there practicing and gaining knowledge. His grandmother's, Rong Biao looked at the bottle of blue eye drops on the ground. What was thrown to the ground was not only a bottle of eye drops, but also his hope of living. He looked at Lu Chen desperately. Lu Chen didn't say anything. Just smiled. It seems to mean, you lied to me. You are dead. It's over. Rong Biao's heart sank. He must be in trouble now. Damn it. Grandma. I will make you my backer even if I die. Rong Hu Biao. He resolutely raised his head and shouted at the base. Nowadays, there is no need to play any drama about father and son's affection. Anyone with a discerning, I can see that they have no emotions. My son is not dead yet. And I am still so affectionate even after eating at the banquet. He, Rong Biao, is going to die here today. Before he dies, he will scold this old gangster. Rong Hu Biao, your grandson. If you refuse to save me from death, you will definitely give birth to a son without an asshole. I bother. You will be criticized if you play chess with special skills. Your special code. Rong Biao also took the risk. His face turned red, and he cursed Rong Hu Biao on the city wall. Lu Chen also felt helpless. If his own son's trick didn't work, he could only use the cracking laser. Rong Biao scolded all 18 generations of his father's ancestors below. But Rong Hu Biao still stood on the city wall. Calm and composed. I didn't kill my mother. It was you. The turtle bastard who killed her. How many times have you seen her when she was pregnant? Huh? Where were you when she was bleeding profusely? Huh? I'll make you a broken base every day. Look at how this base is doing. This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. I'm going to die here today. And you're going to finish all of this base. Are you him? Rong Biao wanted to continue scolding. But suddenly, he saw Rong Hubiu stretching out a palm. Okay. He said solemnly, with endless sadness in his voice. 
13 gold rings on the left hand, and 14 gold rings on the right hand shine brightly in the noon sun. Brother, let's talk, he said to Lu Chen. Rong Hubu did not rely on luck to make Shanda group number one in Nancheng. The first time he walked up to the city gate, he knew that Lu Chen wanted to use his son to negotiate, and judging from his behavior of daring to drive directly to the entrance of the base, the other group of people did not take their Shanda group seriously at all. In this negotiation, the other party's appetite will definitely not be small. He, Rong Hubiao, had been in business for half his life, and he had never done anything wrong. But murder and arson have never happened. Ever since that mysterious organization found him, he has been planning for the base. The people selected in this base are all good people. After the apocalypse broke out, he was also trying his best to protect the safety of the people in this base. Let everyone return directly when in danger without having to fight to the death. If it weren't for that organization, he would have to send troops to collect crystal nuclei. He certainly wouldn't send anyone out to take risks. But his son viewed his behavior as cowardly and thought he was incompetent. He's not incompetent. He just wants to protect the base. It's not that he doesn't want to save Rongbiao. But making an exchange with the other party will definitely cause sacrifices to the base. He couldn't trade the entire base for his son. Can we talk about chapter 95? After hearing Rong Hubiao's words, Rong Biao's yelling and cursing stopped abruptly. The base gate suddenly fell into silence. I wonder, little brother, what do you want to exchange this bastard from me for? Rong Hubiao has been in business for many years and knows that all matters in the world are ultimately determined by the word, profit. The other party will definitely not send his son back for free. Lu Chen saw that the other party was so cheerful and didn't mince words. So he spoke directly. I want the entire Shanda base. Ha ha ha. Rong Hubiu laughed. His laughter was wild and wild, echoing above the base. Okay. The laughter stopped abruptly. He slapped his hand on the city wall. You kill him. Rong Biao was stunned for a while, and then started to curse again. U.S. asterisk asterisk asterisk. I'm so as asterisk 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 dot. Lu Chen didn't know whether to laugh or cry. This was the first time he saw such a scene of fatherly kindness and filial piety. He simply folded his arms and stood aside to eat melon. It was time for Rong Biao to stop and rest when he was tired of scolding. Rong Hubiu spoke again. I am the head of the Shanda group. Except for this son. There are hundreds of people who depend on me for their livelihood. I, Rong Hubiao, cannot accept betraying the entire base for this bastard. If you lower the conditions, little brother, then we can still talk. Rong Hubiu spoke eloquently and was proficient in negotiation methods. Negotiation is nothing more than pulling and pulling. If the other party takes a step back, then there is still room for negotiation. Lu Chen glanced at him, smiled and shook his head. My conditions are not many. They are your entire Shanda group. Rong Hubiu put away his friendly side and looked at Lu Chen with squinted eyes. Unexpectedly, this man didn't look that big, and his aura was indeed not inferior to that of a social veteran. I said it, Rong Hubiu said solemnly. This is not a good condition. Harmonious Chi produces wealth. Harmonious Chi produces wealth. But the other party won't take a step back. So don't blame him for falling out. So there's nothing to talk about? Chase Lu asked. No need to talk. If you insist on this condition, then we won't have to talk. Rong Hubiu said angrily. Lu Chen shook his head and waved his hand. Several team members behind him took Rong Biao away. Then all the chariots retreated several hundred meters, leaving only Thunderstorm in front of the city gate. Is this a retreat? Rong Hubiu was confused. He didn't believe that the other party would leave so easily. Thunderstorm in place. Lu Chen stuck his head out and shouted at Rong Hubiu. For the last time, do you have anything to talk about? Rong Hubiu said seriously. If you dare to stir up trouble, Shanda Group will definitely not let you go. I also say it for the last time. No. Let's talk. As soon as Rong Hubiu finished speaking, Lu Chen got into the thunderstorm. The laser muzzle is opened and the disintegrating laser is charged. Boom! In the makeshift tent, a long gilded table was placed in the center. If you have anything to say, let's talk it over. Anyone who touches someone is not a true gentleman, Rong Hubiu said with a smile. If anything happens, we can talk about it. Ha ha ha! Sitting opposite him were Lu Chen and his group, among whom stood a gloating Rong Biao. Can we talk now? Chase Lu asked. Yes, yes, we can always talk. Rong Hubi replied. The moment he saw the cracking laser melt the alloy door, he was most proud of into molten iron. 
he knew that the conflict between himself and this young man had been resolved. Unilateral resolution. Those who know the current affairs are heroes. Resistance will definitely lead to death. Now we can only strive for some benefits for the base. I've asked you to talk to me a long time ago, Rongbiao said from behind. Ronghubiao was filled with anger and ignored him. What kind of method are you talking about asking Shanda Group? If you want me as the leader, I, Ronghubiao, will give it up. I just hope you won't be too harsh on these people in the base. The end of the world is not easy for everyone. Fighting those monsters all day long has already resulted in heavy losses. So we shouldn't make things difficult for each other. Rong Hubiu switched back to his amiable appearance and said respectfully. Lu Chen glanced at him. But he didn't expect that Rong Hubiu looked wealthy. But he was different from other base leaders. Everyone else was trying to exploit the people in the base in a different way. But he actually had the heart to protect these people. I don't need your position as leader. Lu Chen said. Aw? Rong Hubiu showed a surprised expression. I need to enter the metal tower. The mechanical heart and all the crystal cores inside belong to me. I also need to requisition all the Shanda Group's tanks and team members. And all the crystal cores you will obtain from future missions must be handed over. That's all? Rong Hubiu asked. That's all? Lu Chen asked doubtfully. Aren't crystal cores and mechanical hearts the most important things to these base leaders? Why didn't Rong Hubiu seem to care at all? In other words, these people are still under my control. And you just want us to work for you? Lu Chen nodded. Absolutely. If you want this, you should have said it earlier. Rong Hubiu clapped his hands and laughed. The two sides reached an agreement within a short time. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. Rong Hubiu quickly asked Lu Chen to send troops in and took him into the metal tower. After entering the metal tower, Lu Chen realized why Rong Hubiu didn't seem to care at all. The entire metal tower has only 32 first level crystal nuclei and one second level crystal nucleus. Really broke. After Lu Chen looked at the inventory, he looked at Rong Hubiu in disbelief. Your first echelon base. This is the only stock in the metal tower? What about the crystal core? Did you eat it as a meal? Rong Hubiao noticed Lu Chen's doubts and scratched his head in embarrassment. Our base values peace and doesn't do much fighting and killing. After Rong Hubiao's explanation, Lu Chen finally understood the reason why Shanda Group was bound to lose in every battle. Co-author, this base is full of people from top to bottom. Rong Hubiu built the base just to have a place to survive in the end of the world. He only paid lip service to the great plans of the Psalm organization. But he was not interested at all in his heart. He has worked hard all his life and is exhausted physically and mentally. He just keeps this base to support himself in his old age. Therefore, there are no human experiments in the metal tower. And the tasks are just for the subordinates to have fun with. The base has no defense. It relies on the Shanda group's wealth to buy a lot of armaments to act as a deterrent. To put it bluntly, this base is just a carefree retirement base. And Rong Biao turned out to be the only person in this base who wanted to work hard to improve. Lu Chen was speechless for a while after listening. So Rong Hubiu spent a long time chatting with him at the gate of the base. Not for his own position, but because he was afraid that his invasion would ruin the good life of these people in the base. Chapter 96 Happy Father and Son Lu Chen walked out of the metal tower in despair. Rong Hubiu followed him and did not dare to speak. He found that Chase Chase was not very satisfied with the harvest in the metal tower and was afraid that Chase Chase would make any new demands. Only one. Lu Chen pinched the crystal core in his hand, feeling empty in his heart. However, the crystal cores are rare and the mechanical heart still got one, including the one in Hong Yuan's warehouse. He already has two mechanical hearts. Get one more to unlock the large tank. Thinking of this, Lu Chen felt a little better. And although a cannon was fired, no fighting broke out. The Shanda group's combat capabilities are still intact. Although these team members have not received systematic training. But it is undeniable. Shanda group is really rich. After walking out of the metal tower, Rome Hubia saw that Lu Chen was a little disappointed and quickly took him to visit his garage. Lu Chen followed him into a huge factory building. And the lights came on. Rows of brand new golden chariots appeared in front of Lu Chen's eyes. Lu Chen roughly counted them. And there were at least a hundred of them. Then he and Rong Hubiao went to another garage. One is a garage for parking trucks. With 20 medium-sized trucks and 10 extra-large trucks. Each vehicle has been carefully modified and designed. And they are all top-of-the-line tanks suitable for the apocalyptic environment. Standing in the garage, Lu Chen had to admire. 
It's really cool. Have you never driven these cars? Chase Lu asked. Rol Hubia said calmly. I haven't had time to use it yet. Lu Chen looked at him, and a sentence came to his mind. Poor students have too much stationery. After Rong Hubi roughly visited the entire Shanda group, Lu Chen's concept of money was raised to a new level, let alone being rich in peacetime. How can you be so wealthy in the last days? There are nearly 3,000 people in Shanda group, all of whom are key employees of Rong Hubia's previous company and some good friends. These people live in the buildings built for them by Rong Hubiu. Yes, it's not a factory. It's a building, depending on the size of the family. They are assigned to apartments with four bedrooms and two living rooms. Three bedrooms and two living rooms. One bedroom and one living room. Etc. How are these people in the last days? Just these houses? Many ordinary people in peacetime will never be able to afford them in their lifetime. Moreover, Shanda Group's material reserves are also amazing and can feed these people for several lifetimes. Being rich means being able to do whatever you want. After taking Lu Chen to visit Shanda Group, Rong Hubio canceled the lunch banquet, putting it on as a wedding banquet. It was said to be a celebration of Rong Biao's escape from the catastrophe. Rong Biao looked unhappy and hid in the room without eating. The fish balls and the brothers at the Angel of Death base had a great time eating them. After the banquet, Lu Chen sent Zhuang Yuan and Yudan to comprehensively investigate the Shanda group's combat capabilities. The results were very unsatisfactory. Although there are more than 100 tanks, Shanda Group only has five fleets with a total of 45 people. Less than half of the tanks were used. Moreover, the combat capabilities of these team members are more than one level behind other bases. The most important thing is that Shanda Group's reserve force is also insufficient. Because Rong Hubiu did not only select physically and mentally strong people to enter the base like other leaders. He picked his own social animals. And then they took care of his family. This leaves the base with few available combatants. More importantly, these people have no worries about food and clothing. And there is nothing to motivate them to go out and fight. Lu Chen felt a headache after listening to Yudan and Zhuang Yuan's report. Unexpectedly, by winning a base, I would not be able to obtain any actual combat power supplement. Looking at the peaceful scene in Shanda base, Lu Chen's heart became heavier and heavier. Rong Hubi's behavior was not to protect these residents. It's letting them die slowly. The aliens and aliens outside the base are getting stronger and stronger but they are roaming around leisurely inside the base. If this continues, sooner or later a powerful alien species will discover this place. Then these people will only face destruction. Rong Hubiao greeted Lu Chun and returned to his mansion. This building is located on the central axis of the square and is a three-story villa with a garden. He originally wanted to invite Lu Chun and others to spend the night in the villa. But Lu Chun refused. He had no choice but to come back by himself. Pushing open the door, Rong Hubiu slowly came to the second floor, stepping on the magenta pure wool carpet. He walked lightly to the door of a room. Place your hand gently on the doorknob. The next second, he twisted hard and hit the door panel. Boom! There was a muffled sound. The door was locked from the inside. He cursed secretly and heard Rong Biao's voice coming from inside. Ha! I didn't expect it. Does it hurt? Old man? Grandmas! Get the gun! Rong Hubiu said to the maid beside him. Master, be careful, the little maid advised. Go quickly, Rong Hubi roared. Old man, if you dare to come in, I will die with you. You scream. Let's see how long you can scream. The father and son roared through the door. After a while, the little maid came back with an old-fashioned shotgun. Rong Hubi raised his head and shot the doorknob. There was a bang that shattered the entire door lock. He kicked the door open and saw something green rolling down to his feet. I'm sorry! He yelled and threw himself to the side. This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. There was a loud bang. That's a grenade. Ha! I can't kill you! Rong Biao's voice came from the door again. Bazooka! Bring the rocket launcher! Rong Hubi roared with his neck turning red. Master! Please calm down! Master! The maids! regardless of the debris on their bodies, pulled Rong Hubi in. If you don't go, I will destroy you, he shouted. Several little maids were so frightened that they ran away to get things. You brat, you have to go out and fight monsters if you don't have the skills. Now it's strange that he was not killed, but captured. If Leader Lu hadn't been so easy to talk to, our Shanda group would have been doomed today. If I don't have the skills, 
then you are a loser. Look what the base looks like in your hands. I brought people back today just to wake you up. As soon as Rong Biao's voice fell, another grenade rolled out. Rong Hubi took a few steps back to avoid the explosion. Maid, I'm going to kill you today. And I'll have another drink tomorrow. The two cursed for a while. And then a few maids came back with rocket launchers and a group of managers. My lord. My lord. Calm down your anger. Several old men from Shanda Group's management class kowtowed. They had seen this kind of scene too many times before. The father and son never stopped together. Bring the rocket launcher. Rome Hubi roared. This time, he was determined to shoot inside. Chief, calm down. Bring it quickly. I will definitely kill this kid today. Even if the king of heaven comes here. It won't work. Rong Hubu was so angry that his face turned red and his neck was thick. He did not have the image of that shrewd businessman at all. Dong, dong, dong. There was a knock on the door. The door was not closed. Luchin stood at the door and watched the farce. Ouch. Rong Hubu instantly burst into laughter. Mr. Lu is here. Chapter 97 Mandatory Conscription Mr. Lu! Rong Biao in the room heard Lu Chen coming and rushed out of the room on a rolling crawl. The father and son stood in a row respectfully, facing Lu Chen with the same smile. Very well behaved. The management staff of Shanda Group and the little maids were all dumbfounded. These two people can actually stand together harmoniously. Normally, conflicts would break out when the father and son come within three meters of each other. Now they are standing tightly in a row. From this point of view, this Mr. Liu is really quite capable. How could the father and son, who would explode when they touched each other, live in harmony? Lu Chen waved to Rong Hubiao. And the father and son walked forward together, shaking their heads. These father and son are really carved from the same mold. After Rong Hubiao and his son came out, Lu Chen took them to the square of Shanda Group. The night is dark. But the lights inside Shanda Group's base are still bright. Yudong gathered all the team captains here under Lu Chen's instructions. What is this going to do? Rong Hubiu asked. Reorganize the convoy. Lu Chen stretched out a hand to signal to Yudong, who nodded and took out a piece of paper. Those whose names are read below. Come out! Li Hai. Fanda. Li Dong Tian. One by one, the people whose names were called walked out of the Angel of Death's motorcade. They are all recommended by the captains of each team and are members of the team with relatively strong abilities in all aspects. These people will become the new team captains. Le Hai! Yudon shouted. Arrived! The young man named Le Hai replied. New captain of Team 4! Ah! Le Hai looked around in disbelief. Lin Zhuang nodded to him. Le Hai was the team member he recommended. He usually does the most work on missions. And he has extremely strong combat capabilities and a commanding mind. When Yudon came to ask Lin Zhuang, he recommended Li Hai without hesitation. Li Hai was surprised and excited at the same time. He never thought that he would one day become the captain. Li Rong. Li Hao. The new vice captain of the fourth team. Yudan then reported. Two more ecstatic people came out of the crowd. They were the veterans who assisted Li Hai. Vander! Arrive! New captain of team five. After selecting the new captains, Yudan read out some more names. These are veterans with relatively good strength and they will be evenly distributed to each team to assist the new team captain. Yudon ordered again and again to arrange veteran team members with rich combat experience into the new convoy. Relying on Shanda Group's tank fleet, Luchin planned a total of 12 new fleets, together with the three convoys of the Death Angel. He now has 15 convoys, and all of them are 9 tanks and fully equipped fleets. Boss, everything is arranged. After reading the names on the list, Yudon turned to Luchin and said, Lu Chen nodded and looked towards the square. I saw 15 queues standing neatly in the square, sorted by fleet. The members of the original Death Angel were evenly distributed among the newly formed convoy according to their strength. Looking at this knee queue, Lu Chen felt like he was reviewing an army. After organizing the new team, the next step is to fill it with new players. Where do new players come from? Naturally, you have to choose among Shanda group. Lu Chen cleared his throat and shouted to everyone. Everyone who has been selected now is the best among the warriors. And your next task is to select team members from this base and fill up your team. I'm issuing a mandatory conscription order here. Everyone in Shanda group is selected to join the team. Has no reason to refuse. You must join the convoy. Participate in combat training. And fight with the convoy. Lu Chen's voice was not loud. But every word struck a chord. 
as soon as the order was given. Everyone immediately started discussing. Compulsory conscription. Rong Hubiao and his son were stunned when they heard this word. It was as if a bomb was going off in their heads. Rong Biao was shocked and showed an expression of great joy. This is exactly what he has always wanted to do in Shanda group. Rong Hubiu was shocked and then fell into panic. Most of the residents in this base are his employees and friends before the end. When they first joined the base, he promised them that he would give them a good home. Let them feel 100% confident about themselves. Now Lu Chen has issued a compulsory military conscription order and wants to send these people to the battlefield. Mr. Lu! After listening to what Lu Chen said, Rong Hubiu suddenly fell to his knees. Mr. Lu! This is not within the conditions we agreed upon! The conditions they negotiated at that time were all the crystal cores in the metal tower and the base's fleet. Rong Hubiu never expected that these residents would also be included in Lu Chen's target range. Lu Chen's sharp eyes flashed. Rong Hubiu clearly felt that this young man was no longer the easy to talk young man before. Mr. Lu, these people were just office workers before the end of the world, and they have no basis for fighting at all. Rong Hubiu said again despite Lu Chen's murderous gaze. Lu Chen snorted coldly. Ask the soldiers down here, which one is not an ordinary person before the end of the world? Li Hai! Lu Chen shouted. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. What was your job before the end? It's a programmer. Li Hai answered. Fander? Chase Lu turned his attention to another captain who had just taken office. I'm a bank teller. Construction worker. Postman. The food delivery guy. Architect. Undergrad. Lu Chen asked one by one. And the captains mentioned all kinds of professions. Say. Lu Chen turned to Rong Hubia. Which of their doomsdays did they undergo combat training? The unchanging law in this world has always been that the weak eat the strong and the fittest survive. Even more so at the end of the world. You keep these people in captivity, thinking you are protecting them. On the contrary, you are hindering their progress. The forces and monsters outside are evolving every day. Sooner or later, something will break through your door. When that day comes, how can you resist? How can you protect these people with this weak base? Lu Chen pressed forward step by step. And Rong Hubia could not refute every question. As a businessman, he indeed underestimated the danger of this apocalypse. Rong Hubiu lowered his head with a sad expression. Rong Biao, who was standing beside him, almost couldn't hold his nerve. Very happy. Everything Lu Chen said coincided with his thoughts. He is the only one in the Shanda group who believes that going out to fight and improving strength is the only law of the end. Rong Biao stood aside and laughed for a long time. Seeing that Rong Hubia didn't reply, he took a secret look. For the first time, he noticed that the figure kneeling on the ground was so thin. He had always thought that this old man had a pretty strong figure. Chapter 98 Disobedient Residence Rong Hubiu stood up slowly, knowing that he had no chance of stopping him. When does it start? Mr. Lu? Start now, Lu Chen said. As the leader of the base, you order all male residents to gather in the square. Rong Hubiu looked into Lu Chen's eyes and nodded solemnly. Making this decision means that he, Rong Hubiao, will turn from a savior in the eyes of these residents to a liar. After making the decision, Rong Hubiu came to the broadcast room and broadcast to the entire base. There is an emergency. All men in the base please gather in the square. There is an emergency. All men in the base please gather in the square. The shrill radio sound echoed over the base, breaking the last tranquility of this small utopia. What's the situation? What happened? Why did you suddenly get emergency information? After hearing the announcement, many residents rushed out of the room. They asked each other, but no one knew what was going on. They all heard the base alarm for the first time. Regarding this afternoon's incident, they only knew that someone opened the base door, but no fighting broke out. An old lady opened the door and peeked out, then quickly closed it. Mom, don't I go? A man followed behind him. The man is a key employee of Shanda Group named Su Wanyan. He has been living with his mother for more than 30 years. Go! Go! Go to H. L. The old lady said angrily. This is to lure people to die. Why are you joining in the fun? But they said on the radio that they were going. Su Wanyan said aggrievedly. Don't go! The old lady yelled angrily. I'll break your legs! You didn't know it was so loud this afternoon. Something big is going to happen. Something big like losing your head. The old lady locked the door three times inside and three times outside and pulled her son into the room. 
You have been hiding for the past few days and don't dare to come out. Mom, Boss Rong is kind to us. If he gets into trouble, I will definitely go. What the H, L? The old lady pushed Su Huanyan into the room with both hands. What kind of conscience do these business people have? I knew when I came in that this day would come. I'm sure I'll be fattening you up by serving you delicious food and drinks. And then slaughter them. Your mother is saving your life. I just asked them to arrest enough people and stop looking for you. After the old lady finished speaking, she closed the door with a bang and locked it several times. Lu Chen, Rong Hubio and his party were all in the center of the square, supervising the recruitment task. Rong Hubiao gave Lu Chen a list of everyone in the base, with detailed information on each household. When men of the appropriate age come to the square, they will be registered once. Then, they are selected by the captains. If it is selected, there will be a check mark next to the name. And if it is not selected, there will be a cross. Residents gathered extremely slowly. The radio broadcast lasted for almost half an hour. And the number of men registered on the registration form could not guess one-tenth of the men of the appropriate age. Lu Chen looked at the slow progress and frowned. The slow speed of assembly has a lot to do with the slack atmosphere of Shanda Group. But the more important reason is that these people are running away. These residents are not stupid. Today's victory over Shanda Group must have spread in the base. While no conflict erupted on either side, they certainly realized something. Coupled with the emergency broadcast at night, there must be many people hiding at home and unwilling to come out. To put it bluntly, these people are flowers raised by Ron Hubi in the greenhouse. None of them have truly faced the horror of the apocalypse. Life is still so nourishing. Lu Chen's eyes shot out a cold light. And he said to the fish eggs on the side, Leave a few registered people here. Everyone else is following me. Yes. Needless to say, Yudan immediately greeted the captains in the square. Where are you going? Mr. Lu. Rong Hubiu felt something was wrong in his aura and quickly asked Lu Chen. Invite someone to your door. Dong, dong, dong. Three fierce knocks on the door sounded. Su Huanyan's mother was frightened. She jumped up from the chair, secretly thinking something bad. She walked to the door of the room and softly called Sun Yinhua inside to hide. Dong, dong, dong. Three more sounds. Backslash come here. Why are you in a hurry? Backslash. The old lady opened the door. Standing at the door was a young man wearing a black trench coat. It was Lu Chen. 3104 Su Huanyan. Meet me at the square now. The old lady ignored the young man and looked to both sides first. Sure enough, I saw some vicious people arresting people from the room. After seeing the situation outside, the old lady was very panicked. As she looked at the young man in front of her, a plan suddenly came to her mind. She waved to Lu Chen, let him walk into the room, and then closed the door. She wasn't sure about dealing with those people, but she felt confident about dealing with a young man. 3104 Su Huanyan, meet me at the square now. Lu Chen said again, Young man, Su Huanyan is already dead. Let me live in this house with an old lady. Lu Chen looked around the room and saw the closed door at a glance. The next second, he started walking towards the room. Hey, hey, why are you so disobedient? Young man, this chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. The old lady quickly stepped in front of Lu Chen. Then she slapped a gold bracelet into Lu Chen's hand. Young man, money is useless, but gold is still useful. Just pretend you have never been to our house today, just to give my old lady face. Chase Lu stared at her coldly, triggering the mechanism with his finger. With a swipe, the sharp blade in his right hand popped out of the cuff. Ouch. The old lady was so frightened that she sat down on the ground. Chase Lu took two steps forward and the sword flashed. The lock that closed the door was cut off. He kicked open the door and saw Su Huanyan hiding in the closet with half of his legs exposed. Follow me, Lu Chen said solemnly. Su Huanyan held the sharp blade in his hand and slowly leaned out in front of Lu Chen. No, no. The old lady burst into tears suddenly. I only have one son. What should I do if you take him away? Lu Chen stepped over the old lady and walked towards the door. Stop crying. Mom, it's okay. Su Huanyan helped the old lady up from the ground. Suddenly, he felt something cold thrust into his hand. He looked down and saw that it was a black pistol. While crying, the old lady gave Sun Yinhua a fierce look. Kill him. Kill this young man. This kind of young man must be a small role in the team of the apocalypse. Even if he was killed, no one would know. And if he evaded this search, it is very likely that no one will come again. 
Kill him! The old lady whispered in Su Nianhua's ear. Su Huanyan never imagined that his mother's eyes would reveal such a fierce light. Chapter 99 Instant Kill Kill him! The old lady glanced at Su Huanyan again. The soundproofing of the house built by Rong Hubio was pretty good. But it was so noisy outside now that no one would hear him if he fired a shot. After killing him and dragging him in, his family would have escaped the search. Kill him! The old lady said angrily. Although she tried her best to keep her voice low. But you can still hear the anxiety and anger in it. The old lady shook the gun in Su Nianhua's hand violently. Su Nianhua was as motionless as a piece of wood. This is killing. He never thought that one day he would kill someone. He didn't dare to move. He just looked at his mother blankly, his face pale. When the two were arguing, Lu Chen was almost reaching the door. He slowed down and prepared to look back to see if Su Nianhua had followed. The old lady noticed Lu Chen's action. If you wait for him to turn around, the variables will be huge. Her anger turned into overwhelming murderous intent at this moment. When a person makes up her mind to do something, you can see the change in her eyes. Su Nianhua noticed the change in the old lady's eyes and realized what she was going to do. But he could no longer stop it. The old lady suddenly pulled out the gun in Su Nianhua's hand and pointed it at the tall black figure. Bang! Without any hesitation, she pulled the trigger. The bullet exited the chamber and the SH. L casings were ejected from the flank. The next second, the light of the sword flashed. In just a blink of an eye, the old lady was horrified to find that the young man had appeared one meter in front of her. The bullet seemed to have lost its forward momentum and cracked from the middle into several pieces. What's even stranger is that a red thread is slowly appearing on her right wrist. After another moment, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, there was the sound of sword swinging, the sound of cutting, and the explosion of blood spurting. The old lady only saw her right hand being severed from her wrist, and the gun she was holding fell to the ground. What's this? She was so horrified that she couldn't understand the scene before her. There was a snap. SH. L casings. Broken bullets. The severed hand holding the gun. And blood drops on Lu Chen's sword blade fell to the ground at the same time. Ah. Only then did the old lady's pain nerves react. She covered her hands and fell backwards. Sun Yinhua didn't know what happened yet. He only heard his mother shooting. He stepped forward to support the old lady. And when he looked back, he saw the old lady's severed arm spurting out a column of blood. The feeling of panic suddenly surged into my heart. He fell to the ground holding the old lady in his arms and kept moving backwards. Tap! Step! Footsteps sounded behind him. And goosebumps stood up on Su Huanyan's back. Tap! Step! The footsteps became louder and louder. And he could no longer bear the fear in his heart. Leaving the old lady behind, he jumped forward and ran into the room. When the old lady saw him running away, she was about to say something. But suddenly he found that he could no longer make a sound. Hot blood spurts from the carotid artery and rushes into the trachea. She could no longer make any sound. After dealing with the old lady, Chase Lu walked into the room again. Soon Yinhua opened the window and jumped down from the third floor. Lu Chen quickly walked to the window and found that he had broken a leg and was being controlled by several team members. With a light touch of his fingertips, the sharp blade retracted his long sleeve. He recalled that moment. The moment the crisis emerged, he activated Time Zero. And Time Zero did not betray his trust, allowing him to kill the opponent accurately. Actual combat has proven that Time Zero is simply a magical skill in encounters. There was a bang sound. Yudon led the two of them, kicked open the door from outside and rushed in. Boss! How are you doing? Boss! It's okay! Lu Chen turned and walked towards the door. The two people from this family just tried to attack me. Yudon looked Chen Lu up and down and made sure that there was nothing wrong with him. Then he felt relieved. Then he glanced at the old lady on the ground with disgust. Where's the other one? He asked. I was caught by the team members downstairs. Go down with my order and kill anyone who blocks the recruitment of soldiers. Yes! Yudon asked the two team members behind him to stay to protect Lu Chen. Then turned and left. Lu Chen looked at the old lady who died tragically in the room again. Special times call for special means. Don't talk to me about morality and legality. Facts have proved that the vigorous and resolute approach is correct. The forced intervention of the convoy members greatly accelerated the recruitment process. In the last days, all kindness will be forgotten. Another hour later, all the men of appropriate age in the base had completed their registration and stood in the square. There are still a few people who resist tenaciously. Most people will immediately give in as soon as they see the tough attitude of the team members. 
In the square were not only the men who had been forcibly recruited, but also their families. In addition, there were a group of people whose limbs were tied and thrown in the middle of the square. There were people inside who tried their best to resist the conscription order, some who attacked the conscription team members, and many more who were trying to escape. Lu Chen came to the makeshift podium in the square, with Rong Hubiu following behind him. As soon as Rong Hubiu appeared, the square immediately became noisy. Fraud. Demon. Fraud. A series of abusive names poured into Rong Hubiao's ears. He has become an eternal sinner in the eyes of these people. This chapter is not over. Please click on the next page to continue reading. Even though he tried his best to bring these people into Shanda group and shelter them for nearly a month. Without him, 90% of the people here would have died in the apocalypse. It is the hardest thing to be a good person in this world. You have been kind to him thousands of times. But if you don't go your way once, you will become a sinner. Human nature is what it is. Rong Hubiu took two steps forward and held the microphone. He is still the nominal leader of this base. And he must give these people the final explanation. Everyone, Rong Hubiu said, his voice echoing through the radio in the base. I, Rong Hubiao, am guilty. My mistake was bringing you into the base, but not training you. The world has changed. But we are still immersed in comfort. We were all wrong. The mistake was to close our eyes and settle for the status quo. Those monsters outside are getting stronger and stronger. If we don't work hard to move forward, sooner or later we will become their food. From today on, Rong Hubi raised his head and scanned the entire square with a firm gaze. I will step down as the leader of Shanda base. And my son Rong Biao will act as my deputy. I volunteer to join the field team and become a frontline soldier like everyone else. As soon as these words came out, the whole place fell into an uproar again. Even Lu Chen was a little surprised. After saying that, Rong Hubiu jumped off the podium. He took off his gold encrusted suit and took over a team member's body armor. He resolutely walked into the recruitment team and stood with other base members who were forcibly recruited. Lu Chen looked at the slightly fat figure and sighed secretly in his heart. He is worthy of being a business veteran, both in terms of courage and decision making. Chapter 100 Kill Them Rong Hubiao knew that he would become a villain in the eyes of these people at this moment. So he chose to resign directly as the leader, and then turn around and join the front line of the battle. Stand with these force conscripts. In doing so, he transformed himself into the role of a redeemer. It will be difficult for the people's grievances to fall on him again. Even the leader of the base has gone to the battlefield. What else do you residents have to say? Sure enough, after Rong Hubio entered the team, the people's discussion stopped one after another. The square fell into silence for a while. Rong Biao looked at Lu Chen on the podium. Although Dad gave up his position, it was obviously Lu Chen who had the final say as to whether he could be in this position. Seeing Lu Chen gently nod his head, Rong Biao smiled happily. He took two steps forward and took the microphone. This was the moment he had dreamed of. He looked at Rong Hubiao below and swore secretly in his heart. Look, I will make Shanda group great again. Ahem. Rong Biao coughed twice and said, it is an honor to be the new leader. I am not as kind as my father. I hope you will be prepared. These people are forced to resist the conscription task. Rongbiao pointed to the group of tied people. I declare that they will be punished with exile. You are not allowed to come near Shanda group again in this life. If you violate it, the city defense army can shoot and kill you at will. Exile! Rongbiao roared. For these people, exile was no different than execution on the spot. It will only prolong their pain and make them struggle before dying in pain. The group of people, including Sun Yanhua, roared crazily. Some team members carried them out of the base gate. This is what Lu Chen said to him. These people must be exiled. Only in this way can we set rules for the people in the base. And he, Rong Biao, could also use this to establish an image of a strict leader. His behavior completely announced that Shanda group has changed. I'll talk about the conscription next. After exiling those people, Rong Biao continued his speech. Starting today, food will no longer be distributed for free, but will be distributed based on individual contributions. Following the convoy will get more abundant supplies and receive more preferential treatment. I hope you will perform well in the upcoming recruitment process. All those who pretend to be sick, pretend to be disabled, and passively select will be punished with exile. The recruitment and selection begins now. Rong Biao gave the order, and the captains in the square began to get busy. They have to select warriors who can go to the battlefield in a short time. In the past, I didn't have a choice. 
as long as I was an individual. I could carry a stick and go on stage. But now, under the leadership of Lu Chun, they are becoming more and more professional. And the team's requirements are higher. They will be selected based on physical strength, endurance, ability to use firearms, vehicle driving ability, and adaptability. This is choosing your own team members, the people who stand behind you. No one wants to choose a loser with poor abilities. So the recruitment was slow, and the queues crawled slowly. But although it was slow, Lu Chen was still quite satisfied. Although Shanda Group has fewer crystal cores, it has added 12 fully equipped fleets. Together with the Death Angel's old fleet, Lu Chen estimates that with his current combat power, he can obtain nearly 10 crystal cores in a day. In the long run, this harvest will be much richer than the 30 crystal cores in Hong Yuan Warehouse. Lu Chen looked at the base square. Some team members showed excitement about joining the team. But most people still looked worried. After all, they had enjoyed a comfortable life the day before. The family members surrounding him were extremely anxious. No one wanted their man to go to the battlefield. Lu Chen saw everything. If you want to ask, is there a better way to recruit soldiers that can win more people's hearts? There must be some. But if speed and efficiency are compared, this coercive method is the only way to go in the end of the world. In a period like this, you must be a tyrant who speaks the truth. The recruitment activity lasted until midnight. Lu Chen, Rong Biao, and their group stood on the podium and watched the entire recruitment process. Now, 15 brand new queues are presented to everyone. There were nearly 50 people in each column. And a total of 800 people, including the logistics team, stood quietly in the square. The number of people in this team has exceeded twice the total number of people in some small bases in Nancheng City. Judging from the number of people alone, this team is already the top overlord in Nancheng City. If Lu Chen's three super tanks are added, it will not be a problem to overwhelm the entire Nancheng City. Lu Chen took two steps forward and stood side by side with Rong Biao. Many people in Shanda Group have not seen him yet, but they only know that a young man has breached the base. Now as soon as Lu Chen stood up, everyone immediately reacted, guessing that this was the person who broke into the base. I am the leader of the Death Angel. Lu Chen held the microphone and spoke slowly. I will also be the captain of this team from now on. I hope you can understand that today is not the beginning of destruction, but your new life. It's getting late. Everyone, that's the end of the day. At 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, everyone will gather here with their equipment. After speaking, Lu Chen took two steps back and left the podium with Yudan Zhuang Yuan and others. The recruitment mission ends here. The selected team members and the surrounding family members hugged each other tightly and cried into tears. This chapter is not finished yet. Please click on the next page to continue reading the exciting content. Tomorrow, these people who have not experienced the baptism of the doomsday will rush to the battlefield and experience life and death. On the podium, Rong Biao stood by the microphone and silently looked at the painful people in the square. Rong Hu Biao, who became the vice captain of a certain team, stood beside him at some point. You're not bad. You become the leader. Rong Hu Biao said with a smile. You're not bad either. From leader to vice captain, it's considered a reverse promotion. Rong Hu Biao gave a bitter smile and had no intention of continuing to quarrel with his bastard son. Do you think I'm wrong? Rong Hu Biao asked. No. Rong Biao shook his head. You have saved so many people. You have a designated place in heaven. But me? Chief Lu is right. Rong Biao interrupted Rong Hu Biao. If we don't let these people go to the battlefield now, they will die sooner or later. They were not wrong. And so were those who were sentenced to exile. They are just ordinary people living in this world. It is human nature to be afraid of death. Even those zombies and alien species are not wrong. They just follow biological instincts. Rong Biao fell into silence. And the farewell of life and death in the square continued. Then who was wrong? Rong Hu Biu said. The fault lies with the people who created this world. Those who made deals with you and created this apocalypse. Rong Hu Biu looked at Rong Biao. This boy who usually looks so naughty actually has some thoughts. Then kill them? Rong Hu Biu said. Kill them. Rong Biao replied through gritted teeth. Good. Then kill them. Rong Hu Biu put a hand on Rong Biao's shoulder. Yeah. Rong Biao turned his head and looked at his father firmly. Ouch. The next second, he suddenly started wailing. The veins of Rong Hu Biu's hand on his shoulder popped out. How do you calculate the debt for blowing me up with a grenade this afternoon? Ouch. It's broken. It's broken. You stupid old man. Ouch. 